me give it a second here. I'm oh gonna close what's his face to stream because I don't need that on. Oh yeah, we don't want to get fucking DMCA, dude. Fuck that. No, no, that's not gonna happen. But he's technically banned out on the platform. Uh, well then, okay, yeah, then we definitely won't fucking be caught up in that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't need to get banned on the Twitch for any reason. I don't need to be banned on your Twitch channel, so I get banned on my Twitch channel, right? No, like, I fucking... would be banned. You would probably not be actually, because it's technically my channel. Yeah, the second I start up, some fucking asshole is gonna be like, "Oh, I know that bitch." Gone by. You know how it fucking works, Bree. Don't fucking bullshit me. You know. You know. I know. Everybody fucking knows. We talk about every stream. <laughs> uh, we do. But I've missed you, hon. I've missed you. I know, darling. I I'm so sorry. I I. That last week was not exactly fucking peaches and cream for me either, and you know it, so. Honestly, the whole, like, going a month without regularly hanging out, we actually kind of miss uh, each other. Isn't that scary? I know, it's almost like we're friends or something. Uh, <laughs> There's a freaking scary I know. ass thought. When did that happen? Oh, I'm a pretty scary ass thought, I know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh... yeah. Uh, I, I love, I love within the first five minutes to be being back and we get us banned. It's gonna be good shit. And... Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I say that every single fucking stream and it never happens and I'm upset. Like. Oh yeah, we try so fucking hard to get banned and oh. it just never happens. How, how dare we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I apologize to the audience if it's gonna be loud and echoey and all this other bullshit. Um, I have. You know, exciting news, I guess. Yes! I've, I'm gonna... successfully moved into my place. And I'm unpacking right now. And we're gonna add this to it, because... Oh. But yeah, one of the things I thought we might go through is the wonderful manifest that dropped today after we talk. Oh my god. Mostly because it's fucking <laughs> hilarious to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we we both brought some topics uh, to the table today, right? Like, fuck me. I'm not you go because my topic is super depressing. All right, so. I don't even know boy, where is it? Start. <laughs> it's Just... how insane it is. Oh. Uh... We'll avoid talking about the uh, asshole that appeared in my life and is now fired from his job and hopefully going to be gone from the fucking state. Oh okay. good. Oh we'll good. Skip over that because that's just. Beyond depressing to deal with <laughs> in every way, shape, and form. I can't um, believe the shit that you have to go. My have surgery to go to has thankfully been far enough where the stitches are out. I can actually Yay. not have to put a bandage over it anymore. Yay. It still fucking hurts sometimes to twist and move in certain ways, but the stitches are almost dissolved. So. Oh, fuck. Uh, it sounds like we both had a, a medical emergency last week. Fucking a. The whole month of last month was one giant show. <sighs> I get to deal with my family on Saturday, which sucks. Oh yeah, family is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow is the anniversary of Grandma, who I took care of for how many fucking years? Even back when I first met you. Mhm. Mm I remember when she passed, dude. Fucking, you were devastated. Yeah, it was 2017 when she passed. Holy fuck. Mm -hmm. Wait, we've been friends... Wait, fuck. Dude, yeah, you were one of the first people on uh, Twitter to befriend me for some fucking reason. I must have been insane. <laughs> what do you mean, must have? Like, still is. Like, <laughs> to get that right. Like, fucking... I use your words, insane. bitch. <laughs> insane in the membrane. Oh my god, well, can I share what I've been up to in the last fucking couple of weeks? Yeah, share been... about your move and the other interesting info. Oh my god, so my move has been an absolute fucking nightmare, people. Alright, like, so get this, right? I, I scheduled my move a month in advance, right? Because they know how I am. Like, Bree knows, I'm the, I'm the type of person that shows up extra early to the fucking party just to make sure that everyone else does, right? <laughs> like, that's me. So fucking... I, I, I got everything taken care of, I booked time off work, all that shit. I even got my project finished on time, right? Which I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have, a, I've got a side rant about that one, but we'll save it. Um, fucking, so, I, I planned everything, I got a whole bunch of stuff moved in over the weekend, and then everything's hunky-dory. We'll roll around to Monday, and I feel like absolute shit, right? And I'm just like, oh my god, I feel, like, I, I thought I just got the flu or something. Nah, I got COVID. 
I got fucking COVID on the, on the, the day before my fucking move and the an the day before the anniversary of when my fucking stepdad died of it, right? So like, I was not amused at all. It's like, oh, I can really, I really pick my moments, didn't I, right? So I I was fucking shit scared. All right, I thought I was gonna die. I was gonna tell you this now, right? It was horrible. Any like, it, it was one of the worst fucking experiences I've ever been through. It was bad. Fucking, so I, I, t I called up my mom and I sent her a text, actually, because I know she was at work, and I was like, Mom, do, drop what you're doing, come and talk to me immediately, like, fucking, don't be, a bull don't, be a, don't be a stranger, right? So fucking my mom waits until the end of her fucking shift, right? She gets up at, like, fucking midnight, and she, she, she calls me up, she's like, darling, how are you, darling? And of course, by this point, it's, like, fully, like, ripped onto me like a fucking leech, right? So I'm, like, in pure death mode at this point. And I'm like, Mom, I fucking got COVID. And she's like, oh, why didn't you fucking tell me sooner? I was like, Mom, what the fuck do you... I fucking tried! Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna text you while you're at work and be like, Mom, I'm fucking dying, right? So say goodbye to my mom, right? Because I thought I was gonna fucking croak, right? Like, for real, I was so shit scared. And I'm not afraid to admit it. And then promise my mom if it got any worse, I would I would go, go to the hospital and do all that bullshit, right? Well, thankfully, that didn't happen, obviously. If, you know. But, like, fucking hey, for it was touching good there for a bit. I basically told all my friends that needed to know, you know, like, the ones that would spread it to everyone else, you know, not the, the, the news, not the COVID, fuck me. Um, <laughs> just clarify oh, that shit. You don't want me to spread the okay. <clears throat> No, don't be spreading the fucking COVID. It's horrible, right? But, like, I told everyone, I'm just like, and one of, I, I, I learned the power of friendship, right? Fucking, which we also got to talk about in a bit, because you know why. Um, but fuck. Yes, we're the best. It's yeah, it it's just, it's just, yeah, dude. It was horrible, right? I was, I was dating this dude. Like, I dated this dude on fucking Friday, and he, he, when I told him about this shit, he started downplaying it. And I was like, nope, fuck you, dude. If you're not gonna take this seriously, you can fuck off, right? Like, I just, <laughs> like for real. You know, funny coincidence, the guy that I was having fun with. Yeah, I, I fuck him. Wow. He decided, okay. He decided to, uh. Like, we're obviously not, you know, we're in a casual relationship. Hmm. And you've been with but, him for a long time like that, too. And, uh, yeah, he decided to, as per the agreement, you know, he can sleep with other people all he wants. Yeah, he did not tell me that he was doing that. And she had an STD, and... Oh, girl. No. Thankfully, I didn't get one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But he lied. He was not honest. And that is a big fucking nope. Oh, my God. All right, like, you I'm going to tell you this. You do not lie to me. You lie to me, no. you end up dead. <laughs> because I will end your ass. Yeah, we don't, like, I don't tolerate that shit at all. You know me about that. I feel like, if you fucking downplay, like, STDs or something like that, you try to hide it or shit like that, I'll just fucking ditch you as a person. Like, you're just non-person. Like, I'm really, like, here's the thing, yeah, I used to be, a um, that doesn't like to non-person people. <laughs> no, we're not. Like, it's, it, it's really, it's a, like, it's not it's a thing a we enjoy peeve. doing. It's a pet peeve. Like, we don't like people who do it, yet you cross the right lines. It's like, you know. Yeah, no, like, that, that like, here's the thing. I used to be a, um, uh, like, a, like, se um, sexual, like, safety advocate, right? Like, fucking, so, like. I, I get in, in a such heated arguments with people who just like, oh, you don't need to know that. I was like, yes, I fucking do. If we're going to fuck, I need to know that shit. And they oh, try yeah. to like, you you remember that one guy from last year, right? Who's fucking still stalking me. You need to stop, bro. Um, But like, oh, for real. So creepy. He, oh, dude. Yeah, he was such a fucking creep, dude. Oh, and like, and, his, and the whole reason I don't talk to him anymore, right, is because he was high. He wouldn't get tested and he wouldn't and he was just like oh yeah you don't need to be you don't need to have protection i was like yes i fucking do everyone fucking should like it's up to you your body your choice and like shit but i'm just gonna tell you now you really really fucking should like don't be stupid <laughs> if they're preventable right pre and that, I was like, what the, what's that old saying and like the fucking um an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure right but then but no there's people who downplay that shit and that's why like when i was talking to that one dude who downplayed COVID, i was like uh-uh i ain't deal with that shit because if you if you're gonna do it with covid i can only imagine what you're gonna do with like fucking like other shit you know like fuck that i'm not dealing with it that's, that's your headache not mine just, don't be stupid people just fucking just be adults fuck don't me be, don't be stupid stupid I, I know I'm I know I'm pissing into the wind by fucking saying that right, but just like come but on it's man. True. The whole don't be stupid stupid is a thing. Yeah. Like it's one of actually one of the few good things Philly Philip DeFranco actually says. Yeah. It's 
And that comes from someone who typically doesn't really care much for anything he says. It's, not being stupid costs you nothing, but being stupid can cost you everything. Like, I hate talking shit about people, but it's just fucking damn true. Oh, you, no, you don't, you fucking liar. You love talking shit about people, and you know it. Well, don't yeah, even... but that's only because people are so damn stupid. I, yeah. Like, we don't, it's like, talk shit about people the who only don't reason, it. Yeah, It's only absolutely. the reason why I do it. It's, it's like, it's, it's more depressing than to talk about it. Yeah, like, fucking, we, we, we really don't like talking shit. Like, we're just really good at it. <laughs> I will neither confirm nor deny how good we are at it. <laughs> yeah. well, we'll, let, we'll let the audience decide on that one. And probably I mean, people probably think it's shit. Frozen, you suck. You suck at talking shit, Frozen. You're the worst. I, mean, I challenge you on that shit. Be like, no, nah, alright, it's your fucking funeral, mate. Right. I mean... So, so yeah, that was my whole experience with fucking moving. I got all, almost all my shit moved. I just gotta go back and hand in my keys and I'm good to go now. Alright, like... Nice. Well, but, but, like, boy, was it a fucking nightmare. It was an absolute fucking travesty. I would not recommend moving when you have COVID. No, that's... I was legit. I, think I was pretty like, much anyone with an ounce of brains would say that. Yeah. Well, first problem is we got to find someone with an ounce of brains. Like, thing is, I had a long chat with my mom about this shit, right? Because, like, fucking, my, I, I realized, like, if I did, if I just kind of kept it to myself, right, and didn't tell anyone, right, and fucking, she'd be mad as fuck. My mom would have just disowned me straight up. But I was like, man, I fucking love my mom, like, a lot. Like, my mom fucks up, and I hold it to account, but like, I hold it to account because I love her, you know. And so, like, she gets it, right? Fucking, but like, yeah, no, just, oh my god. So when I told, when I told my mom, and I was just like, what are you going to do about the move? And I was just like, I guess I got to call the fucking moving company and reschedule, I guess. But I was like, seriously shit scared. I wasn't going to make my fucking deadline to get out of my apartment. So I was just like, man, did I make the right choice? And then the, when I, when I, I started getting worse symptoms. Most landlords would be like, you know what? It's to my benefit to wait and not be stupid about this because, you know, if. Because I'm going to lick all the surfaces? Yeah. Because, you know, the next person who comes in to rent a place might, you know, get it right away and then suddenly be like, hmm. That's a, li that's a, that's a liability to them, right? So, like, but some, some landlords are fucking stupid, right? Like, I'm not going to point oh. fingers at my current landlord and say they're stupid because, well, they are, but, you know. <laughs> I'm just but saying, like, though, like, again, anyone with an ounce of brains should fucking be able to say that. Oh, man, you're, you're asking for way too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's whole, really sad that that's literally the one thing that I I ask for in all fucking world. It's oh one of the most God. difficult things to get. Oh yeah, no, I was just having that talk with uh, Sarah. Like you, you know Sarah, right? Yes. Like fucking yeah, Sarah. Sarah knows you too. And fucking, I was just talking about that. I'm just like, why do guys try to bullshit me so hard? Like as if, as if I'm easy to be bullshitted. They I just, and like so many guys try it whenever I'm trying to date them. And I'm just like, why? Why challenge me on shit that I've, I'm much better at you at? Like, dude, you're not gonna outsmart me. I'm fucking smarter than you. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm willing to settle for a guy with who has, like, 100 IQ just because I understand that, like, not everyone's, like, hyper smart. And I'm not saying I'm perfect either. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm patting myself on the back and, like, I'm smarter than everyone, therefore I'm better. No, I fuck up all the time. The difference is, I recognize when I fuck up and try to make amends for it. Cause, because I'm, you know just that little bit extra, you know? But, like, I don't like the people who don't do that, and it's a massive turnoff, and there's so many people like that. Just, you don't have to be like that, right? The smartest fucking thing you could do is actually admit your faults and move on. Fuck me. I'm getting mm, feed, uh, feedback from your, uh... Yeah, that would be intelligent, right? Like, you get it, because you're smart. <laughs> well, I'd like to hope I'm smart. <laughs> You're smart enough, all right? Fuck me. Like, and like I said, no one's perfect. Intelligence isn't the only factor, all right? I get it. I get it. But, like, at least pretend. Mm. Fuck me. <laughs> at least try. Yeah. See, no, but that's just not possible. Yeah, no, you I mean, you, you just, you fucking found out this week, too, for fuck's sake. <laughs> You're not easily bullshit at all. I don't know why that guy could get that past you. It's so fucking stupid of him. I think it's because he was just really stupid. He's just that good. <laughs> and I'm probably was dumb enough to fucking be like, you know, let's just kind of ignore some of the obvious flaws because I was 
just having too much fun. It's, it's sad how fucking easily you get stuck into that mindset, right? And I'm not saying you as in, like, specifically no, you. just it happens yeah. to girls all the time. Oh, yeah, no, it does, and, and it's, it's and trans so... trans girls are just as... <laughs> it is... How dare you say that we are... We're, we're, per we're perfectly human like every other person. Yes, it's... it's, <laughs> it's... We try not to be, but, you know, it is what it is. Just, yeah... Like you can make mistakes, right? It's fine, but it's oh, how you yeah. recover from it that makes you that makes you the person who you are, right? And that's the smart shit right there. That's the that's the real fucking genius big brain shit. Oh yeah, he's been from my presence for at least four weeks until he learns his lesson. And the fact that he's crying and moaning and whining about the fact that I'm not there doing certain things that I typically would do because I do that for anyone I'm sleeping with. That's that's not going to endear you to him though. It's kind of hilarious because it's like, well, good, he's learning the hard way, and bemoaning the fact that <laughs> he has to do a little extra <laughs> shit. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, oh, poor baby. Ask me if I care. <laughs> the answer is no, but you know what? At yeah, least he's whiny and moaning about it, and all of his guy friends are mocking him mercilessly for it. Well, he deserves it. That's the thing. Like he did it. <laughs> right, like it's like up, you're gonna get mocked. You're yeah, getting mocked by your own good buddies. That's the best part. Yeah, I was I was telling Sarah this today. I was like, bro, I give you so much shit, J not because I don't like you, because I actually like you and I care about the outcomes you experience. <laughs> like it has nothing. It it's nothing personal, kid. I just want to see you fucking like you know mature. But she's turning out good. I can love Sarah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Sarah. All right, there you go. But yeah, it's been quite an interesting fucking month and a week. Oh my god. It is it has been a fucking nightmare for both of us, it sounds like. Yeah, but I look at it this way. I've gotten mm. some great comedy out of all this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and if I can't enjoy the comedy, uh, there's something <clears throat> wrong with me. Oh yeah, you gotta look back and laugh, right? Like if you if you let the thing if you let the things in life like take away your humor then you've already lost, mate. Like, life's gonna kick your ass. That's just how that is. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't fucking make the rules, alright? Oh, my word. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through all this shit today. That is a very good question. Oh, well, I've got like Shell? 70 boxes. Oh, Shell in the yeah. chat? Oh man. I shell, recovered shell. from my surgery shell. I re they removed a uh, growth about the size of a racquetball from mine. Oh man. Sh shout out to, sh to shout out to Shelly, right? Shelly fucking pissed off so many people on Twitter all this week. It's great. Oh, yeah. actually, Isn't it great? And Shell, you'll love this. We're gonna go through a certain uh, manifesto uh. that I launched today. And oh, there's yeah, some rather interesting uh, emails from trans girls. That literally, I think, uh, <laughs> proves we've been right forever. Oh my god. I fucking love it. It's great. It's almost like, wait. These idiots have been right the whole time. Yes! Congratulations! We're not idiots. <laughs> you were wrong. We'd ask you to suck our dick, but I mean, that'd just be giving us too pleasure, too much pleasure, and you just. No. But it's just what? nice to have the stream back. <laughs> oh, you missed really fun. Um, I played the new Dune RTS game last week. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. That one week? Yeah, I, uh, so it turns out that laser troopers left on the open sand attract worms. Well, yeah, because, like, the vibrations <laughs> from their guns, mate. And guess who just sat there and watched after getting a warning a worm was coming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can see you trying to blast the words just for shit. That's what so happened, isn't it? I need to now make a clip of me giggling and laughing as my own troops die. Put it up oh on TikTok God. for people to laugh at my ass. Oh, man. Because after You're all, fine. my ass deserves to be mocked for that. Well, thing is, if you don't try, otherwise... if you don't try, you won't know, right? Well, I... I was kind of curious what would happen when a worm shows up. So what am I supposed to do? Like, change what's happening? Well, 
that's how you develop person, strategies in games, right? The person in me who has done tested so many games and things is like, no, you don't do anything, and you watch and see what happens, and then you could start iterating on that. Yeah, like you start with the failure conditions, and then you build your up to success. It's fucking true, dude. But me being stupid, <laughs> of course I screwed the fucking shit up. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd pay, good, I'd pay good fucking money to see that shit, but I don't have to because you'll just put it up for free. Exactly, it's gonna be great. I'll make a YouTube shirt out of it too, just for everyone oh my to God. laugh at me. Hang on, I'm, I'm posting the, uh, a lot of people on my Facebook have requested that I post the link, and I forgot to, so I'm so sorry to my Facebook followers, alright? I put it in the, uh, your <laughs> Discord and a number of others. Yeah, but there's a lot of people on Facebook who don't follow me on Discord. Yeah, I'm not gonna stream directly to Facebook. One, I uh, did challenge Twitch on the whole multi-stream thing, and technically, they followed through on my request to not reply to prove that they're lying about their rule on that, but uh, <laughs> they might just not give a shit. <laughs> and then just ban me anyways, because they're a bunch of trash people, so. I mean, yeah, that, that wouldn't be the first time they've done that. <laughs> You know, I find it really funny, right? Like, you know how all the, um... <clears throat> you know how, like, all the the, Twi the Twitch streamers went over to YouTube because they wanted to get a better deal, right? And then we're fucking off from YouTube to go over to fucking Twitch, right? It's like... <laughs> you know, the best part is, Twitch has now changed how they do ads, so I've updated our, the channel. Oh. So there's no pre-roll ads anymore. There's ad only so number so many minutes of ads per hour for a person. And if we reach a, and if we keep it at a certain threshold of a number of ads per hour, they give us extra ad revenue. Well, they give you rate. extra. Let's correct. Let's get. Let's get this correct. It's not us because I don't I get shit. I haven't gotten a check from them all year, <laughs> and most of the last year. So. I know. I'm just fucking like. I, I, think I don't. We like don't do moment, this for money. The moment we actually make money, I'll happily split it with you 50-50 from every street. <laughs> The thing is, we don't do this for the money. It's why we have so much fun with it, right? Like oh, we. If this was a I, job, that would just be depressing. Yeah, I like to so get this right. I've I've been talking to people about like how they perceive me back in the day, right? Because I kind of like you know have some, I ha I I have some fucking like you know optics and shit, right? So fucking, I I asked a lot of people, and they seem to think I'm a, like a clout chaser because I want to go after the e-fames, right? And I'm like, for what end, mate? I don't fucking make money off of this shit. You know how much fucking money I've made off of all the shit I've ever done online? Nothing, right? <laughs> no, not a single fucking cent, right? So I'm like, well, for what fucking end do I want to become e-famous? It's a living nightmare, dude. Well, literally look at some of the bullshit that happened this week. Oh my god, you go ahead. We you, had you... Keffel and the quartering go at each other. We had Rich from Review Tech USA going after the quartering. Then God. taking the stream link from the quartering that he got to go talk to Jeremy, gave it to Keffel so that she would go in. We had quartering not doing even a modicum of like the easiest cursory Google search to know that Keffel's is post-op, not pre-op. It's just like you guys are all a bunch of drama whores that are just going at each other. And here's the best part of it all. Nobody on the internet gave a shit, so their viewership just stayed stagnant at the whole level, even if they kept doubling down on the drama. Nobody cared. It was wonderful. The, the only reason I knew is because I have RTU on my fucking, um, on my notifications, right? So that's the only reason I fucking knew, and I didn't give a shit. <laughs> I was just like, yes, whatever. That's the collective thing of the internet. Nobody cared. It was like, like wait, right. the internet's doing something right? When did this fucking, I I normally really like Rich, right? But fuck me, recently he's just been like shooting himself in the foot. It seems. Oh, he's been all about the drama shit. Like I get I get why he went off the quantum TV shit. I think that's actually important for people to speak about. We're not going to talk about it uh, on ourselves because it's just not, we're not involved, right? Um, and it kind of it's. I do know. not want to become involved. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's none of our business, right? We, I've, we, we, the, but like we understand why it's important to do because, like you know, the whole taking advantage, of gaming the system effectively, right? Like we don't like that. I don't think anyone does, right? 
But like, I get why why he had to follow that. But like, people were giving him so much shit for it, and I get why. And it's like, dude, yeah, you do need to dial it back a bit. All right, fuck me. Just kind of just like even fucking Act Man was just like, fuck man, yeah, you're right. <laughs> My general rule of thumb is the average person on the internet, especially those perpetually online, a little crazy. You need to just like do like I do. Go to the lake. Go enjoy some grass, some outdoors, some nature. Go oh, God. live life outside and not on your fucking phone and oh, computer. God. Okay, sorry, can I can I show you something? This is not to be shown on stream, but like can I show you something because it's like really fucking related to what we're talking about. Oh, totally on Do you even need to ask? Hang on. Uh, so get, get this right. This is just for context for people in this in the chat, right? So that way I can kind of give free the context and all. All I did, right, was reply to uh, make a joke reply to someone's cringy, like cringy post, and they can't, they basically went fucking off, mate, like for real, like they they went they went hard. And the thing is, like, I don't really know the guy who posted this that all that well, but he is ragging on this bitch so hard now. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Tell me you tell me oh, you get yes, the fucking that stuff from your <clears throat> Discord. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that shit, right? Yeah, just fucking some terminally, terminally ill, uh, terminally ill, terminally fucking terminally, terminally online. online people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. Right. Yeah, I was right the first time. Yep. But fucking like someone just so, so terminally online, they took a joke post super seriously, and it was like, oh my god, you're a fucking, it is you know, the beyond depressing. Like, you have I'm just to like live life. If you're always online, <laughs> you're all your. It it literally becomes the whole situation where you see things where it doesn't actually exist. Yeah, like for real, and like everyone else in the thread saw that except this one person, and like, n and like, I was just like, bro, who the fuck is this person? And he's like, you, you won't even get involved with it. He's just like, no, I'm done. Fuck it. Like, <laughs> I just, the funny thing is, we both have the same name, right? So I'm just like, yep, I'm the queen. I'm the queen of the queen of them bitches. Kepler's like, even went after Ricky Berwick. Holy fuck! Oh god, that's not gonna end well for that's him. That's a mistake. <laughs> that, you know, Dude, you don't the fuck with King is Ricky, just right? This goofy, <laughs> dude. I fucking love it. It's crazy. I fucking, I fucking love Ricky. He just Bowie. makes I fun of everyone, and it's like I know. I love it. It's adorable. Like here's here's the thing, right? I've actually talked to him in DMs before, right? He's he's really nice, right? He really is. Like he's like he, it's a it's just a persona, as far as I'm concerned, right? Like it may not be. He may just be that much of a dick to everyone. But fucking, he just makes me laugh so fucking hard. Over, I love him. He's great. Love you, Ricky. Call me. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of love to that goofy boy. Oh, he is so fucking funny. Like he, he's, he's basically an embodiment of something that I like. One of the things I live by, which is taking your disadvantage and turning it into an advantage. He is like the fucking champion of it. Like, like. <laughs> he... I do appreciate people like that who just took oh. Chill. Oh yeah, like, oh. and you just you understand what life threw at you, and you work through it. And you just you just you don't become the perpetual victim. Yeah, no, fucking, I don't think I've ever seen him actually like be like that, like ever. I mean, he maybe he is, maybe he has, and I just haven't seen it, right? Like, I don't think he did a video so. yesterday, literally mocking Jeremy. It's like, yeah, but he talks. Uh. Over. He talks to Jeremy. He's nice and cordial to Jeremy, but it's like, yeah, he's willing to mock him too. It's like this is fantastic. Well, I, it's like what I am with my friends, right? Fucking, I make fun of my friends because I care, you know? Like, if I don't make fun of you, I don't give a shit, right? Like, if we didn't just... make fun of each other, that would be very awkward. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, like it, it took me forever. It took me forever to learn that my friends back in England did this to me. I didn't learn it until I fucking left England. I was like, oh, wait, you mean the people that were shitty to me were actually my friends? Because they actually cared? Like, what the fuck? The Germans are like that. <laughs> Too. It's 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 definitely a thing in some parts of Europe, and it just carried over to the states. And it's like you know I'm completely fine with that. Yeah, I don't, like it took me forever to realize that, and I was like, oh, yeah, all right. Like, like there was a thread about me, right? Get this, right? So there's a group um from my high school, because I think most high schools have that shit, right? Um, but there's a group from the high school, and there was a thread about me on there because like someone posted a, a, my boy pics, right? For because it was like. Here's, you know, here's our class, who is everyone's thing, and everyone was just talking about, like, oh, yeah, what happened to that motherfucker? Because, like, literally in the picture, right, everyone else in the class is, like, together, and I'm, like, literally on the other side of the picture, sitting by myself, looking miserable as fuck, right? 
And so I like one of my friends who I still like I talked to from way back when. He st he hit me up. He's like, yeah, dude, just to let you know, there's a there's um a thread about you talking about you right now. You probably don't want to see that shit. And I'm just like, don't want to see that shit. I definitely want to see that shit, right? Like, so I want to like, laugh at that shit. Yeah, I want to see what the fuck they're saying, right? Like, so I jump in there, right? And it's everyone's talking about my transition and how like how um they felt so they felt so bad for me back in the day because they just un didn't understand how like upset I was, and so this girl I used to have a crush on was telling everyone like, yeah, I still talk to them. And, um, no, they're actually really happy now. And they're like, oh, that's good. So I jumped in, posted my pictures like, oh my God, you look so happy and smiley now. I wish we could have been, I wish you could have seen that. And like everyone in there was like, was like, oh, I remember them. They're so, they were so good to me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, we were friends. I never considered you to be a friend, but now I do because it's like in hindsight, I understand it. Right. Like fucking it's like, oh, I'm so stupid. Right. Like, who is it young? Who is it stupid when they're young? Plain and simple. I, I fuck me. I was really fucking stupid. I was just um, like, uh, but like, I just didn't understand that people were shitty to me, not because they did, they, because they hated me, because they actually cared about. They wanted to see me improve. And now, like, now I look at those memories with a different lens, and it's like, oh mate, I was a fucking twat, right? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, some things haven't changed, but I mean, I'm still a twat, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, fucking, I'm definitely a twat, but like, a di it's it's in a different way now. It comes from a different place, yeah. I've come to embrace it and accept it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Well, I'm not going to change, right? Fucking, I'm still going to be a knobhead, right? Like, I'm just a different kind of knobhead. Oh. <laughs> uh... But yes, that the drama this week has been hilarious to laugh at. With Destiny dropping oh. his shit. Like, I've been kind of just sitting there laughing and chuckling. Oh my god. But his streams lately. Yeah, I'm gonna let, pop it on I'm gonna a let you bit and whatnot. I'm gonna let you I'm go. I'm gonna with actually it. like read through like he dropped a rather interesting let me uh actually just save here real quick. Yeah, yeah, you you you, you run this part of the stream because I don't fucking follow Destiny at all. Like I I follow him on Twitter. I will <clears> periodically <throat> once in a while watch one of his streams just to get a laugh at some of these idiots in his chat and the ones he watches and sometimes laughing at what I think is a bad take. He thankfully isn't his debate or debate bro style anymore. God, that, that was, was that was one of the things that I hated the most about him. It's like, how can you be in good <sighs> faith arguing about things and debating and trying to prove your point if you're just debate broing? All you're doing is driving more and more people apart. Yeah, see, that's why I can never follow him, because I just, that, I, I, it's really off-putting. And he's now fucking learned that, and it's like... Well, good for him. I'm really glad that he got I'm his like, fucking head out. like, that only fucking took you how long to fucking do? <sighs> if only, just... if only one of our other friends would fucking learn that shit, you know what I mean? Oh, there's... I lost track of the number <laughs> of ones that learned that mistake. Oh, God. Our buddy Carl for one. But we're going to ignore most of this shit because it's all stupid drama and other bullshit that nobody gives a shit about, about people that nobody cares about. <laughs> eh, I'll do it. But I find this, I found this rather interesting. Because he talks about the whole trans stuff and his ban on here on Twitch. And he, as he calls it, it's an, you know, why, why is this whole trans debate thing going on? It only affects a niche people, less than 1% of people. How is it? It's How is it even a debate? That's why I'm fucking It's diverse. <clears throat> There's a lot of misinformation of shit. You open to a mm. lot of liability from disagreements. Mm -hmm. um, how about all the attacks that... Don't, Shell can agree with this in chat, too. And it's like... It's... You're preaching to the choir with me. You already know. We live that shit, so... Here, like, like, no. he, and here he says his four reasons for arguing it are... Help to <clears throat> explore a person's view of, the, of morality and how they view the world. Okay, I guess I can see that. Trans discourse is prone to being incredibly poor, so it's a conversation he wants to improve. Yeah, it is incredibly poor. There's a lot of it's my way or the highway bullshit. And if you're not, you're instantly a far-right fascist knob that we, is we, then we unpersoned, know. and because you are ontologically in or, or, uh incorrect because you disagree with me you're now suddenly evil 
and therefore anything I do to you is suddenly okay, and that's why we get so much ridiculous bullshit in trans discords and Twitter and other just everywhere. It's so fucking dumb. Yeah, we we know this all too fucking well because we, even we've been subjected to that kind of fucking uh, I mean, that vitriol. I've been banned from multiple discords <laughs> just because I said, you know, it really helped me to go to a therapist and talk through all my other issues, including the gender dysphoria stuff, before I made the choice to go on hormones. Let's just, just jump right into it, whether you actually have it or it's like what. <laughs> Would you I, want a happier ending instead of rushing in and having to deal with more crap later on that maybe makes things more difficult? Like in the case of how many fucking girls that go on testosterone and then detransition and hate the fact their voice is low? Yeah, and like, here's the thing about testosterone, it's like permanent. Voice. It's like, well, yeah, that's definitely permanent. <laughs> like fucking... <laughs> Mastectomy is kind of you know, total removal of breast tissue. kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, my, my, you know how I am with this, right? Like, my whole stance on this is if you have to doubt, right, at all, you should not do it. Work your way through your doubt first. Just, ju just do yourself that favor. Like, don't, take my advice or don't. I don't give a shit. But that's how, like, I've been advocating that forever and people non-person me for. I'm just like, just be cautious. Fuck me. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying, telling you what to do with your own body. I don't particularly give a fuck, right? I'm just telling you what I did and it worked out. I'm extremely happy with the results because I took my time, thought it through. And, like, I'm better off for it. But yeah. that's just me. And I feel dirty a little bit saying that Destiny's right. <laughs> Being incredibly poor conversation oh, on it. <laughs> and poor representation <sighs> of, you know, how who supports trans issues and how and why and all that bullshit. Oh, my God. You, you just right. shaved off. You just shaved <laughs> off a decade of your life for doing that shit. <laughs> like, it's just... He wouldn't have said this, like, years ago. Like, that's the thing that just fucking surprises me. Yeah, Destiny wouldn't even entertain that conversation he was one of those weird ones where he, like, all, he always claimed that he never felt, like, akin to his gender, and so he wasn't sure if he was, like, non-binary or what. And Guess what, Destiny? There's a lot of people who don't feel an attachment to their gender because gender roles have changed so much that people haven't figured that shit out. And then they're confused about it, and it's like, yeah... You gotta kind of sort out that, you know, what I've been generally saying, and I'm putting in that stupid book that I've been writing for fucking, as long as I have, and proofreading and everything, with citations and everything, that the wonderful issue we have is because gender roles and gender pre presentation options have expanded so much for each sex. Uh -huh. Or gender, whichever one you actually want to go with, because I don't fucking care at this point. Oh, boy, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I couldn't give a shit, dude. That, 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 that close feeling of tied to, to your gender, most people don't have that because they always have this innate sense of tradition in the back of their head. And yes, as a Christian, tradition's wonderful in some ways. But for us, tradition is, like, marriage is a partnership. Okay, if, if the wife is working and the dad's a stay-at-home dad, great, or vice versa, whatever. It's a partnership thing. Yes, there's a lot of these people who took what was said in the Bible very literally of, you know, the wife being always sub completely submissive to the husband, but that wasn't the point. It was The point was it's a partnership where there's each partner has different role in how things are handled. And the biggest thing is I feel so bad for especially teen girls they start puberty so much earlier, no. boys are complete morons. If you're the first girl in your grade school class that grows boobs, boys are going to be very awkward to deal with. The other girls are going to hate you, and your whole puberty is now an awkward, confusing situation where you hate yourself, no. you hate your puberty, you hate your gender, everything. Yeah, I don't blame these kids for having body issues. No. <laughs> it's Hang on. A mess. Hang on, I just I might okay, have some here. really That's exactly puberty is confusion. Exactly. <sighs> Hang on, I got to do an inspection on this thing. I think they may they didn't wrap my fucking teapot, like my glass teapot. What? They just shoved it into a box. Oh, so it's like the Amazon bitch that fucking literally threw the decanter in the the package. Didn't oh give God. a shit that it's glass and just shattered it. And it's like, well, if it's really, the case, you're I gonna have... throw a glass bottle four feet. Onto a concrete patio and expect it to be okay? You 
dumb? <laughs> oh, it's a fucking miracle. It survived completely intact. Woohoo! Um, they, like, these things are so delicate, like, I accidentally dinged it against my sink while I was cleaning it, like, just slightly dinged it, right? Like, just like, dink, and it just fucking completely shattered, right? <laughs> so it, it, it was sitting at the bottom of this box with a whole fucking bunch of metal shit on top of it, with not, not being wrapped, and there isn't a single fucking scratch on it. Fuck me. That's fantastic news. That's happy Sorry. news, folks. We're happy here now. Oh my god. I'm th that's why I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. So I'm just like, I fucking use the shit out of this teapot. I bought a fucking custom tea cozy for it because I love it so much. <laughs> the fourth one we have here is Destiny says he's got a trans community in his own audience. I don't give a fuck. He's a lefty. Of course they probably do. Doesn't yeah. really fucking matter to me. The likelihood of that is almost certain, bro. Like, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a duh moment. Let's see here. Many have incredibly strong views about gender and sex and their place in society, let little of, uh, understanding how these concepts were constructed. Well, of course not. They all talk about their feelings and fifis and... Nobody likes to talk about medical science, medical journals, what we do have studies on, what we don't really should be doing, and why the hell aren't we spending money on doing this shit? Oh yeah, no. The, you know, you know me about this shit, right? I I get called a science denier all the time by the people who don't know that fucking endocrinology is a thing. Like, they, like I'm just like, <laughs> like you're a science denier because wait, 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 because I go doc? to doctors. I had one who's like, your doctors are what? I said an endocrinologist. And he goes, what's that? I'm like, Google it. Yeah, like and there he are goes people and he don't... googles it and he's like, I don't believe this is a thing. I'm like, go to There's the Cleveland whole... Clinic, go to the Mayo Clinic, go to any possible hospital in the united states canada europe every single it, one's gonna have at least an endocrinologist yeah endocrinologists deal with the endocrine system with like fucking <laughs> like dude who do you think you go to when you have diabetes you fucking idiots it's the, like it's, it's it's like is a doctor gonna ha is, is, is a hospital gonna have an orthopedist no we never deal with bone issues <laughs> It just, it just like that. The response I usually get is, "You need to go see a doctor." I'm like, I have fucking four of them, bro. How many much more? How many more doctors do I need to fucking go see to please you people? For real, like, you so, tell me the exact number because I'm fucking sick and tired. I've always been like, "Oh, you need to honestly, go see a doctor." When Destiny was streaming, his little thing, I had to like mute it at times because I was just like, "There's so much stupid here. I can't, I can't deal." Just go away. So fucking tired of it. Go on to put in some music and just chill out to something because it's so dumb. All right, let's see here. He's talking about how people always ask, "What definition? What's a man? What's a woman?" And the oh god, I. God, did, did uh, you get? Uh, we'll skip uh, all this because this is all a bunch of bullshit. Nobody uh, gives a shit. I, can I just bring up something about the whole fucking that last point? Because like it's kind of relevant, right? Yep. Like. Do you get those fucking cringy ass commercials from fucking uh, Matt Walsh? Yes. Oh my god, dude! Like fucking YouTube's algorithm must be broken as shit, or just that he paid a lot of money, right? Because that's all I got for like weeks. Like just like, bro, <laughs> like I've I already had this shit with turfs, and the thing is, right? I don't fucking answer the question because I think it's disrespectful to tell like women what they can be, right? Like, it's one of the most sexist things you could do. What is a woman? A woman can fucking define her own bullshit, thank you very fucking much. Do you, you think she we needs me to fucking... We have ended up in a case where, and I find this rather fascinating, there have been certain sort of lenses of the world that have been very popular over the millennia. And one of the ones is... I hate to say it, it's that stupid postmodern one. Where, like, everything's questionable, everything's man-made, nothing, oh, you, you, nothing's a fact. And this is still one of the funniest things ever. Um, one particular streamer was talking to a PhD philosophy professor. And the guy was talking, they were using water as sort of an example. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is before mankind existed, water was H2O. And the guy's like, no, it wasn't. And it's like... Since when has water not chemically been H2O? And it's like, no, because it's south of, you know, the United States and Mexico, it's aqua. It's like... Still H2O, you stupid <laughs> fuck! Right, like... <laughs> that is the chemical formula for water, you, <laughs> you, you dumb fuck. Like go, go take a basic fucking chemistry class, dude. You learn that shit pretty fucking early. You like, learn that in grade school, in eighth grade science. 
the how basic is that chemical makeup of what is what? What is salt? So... You know, sodium chloride. Okay, that's salt. Like I didn't even wasn't even in fucking high school when I was already knowing that shit. You're a grown ass adult man. <laughs> he doesn't know what. Fuck me, dude. Like some people, some people are just totally stupid, all right? But, like, that, for but, real. but the, this is where Destiny is right. The dis, the, this whole discourse on so many things online is just abysmal because you have people looking at things from so such different perspectives, and no one's listening to what the other one's saying. No wonder no one understands each other. <laughs> They're talking past each other and not at each other and with ears open. It's dumb. Well, like you you know me, right? About, he's talking here about all the different perspectives. We can literally skip that. The whole, you know, what lesbians feel, sports, whether trans people exist or not, period. Blah, 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 nobody gives a shit. Like, like you, you know me about trying to trying to listen to people. I infamously tried to fucking t like go on live stream with a turf and actually try to have the f give them the fair one, and they wouldn't go on. Like they backed out because they thought, oh, it's gonna be a gotcha, and I'm like, no, like not at all. Like I wouldn't go through the fucking effort to do that. No, here's <sighs> the part that I found most fascinating. This is the part I actually listened to in earnest. Mm. I had a number of people from not just his community, but centrist ones and even right wing ones saying Destiny's been getting these emails from trans girls, you should consider sending them one. I never did because I figured it wasn't worth my time. Eh. I'm a busy bitch, I got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, we're like we we are very busy people. We don't we don't live online, alright? We really and don't. And then and I would periodically peek into streams kinda of going, okay, I wanna hear if he reads any of these because supposedly he's reading some of these emails. And he read a couple, and then he mentioned how his view has been kind of evolving, and how he finds it very interesting how an extremely high majority of these emails are all very consistent from trans people. Mm. And I found that extremely fascinating. And that's the only reason why I like, would pop into streams like maybe once a week, just to listen for like an hour. So, but I figured it'd be fun to go through these emails. And we'll see just how right we are. We're gonna have this nice, be a nice circle jerk. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it, it well here's the thing, right? We so so I guarantee, right? I just I just I guarantee it. It's gonna be a lot of the shit that we got shit on for uh, for saying way back when. And if it if that's the case, right? Which I'm saying, if I know I know it's gonna be true. Fuck it. Like I just know. I've been studying the whole trans thing for over a decade. I tr mm. started my transition over <laughs> seven years ago. At this point, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Yeah, but basically, this is gonna be really fucking redeeming. There's gonna have to be a lot of people who owe us the fucking apology, and we're not gonna get one. Putting a lot of stake that he's being honest and literally just copy pasting from emails and picking the clearest ones here. All right, so Destin, if you didn't do that, we get to uh, hurt you really bad. All right, like metaphorically speaking, just you know. He might kind of enjoy it. Yeah, well, we'll give you a freebie. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna say right. I'm just, I'm just saying, this is going to be redeeming. It's going to either destroy us completely, or it's going to be redeeming, but I know which, I, I just know in my heart of hearts which way it's going to go, but continue, please. And I really appreciate the fact he says, he says here, one of the most valuable tools available to me is listening to others for feedback to ensure his opinions are tracked with the live reality of those that he's trying to speak for. Fantastic! He's not trans, so he's actually talking to trans people and getting their feedback instead of being like certain ones where they're just talking for us Trying to save us from ourselves because oh, God. we're so much smarter than us. I fucking hate this savior complex. It pisses me off so hard. <laughs> Just kill me now. Ugh. Like for real. It's it's so condescending. Especially when they're like half your age. You know what I mean? Like fucking. They're like, what the fuck do you know about life? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you live life first, then come back to my ass. Yeah, it's like how many. You, you, it would take you a thousand lifetimes to live a fraction of my life, all right? Shut the fuck up, dude. So I'm going to zoom in here. All right. So you all you can that. actually I'm... read the actual fucking... God. Actually reading? People, people need to do more of that. Fuck me. But I find this extremely interesting, and I figured it would be fun to go through it. So this is email one. It's exhausting <clears throat> as a person who is sorted into politics who is also trans. In podcasts, people bring up trans people out of nowhere... And everyone has to have a strong opinion on trans issues. One second I'm chilling, listening to a podcast. The next second someone's 
giving a take that feels very personal and relevant to me. It's stressful. And it's not just the trans stuff, of course. There's so much politics and bullshit happening all the time. Nasty, disingenuous people out there everywhere. After a while, I just want to tune it out and live my life. Go to work, come home, play games, work on some hobbies, go to sleep. I don't have the stamina to be out there on Twitter or Reddit arguing against <laughs> anti-trans people and the pro-trans dear gender people. Contra says something like this. Oh, wow. wow. Well, back with the Buck Angel controversy, whatever the fuck Buck said. More often than not, Buck's oh. actually fairly accurate. So, Buck what? Angel told me I needed to dial it back with the fucking Tufts, right? So, you know, whatever else he said, I, I, Buck, he was right about that. Fuck me. Like, Buck, we love you. You're a handsome man, a wonderful dude. You got a you big got... heart. You, you look good, dude. A lot fucking of people special. misunderstand you, just like they misunderstand us and others. So it's oh, like, my God. Whatever. Contra, I think, at many points, is a little bit too much of a tryhard and sometimes gets caught up in I... her own sub fucking bullshit i have one piece of advice for that for that girl and I, I i and it's the same piece of advice i had fucking four years ago right stop letting people love bomb you right and because it's not it's not productive they own you if they do that to you oh yeah any community that is all about the hugs and the happy feels and the only ever supporting you is not gonna help them well the thing is right because the love bombing also comes with hate bombing when you don't follow along and oh, like yeah, if you I don't follow the script, you're out. It's yeah, so and and I, and I've seen it, and I'm just like, bro, you are so, you you don't have to be like that, right? You don't have to listen to these fucks. Just tell them to fuck off and have your own opinions. And but, here's the funny part: the next let, set, sentence literally says, "It hurts a lot to be cast out and rejected by the trans community, after mm -hmm. feeling it's supposed to be a safe space for people like me." Oh yeah, no, that's the biggest fucking lie <laughs> I've ever heard. Like, not 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 that not that what they're saying. That's actually the that's actually like that's my experience right there. Like, you know I'm not well like the trans There's a strong people. pressure like, to well, conform or at least not challenge whatever stuff trans people are saying online, even if you're a trans person yourself. Oh, God. It hurts fucking... when the community turns on me. It also sucks when noisy <laughs> trans people have more extreme views on things mm. than, the, than the rest of us, basically. Yeah. Nobody hears our point of views because we're too busy living life, too tired mm. to be arguing with people online all day. <laughs> That's the same with there are other trans That's... friends. It sucks that some people get aggravated, but whatever dumb, stupid, crazy shit people say online, even when you're super duper careful with what trans people you're talking about, emotionally, you still feel lumped in with the crazy people, which, yeah. Constantly. This is, go ahead. This is, is this really what met. trans people mean? Is this really what they really, really say? No, it's not. It's the loud vocal minority. Most of us just want to be, in our case, we want to live socially as women. We fit in. As women or in men. the world. Or men. You I figure out us. trans men. Us. Okay. Oh, us. us. Okay. okay. I thought you meant us illegally. All right. Cool. Sorry about that. Us. I just, we, I just we, don't we, like we it. We want to fit in socially as women. We want to live life as women. <clears throat> Blend in. Live a nice, happy life. Generally, fairly quiet life. Enjoying our friends, family members we do like. Enjoy our hobbies. Do our shit. And just generally be left alone. <laughs> Yeah, like literally, I, I, what yeah. I deal with when I go to the salon. Yeah, I can go without makeup as a fat trans girl. Nobody bats an eye. They treat me as Brie. Everyone's nice. Even the other customers in the most conservative fucking religious county in the entire fucking state, they fucking love me. Why? Because I blend in. I definitely act like a girl in every way. I may not have the perfect, you know, feminine voice, but in every other regard, I obviously. Am who I say I am in every other respect. Welcomed with complete open arms. They fucking loved me at the fucking in the Dells where best friend and I went on a vacation and we changed in front of women of all ages from little girls on up. Nobody gave a shit that I was trans. See, this is what I tried to tell Blair White that one time. She when she got offended that I don't get all bent out of shape when people don't use the right pronouns for me. It happens. Sometimes it's by accident. Sometimes it's on purpose. But you know what? Do but you know what's not good is by a acting like a fool when it happens. It doesn't make us look good. Yeah, little uh. girls, uh, whether they were little or even in like later grade school, they understand what genitalia is. None of them made it at night. They were like, "Oh, it's just a girl that's a little bit different." They there was. Didn't, there was. They didn't there was treat a... me any differently. It was. That's the world we want to live in, and it exists already now. 
just stop being a bunch of crazy lunatics and just live a happy, quiet life and not be an asshole. You ever think the reason why people hate you is not because you're trans, but because you're an asshole? <laughs> like, get get this right. There was, there was this little girl I used to see after work every fucking, cause I, uh, every day because she used to ride the train, right, the same time as I did, mm -hmm. right? And when she first saw me, she said, oh, pretty lady. And then she sat next to me on the train. And every time Ooh. after that, she insisted upon sitting next to me and having a conversation about with, about her day with me, right? And her, her mom just like, she won't stop talking about you. Like, she, we didn't know each yeah. other's names and, or anything like that. Give off, she just, you give off definitely the kind of energy where it's like, okay, the person is not harmful, probably teddy bear. Yeah, I'm okay with my daughter sitting there as long as she's in view, just talking and they're all, you know being normal and i just let her people. talk at me because she was nice yeah like she was nice i was nice and she's like yeah it's like here in wisconsin like we go to quick trip and we're sitting in line what happens we we don't know each other me and the other person in front of me but we'll just shoot the breeze we don't care we don't know each other we don't know each other's name or hobbies or anything but we just make each other smile we have fun it passes the time life's good it's it's literally what people joke about called midwestern nice I think if more people did that, god damn, the world would be kind of a cozy, fun place. <laughs> yeah, we could all get on for a fucking change, right? I mean, that'd be novel, wouldn't it? Kind of wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I can actually get through my living room now. Holy fuck. <laughs> this whole time I'm this, unpacking this, this my first living room. email yeah. ends with, I hope crazy online, pe online people don't warp people's perception of how the real world is. Yeah. Oh, that's Smart a hope thing I to tell Destiny. Don't take the Twitter idiots <laughs> seriously. It's fucking Twitter. Yeah, the shell. You can agree with me on this, right? Oh God, she can <laughs> definitely agree with you. <laughs> you don't know what she did to, uh, over this week, though. That's the thing. You don't know. <laughs> oh my God, Bray. We should have Shell on here one of these times. Fucking, it'd be yes, like, it'd be Shell, like a reunion you need to come tour. On sometimes it'd be fun. Oh my God, it'd be it'd be All fucking right. great. Okay, we're gonna go with the second one here right away. This person just want to live. Says normal life is a woman living stealth in trans terms. Not a trans woman. Just a, not a trans activist. Not a person in queer culture. Just a woman. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, distance herself from being quote unquote being a trans woman. AKA what I think she's saying is the whole being a trans woman is the first important thing about who you are, which oh. very much is not our take. <laughs> we live. Fuck no. Like and go with every bad you know, take these online it. communities give. Yeah, exactly. She wants to live exactly like we do, what we want. Literally, what every trans girl that I've met from it and talked to who had transitioned already back in the early '90s on. Everyone, like, it, it's the weirdest thing how this. It doesn't matter how old, or how, yeah, how old. They are, whether they're transitioning in their twenties, thirties, forties. 70s even yeah. we all want that sort of just living stealth as they call it in this email we just want that quiet cozy happy life that it's, literally life's hard white, enough it's the white picket fence thing that's the american dream it's just we want it without as bad a gender dysphoria living as the way our brain developed that's it fuck is my knife dude Such i need to cut open feels. a box i like the happy feels it's so nice Life's hard enough as it is, right? We don't need to make it harder by being a fucking idiot, right? Like, uh, what the fuck is my utility like knife? Like, I look at one friend of mine from the Ultima community. Uh, they unfortunately can't transition because they're caring for their mom, who's very much anti-trans, crazy, wacko, uh, religious person. I feel bad for and them. And I feel on that completely job. bad for her. Wonderful person. <laughs> And like me, has factor five, has it an inversion worse than me, so definitely cannot go on HRT ever. Is that person still trans? Of course. Are they going to be a trans woman or live as one? No, of course not. They unfortunately what? can't in a healthy way, in the way they want. But they have a wonderful spouse, partner, whatever term you want to use, even though they're not actually married. But... Yeah. They're living a very happy life as best they can. Am I going to discount it? Of course not. They have very good reasons, but they have they check every single box. You you know about um this specific person. Hang on, I'm not going to say their name on stream because they don't want it known. All right. Um, 
But we're going to talk about it anyway. I'm just going to hang up. Well, uh, I've talked see. about it as well. In my case, I had part of the reason why I waited was to find a healthier way to transition with my factor five blood disorder and other is medical issues. You know that person, right? Like, you should do through me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, they can't transition for a variety of reasons, right? They just can't. And they get so many fucking trans activists up their ass all the fucking time being like, you have to fucking take hormones and you have to do this and you have to do that. And like, the reason that we met is because they heard of me and they tagged me in to just get some reprieve, just to have someone on their side. And like, it sucks, dude. They, they, people shouldn't be treating them like life that. Life is bullshit. Life is crap sometimes. You get dealt a bad hand, but you deal with it as yeah. best as you can. That and person, they do that. Me, others, they do the best they can. Am I going to yeah. discount it? No. Of course no, not. I, I would be a shit person and I would <clears throat> violate literally every one of my belief systems in doing so. And I'm not going to do that. It's not only intellectually dishonest, but it would be break my moral code. <laughs> oh, found it. <laughs> there you go. Um, no, well, it ain't gonna fucking happen in my book. Nope. You know, I've I've seen a lot of um, uh, uh, trans people use face app, right? Because some people just cannot transition either, or they their dysphoria is really bad, and they don't like looking at pictures of themselves. So they use that as a coping mechanism, and that's totally valid, right? Like fucking just. I am fine so long as you are honest with the fact that you are using it. Yes, to there is. Deal there are other help people deal who deal with your, you know, self image issues then it's completely fine but if you try to pass it off as mm. there's no editing done here i have an issue then yeah no there, there's actually someone who tr who's been trying to get my attention on facebook uh that that is like that and i'm just like i don't want anything to do with that dude i, I believe that you being like that makes us look bad so i don't like, want yes. i don't want to associate with it like yes the app has some wonderful things that can help in deal with that it's just it's a coping mechanism mechanism because even if you transition you get surgeries including ffs you're on hormones long term so you fully socially transition everything you're never gonna i can't believe i had to explain this in discord this week already there isn't a quote-unquote cure for dysphoria gender dysphoria you can treat it you can help manage it but is there a full-on cure no but in medicine there's plenty of things where there isn't a complete cure for anything you're just managing it and treating it to make it where you can live a healthier happier life yeah like does that mean the medical industry and doctors are terrible people no it just means medical science hasn't gotten to the point where we can actually can have a actual cure pretty sure completely genetically redoing someone while they're alive and completely resequencing their entire genetic code so that their chromosomes physically match how their brain developed would be rather difficult and, We're not and we don't and we don't star trek and even in star trek they couldn't do bullshit like that. well here's the thing like ever since we've known about dna that's been the ethical issue ever since, like we've known about like this danger for a long time it's like if just because you can don't, doesn't mean you should, right? Like, fucking, okay, that was literally the plot of Jurassic Park, for fuck's sake. And that was right? one of the things I talk about with so many religious people. I'm like, you have to understand, this is a neurological thing. It's akin to a birth defect. The brain develops cross sex. What do we do when someone has a birth defect? Well, obviously, we do something medically to help them live a healthier, happier life, like with cleft palates and all these other things. I'm like, that's exactly what transition is. And their brains just go. This oh, completely God. makes sense then. It's akin to that. It's just in something where it's like a choice thing or it isn't like some of this other things. It's like, oh, so it's just a birth defect and we're just totally makes sense now. And it's like, yes, I have changed more religious people minds than any fucking political streamer ha on the Internet in the past 15 years has changed people's minds to be, you know, <laughs> anything positive. Well, we get shit on for fucking considering friend, uh, trans issues to be medical issues. Like, oh, well, that's gatekeeping. It's like, no, we literally take medicine. We go to doctors and shit, bro. The reason like, why it... it's good to go <clears throat> with, like, a therapist and talk to your doctors <clears throat> and do this stuff is we want people to live healthier, happier lives in the long term. Yes, you may have more initial discomfort early on having <clears throat> to wait for certain steps. 
But by waiting for those steps and working through all the other issues that tend to come along with people, you can get a happier end result. It may not be the most perfect end result, but you have a happier. Would you rather be happier for the next 50 years of your life, or would you have the most perfect physical look, but be completely miserable still for the next 50 years of your life? Like, I think I'm... generally most people would prefer happiness over being a 10 in looks, but like a 1 in every other aspect of who they are. Like, I get I get informed consent. I really do. Like, I actually changed my mind about that because I was so much against it for a long time because I saw the type of people who were uh, advocates of it. Um, I think it's you know? good for those in certain situations. Yes. Like, I'm, 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 I'm of the mind, like, it's your body, your choice. You get to fucking choose what your comfort level. Great. However, if the inverse... Yeah, like, if you're over 18, fine. It's your choice and whatnot, but you're risking all these other things... Just make sure that you at least understand that. But unfortunately, I think I put a lot of blame on doctors where they're not very good at describing what you and I, have, and Shell and others have talked about for too many years. I got, like, I I waited so hard. Like, my the thing that got me through my transition so confidently, right, is the fact that I was the one who was being the stopgap. I didn't, like, my doctors, like, like they said, yeah, we can't put in your hormones immediately because that's, like, not cool, right? And I was like, I'm fine with that. But because, like, I was the one being cautious because I set my standards, right, and I was just like, let's just be careful, right? Because of that, it actually got me there faster. And I, at every single step of the way, I went with confidence. And at the end of the day, I was much happier for it. And that, like, but yeah, you try to tell that to certain people and they just like shit all over you. Like, oh my God, you're telling me to do that. I'm not telling you to do that shit. Here's what I did. And here's why I'm fucking happy with my decision. I look at it I, this way. It's the people who don't see the cliff while they're running through a forest and constantly mm. looking back. Mm -hmm. You don't see the cliff coming and then you fall off and then you're broken and you're dealing with such a bigger mess and issue that the wolves that you're kept looking back at are just going to eat you alive, and then you're just dead. Like, for instance, that one person who was going on testosterone had literally worse dysphoria because they didn't actually have dysphoria in the first place. That's and then tried suck. to kill the, then tried to kill themselves. And it's oh, like, no, that's not good. Yeah, the whole reason you did a trans YouTube talk about you know transitioning as a trans male literally shot you in the ass because you were never one in the first place. He literally proved the point of so many fucking crazy conservatives that those of us who are just trying to be sensible and help you and be like, hey, we think you just have BDD. Oh my god, there's actually a trend, uh, trans man YouTuber I followed for years and years and years, and I forget their fucking name, and I, I, I apologize, because they are, they're awesome. Because I feel like, they are... so bad, because BDD is a fucking mess to deal with. But they're like, but they're like, they they fucked off a of YouTube for like a few years and came back and they were like, they they're now on testosterone and you could see how the difference in how they are, and I was, like I was like, oh my god, thank you so much, thank you so much for fucking, for protecting yourself, right? Like because apparently that was their whole thing. They 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 went and actually questioned all their shit to make sure they're okay, and it turns out they were much happier for it. I'm just like, you know what? Good for you. That's it's, the, it's that's okay. the funny thing that I find so hilarious. So many of these people that rush ahead have that postmodernism lens that they use, but when it comes to their own actions, they don't question it. They question everything else, but they never question themselves. You, you know who and my favorite just, it, it fucking irks me, because it's like, you know, if you just questioned yourself, you would discover so much, and you could live a ha healthier, happier life. You know who my favorite person for, for questioning Ooh. themselves is, right? You know who I'm going to say, all right, but fucking audience does. Not, not you, shithead. Like, no, fucking, all right, you, a Adrian Wu. Yes. For those who don't know, I'm, like, super good friends with Adrian. Like, ever since they fu everyone on the internet went after her, right? And fucking, like, I saw, I did, like, when I saw her, I was just like, oh, they're just a fashion designer. They just have a, a, an interesting look because that's their, their the thing that they do, right? So like I I like instantly fucking was just like I gotta talk to this person. This person this person knows what's up, and they're the sweetest and nicest person I know. I still like they came back to the internet and they talked about their experience with like the whole fucking harmful opinions thing, right? And people being so mean to them for no fucking reason, no fucking reason. 
Now, if you look at that, now if you look at her, right, she's beautiful and she's happy as fuck and confident. Like she's awesome. She's fucking awesome. I, I, we, we should invite her on. Like, there are plenty. Fuck it. I think she'll say yeah. She may not because she's a busy motherfucker. I know, but like fucking, she's, she, she's my favorite fucking person for that. She did the ask the hard questions and she came out on the other side. And and like, no matter what she would have decided, I'd have like, been fucking happy for fun. her anyway. Like, there's erudite. There's all these other ones on Twitch, and it's like. Mm. We cover sometimes tougher things in an Evil combined. It's like, it's like man, like I, I think about that a lot. Like I was, I was, I was, I would think about her so all weird. the time, like all the fucking time. And then she came back and was like, "There she is. There's my bitch. There she is. There's, there's my girl right there, right?" And it's like, it's like, oh my god. And she, I, I was like, I don't, I, I, I thought she forgot about me because it's like you know we hadn't talked in years and years. And then I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but like you know I miss you, girl. And she's like, oh no, I definitely remember you. I was like, oh. Oh, girl. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's read the next one. Only at number three out of 31. God. I know. We're never going to get there, dude. You um, know that, right? This one talks, okay, both partners are progressive. Or both she and her, or this person and their partner are progressive. One, their partner used to be a huge Hassan fan. Thank God you're not Ugh. anymore. He's moron. Uh, yeah, he's a fucking idiot, dude. But we har both harbor beliefs that we never share publicly or with our friends because we know we'll be ostracized or even get banned from many in even the gaming community. This mm -hmm. bothers this person more than her partner. For some examples, you need this for you to be trans. She feels strongly. This person writing the email still trying to figure it out. Their partner um, both agree that trans women cannot compete fairly in some cis women's sports. Totally valid argument there. Neo pronouns are made up internet bullshit. <laughs> That's an interesting topic in and of itself. Yeah, I I think you should kill that fucking where it I'm is because gonna it's gonna get it. go on that rant. Because... Okay, yeah, let's 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 keep let's keep it clean, Bree, because we probably that that will definitely I'm get us put banned. It this way. Right? I think people are lumping way too quickly ahead. Things develop over time naturally. Trying to push and force things just creates animosity. You're not helping anyone. Th there's a there's literal like that's psychology about, behind that shit. That's literally where my stance is. I'm not saying whether I'm pro or against it because I'm not crossing that line. But I'm just saying people are both sides are rushing ahead and being a bunch of dipshits. Yeah, let me make sure I turn And anyone right who disagrees light. with me on that, you're canceled. <laughs> What the fuck does this light switch do? What the fuck? Um, they <laughs> are both um, on non-binary wow. people. One feels strongly against it being a thing. One's still trying to figure it out. Both are cringed on the ultra left online community. That tends to be most trans people in my experience. So yeah, yeah, that that's that's a lot of trans people. I don't know if it's most, but it's certainly a significant amount. It's at least a, a pretty significant majority. Or yes, plura yeah, plurality. Probably yeah, see, plurality I, would be better, better way of wording it. Yeah, because I, I like I can't say if it's most or some or like few. I, I just don't I, know. From my personal experience, I think it's most, but that's just from my own gathering of data. I I, I personally don't know, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make that claim either way. I just like I I would I would say it's enough people to where there's definitely a a, a, there's a, a, there's a distinction. There's a nice schism where both sides. Have a large enough grouping of people where, yeah, you don't it doesn't want to matter. discount either one. Yeah, it, I, it doesn't matter if it's most or 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 like you know, it's it's certainly not none. And it's I, I so I just want to like makes, you know, it, 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 it's the reason why there, there's always been dialogue within the community. Just yeah, yeah. Trans people don't all think the same. That's like one thing that certain people need to fucking realize. On, this on, person admits on both to being sides. part of the for one year being part of the crazy ultra left, which. Welcome oh my God. to those of us who are uh, smack dab in the middle. <laughs> clowns to the rest, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Back, Here I am stuck in the middle of you. Which they look back on and cringe. Well, Ugh. yeah, there was a point in my transition where before I went on hormones, where I look back and feel a little cringe about <laughs> what I was saying and doing. So, welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not a small club. Let's just say that. <laughs> I think we all go through that at one point in our transition. It's just growing pains. Yeah, we, it, that's well, the way the I is, look at it. It's growing pains. You're figuring yourself out. You're figuring it's set, everything it, out. It's, it's normal. It's, 
It's second puberty, so that's going to happen, all right? Yeah, like, it's pretty literally much. what Shell says. It's confusion. I am confusion. Look at that. Apex Legends, the game is completely right yet again in something. <laughs> Video games again, teaching people about life. Fuck you, all you anti-gamers. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> Fucking Apex Legends. You watch. We're gonna be we're gonna be fucking shilling for free video Shadow games, Legends in a video, bit. Video games teach us again about life without even trying. I fucking love it. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, um, a lot of the used to be friends with a lot of people. Destiny fights with on Twitter. Not surprising. Not a huge fan being lumped in with them. Ugh. Blah blah blah. Uh, you, you already know how we Her feel about that one. Her partner really wants to feel invisible, where on the other hand, this person doesn't really care if people really know if they're trans or not. However, it feels shitty where people are like, oh my god, I can tell you're trans. I'm trans too. Let's talk about it. God. Oh god. And they they hate that bullshit. I Thank fucking you. hate that bullshit Thank too. You. My god. Oh my god. There's we're more to you we're than trans. being trans. trans. And, yeah, they talk about the people who constantly virtue signal about that. And it's all very cringy and everything. Yeah. This person, again, is completely right. Yeah. Even if they're still tr trying to figure things out. Guess what? Most people are still trying to figure out the end whole NB thing. It's fine. Oh, shit. I it's still personally up. think it's more of a presentation and a fashion sense type thing. More so like the whole gender non-conforming presentation, which I think that's where it really falls into. And that's completely cool. Cross-dressers are great. Oh yeah, Lady, no, plenty of cross boys are great. Tomboys are great. I've dated more tomboy females than I have girly girl females. It's kind of, I don't know, almost a type for me. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it happens. What's this here? Some trans trying to enforce and market their trans ideology into others. It's like men policing masculinity. Women do the same thing. Yep, yeah, exactly. It, there's the women who constantly, um, yeah, you mentioned this, try to validate their own life. It's the women who shame women who want to be stay-at-home moms. It's oh, yeah. It's really fucking cringe. My mom put up with that for decades. Oh, why don't you get a career? Why don't you work? The kids are old enough. Mom's like, I like doing my hobbies. I like being there when the kids come home from high school, when it was my younger siblings, and helping them with shit, and, you know. Teaching me my younger siblings how to cook so they could have all the same skills I had when I went to college and helping grandma out and all this wonderful things. Mom was very happy doing her own thing, doing what she wanted, not what others wanted. But she was shamed for that. I think that's pretty anti woman and anti feminism, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's what I was saying earlier, right? It's <laughs> like it's one of the shittiest things you can fucking say. It's not like if we're prog like here's the thing if we're progressing in towards the future if we are in fact you know going forward right that means there should be more options for people not less like i look at my dad and his complete career in as a software engineer he's had more female bosses than he's had male bosses that's the tech industry yeah and they say all oh, it's not, it's not not enough female representation from my perspective, there have been lots of women in it. One young lady who I used to consider to be one of my closest best friends, a soul sister to me, she's in the tech industry. She was programming. You're in the fucking industry. Oh, I fucked this up super hard. It's like, what the fuck? No, women that want to do it will do it. And if you keep shaming women into doing it, you're going to drive them away. If you shame them for doing it, you drive them away. It's just... Stay out of it. Stay out of what people want to do. Yeah, if people choose, like, get this right, if people choose something themselves, they're going to be more confident in it. Even even if it's the wrong choice, because eventually they'll be like, you know what, I learned something else from it. They'll gain the experience, uh, or, a di or a different experience, right? It's fine. It's fine to let people choose their own shit, okay? Stop trying to be like, you should be like this, you should be like that. Cause let me tell you, like as when I was told that to be uh, like as a guy, right? When I was still fucking you no know, dude, right? It didn't help at all. It's just dick policing, but in a different form. Vagina policing, I guess. Yeah, the people who and can't that, just accept that people might make different choices than them are just disgusting. It's, it's terrible. It, it, it's vile. It doesn't matter what fucking pl part of the political sphere you belo uh, belong to. That's just disgusting, and don't be like that. All right. The fuck is wrong with you? Cheers to that. Or live you got, live your own goddamn life. Because this, <laughs> this is the sad part. 
I need alcohol to deal with all this stupid. Oh, all right, shit. number four. This person was a trans woman, local political advocate, blah, blah, blah. I don't want... No, you say you don't want trans women to come to agree with you as a trans shield. Yes, no, we don't want to shield Destiny. Destiny's going to make mistakes like everyone else. We don't want to try to protect him and have him be our hero in White Knight bullshit. So, be smart. We don't need that. If... I don't think people understand how truly the influence of ones of their... Who, who are these their people? How dangerous trans women online are, I think maybe they mean? This person eh? worked for two campaigns, not getting a progressive Democrat wants me to read offline similar to what Demon Mama, oh. Josie, or Vouch sometimes say I wouldn't partake in it. Oh, yes, exactly. We don't want these political types dictating to us what we're supposed to say. Th this is why I don't like fucking um, uh, corporate interests of pride, because it's uh, it's a means for them to tell us who we are. But the second we invited that shit in, right, is the second we lost our own voice. I'm talking about all this, you know, can affect people in college and whatnot. Yeah, completely right. Let's see. I'm kind of insulted that Mr. Bird thought he knew anything about trans folks. Oh, Vosh, yes. Vosh doesn't know anything about trans people. He's he doesn't know any. You no, know, he's a moron. He doesn't understand he's anything a, about anything. He's a, he's, a, he's a cis male who literally insulted a woman for wearing a skirt and pantyhose, claiming she wanted to be in Mad Men and be sexually assaulted by men. No, she was talking about femininity and feminine characters in movies and talking about Gladriel and fucking Lord of the Rings. It was a really great video. In fact, I loved it. God. Shit, I posted it in my Discord because it was such a fun thing and criticism of Hollywood. And it's like, yes, Hollywood's really shitty at writing characters. And there's a reason why K-dramas and anime and some of these genres of visual entertainment have become so fucking popular. Because they have yeah. in video games, because they have better characters, better stories, better worlds, better storytelling. Ho Hollywood's dumb bullshit is actually giving <laughs> like the voices to independent <laughs> creators because they can explore things that Hollywood would never dare. Yes, look, I really love that game. It takes two, and the whole exploration of a difficult marriage of a woman who's very career focused, a dad who's very family focused, their daughter struggling to deal with her parents fighting and possibly getting divorced. It was such a good story with fun characters. And the fact you could troll each other we had comedy in it then. It's like, yes, it's a serious story, but with a lighthearted take on it, that was fun. There's a reason it won Game of the Year. It's better than any fucking Hollywood movie. <laughs> See, I, I personally love Don't Shit Your Pants, right? It's fucking, it's, it's a story that everyone can relate to, right? Like, yeah. Like, but yeah, like, he just, because this person uh, looked a certain way and was British and whatnot, all he does is insult her. He doesn't even listen to what she said. It's like, yeah, no, this person doesn't, you know, he and all these others do not understand <laughs> us. They just talk what they think the script is and because they want money and views and power. Dude, Which I, isn't I even can't. power because the average person out there has no clue who any of these fucking streamers are. They go, you, you ask them what they think about so and so, and they go, who's that? It's like, exactly. Oh, God. You know, it's, 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 like, it's like when our buddy Carl was like, I have so and so subscribers on YouTube, and no one knows who the fuck he is. Remember that shit? Oh, when Carl. I had my boudoir photo shoot, one of the biggest and best boudoir photographers in southeastern part of my entire state. And that includes the fucking Chicago area probably too, which is two hours south of us. I was the first streamer. <laughs> first, like, real online content creator. The people she contracts with have, have worked with. Me! Little old me, who's been around since fucking forever online. People need to realize, like, offline, nobody gives a shit. Like, 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 get, like, get this right. Fucking, when I worked at, uh, when I worked at the telecom, right, and you're gonna fucking love this because you already, you already know the story behind it. But like, oh, yes. fucking, I, 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 worked at the, t uh, at one of the major telecoms for a little while, right, and fucking, one of the, one of the, uh, the guys there, he's like, oh, dude, you gotta check out this new guy I found online. His name is Milo, and I'm like, yeah, I know fucking Milo. He's like, no, no, you don't, you don't know him like I do. I'm like, no, I've actually fucking met him. I was on his show, dickhead. And he's like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah. Like that, like that's the average person online. Like that's the oh, sorry, the uh, the average person offline. They don't know who you are. They don't give a shit. All right, they're gonna discover you, be like excited for like ten seconds, and then they're gonna forget you. 
All right, just oh, get yeah. over yourself. Like, YouTube is the biggest fucking platform for video in the world. But nobody cares. It's nobody so gives a shit. <laughs> nobody could give a rat's ass who you are, dude. You could be like the fucking. Person, you, you could be PewDiePie and you could walk down the street in any city. The average people are just not going to give a fuck who you are. They may recognize you and be like, hey, yeah, it's PewDiePie, and that's it. They don't care. They're not going to, like, stop everything they're doing to get a fucking autograph or selfie. Nobody cares. You're not important. Yeah, no yeah nobody gives a shit. Like, <laughs> I like, hate to say it, but that's true. No, like that that's one of the things that actually got me to stop going online so much. It's like, oh, yeah, nobody cares. Like once I once I learned that, I was just like, oh, this well, is just did, a fuck. Why did I go to the bullshit. beach with with female friends and my including my ex girlfriend this past Sunday and Monday because I wanted to be offline, away from my fucking computer. I wanted to go mm. outside, be it unplugged. Uh, it was wonderful. And this is coming from us, people who grew up on this shit, right? Like, I was playing fucking muds in 1995 game online. I my my childhood was going on fucking BBSs and talking to people through that shit, yes. right? Downloading shareware software, really ch sharing cheat codes we figured out. And... I I got the Amiga Mini just to relive a little bit of my childhood because that was my childhood. My favorite part: finding a bug in Blarnystein 3D and having it patched because I found it. Oh my god, I've been I've been telling people about like old Amiga I games, know. right? Like. No, we are old, that's the thing. I was telling people about, you You might know about this, fucking Fiendish Freddy Circus. Do you know this game? Yes. Yeah, because we were talking about how, like, fucking software has evolved, right? And I was like, yeah, you think you think the, your game on two discs was bad, right? I fucking Fiendish Freddy's came on nine fucking discs, right? And it was a fucking nightmare to play. And I, this is one of my fucking most beloved childhood memories. <laughs> Man, I love it. Mindscape made so many... They published oh my some God. fun games Mine's... back in the day. Oh man, that's a name I have not heard in a fucking age. It's like there was you just... that Deja Vu game, there was Balance of Power, which I played that one a bunch. Like They had a bunch of fucking good games. Oh my God. Like, I haven't, they were not I have well not known, thought. but like so they even wrong. integrated with Borderbund at one point, which Borderbund made some of my favorite games ever. Oh my God. Honestly, it was still one of the best games ever, though, from... Uh... Mindscape, which I still have the floppy disk for, by the way, is Sim Ant. I was talking about my favorite fucking I mean, chess they simulator. I even did fucking day. Wing Commander on the SNES back in the day. Like, this is you, fucking classic publishing. You might know this game, Bree, but no, no one else is gonna know this game in the chat because it's fucking old. But this game like revolutionized gaming. All right, for real, and it's called Battle Chess. Right, like <laughs> everyone thinks of like Star Wars chess when they I think of like that Bl so many fucking times. Yeah, fucking, I I still play that shit. Fucking battle chess is great. Like Man, fucking, it's that came it, it is, out on the Amiga. What? It was in the Amiga. Yeah, in 1988, it was like revolutionary for the time. Do you know it's on Steam? Why did I think it was 89? Because it was also ported to the uh, every other system, the Atari ST 64. That's why. That's why I yeah. got it in '89. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I was I was fucking there for that one, mate. Like fuck me. And like like <laughs> here's the thing: all the all of the other chess sims, right, were released after that. Had to fucking take cues from Battle Chess because Battle Chess was so fucking good. Battle I Chess is so I fucking good. They re-released it. I improved at my chess game literally by playing Battle Chess. I I spent most of my fucking childhood playing Battle Chess. Like it was fucking great. Like I like love it. Like if I didn't want to play Ultima or any of these other games, what was I playing? Battle either, Chess. Either Battle Chess uh, or the original fucking John Madden football. Oh my god, John Madden was it John Madden ninety one or ninety two? Like No, we're talking about oh? fucking nineteen eighties on the Apple II. Oh, oh my god, alright. That's then you're beating me. Fuck me. You oh my god. Old? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I wasn't into Madden. My first my first uh, sports game no, was fucking Tetris. No, it came Sensible out Sarko. the same year that Battle Chess did in '88. I didn't have it though. I had fucking Sensible Soccer, which was uh, my first fucking sports game. Well, yeah, but you were also in Europe. So. I, I I fucking all right. Get this right. Just off the fucking topic a little bit, right? But fucking the guy, one of the guys who developed uh fucking Sensible Soccer and like um and a bunch and uh, cannon fodder, right? Uh, he goes by the program. His programmer moniker was Jules. 
He's a fucking CEO of some like fucking solar company now in Canada. Please like, just... not. Please, please, please say not solar roadways. <laughs> uh, oh no, not that one. No, no, no. The solar freaking roadways. What a fucking joke that was, right? We should invite them on the fucking to just talk as uh, <laughs> them the fuck. People. Oh man. Dumbest idea ever, dude. Right. That was so fucking stupid. So this trans person can fuck about, you know, there you how go. they understand the sentiment of don't gatekeep trans people mm. and where the whole hate towards trans or true scum, trans medicalists, all that came from. But at the same time, they're saying they don't think someone's invalid for not doing invasive surgeries. Well, yeah, there's a reason why bottom surgery and sometimes the bad results some people get it kept some from wanting to do it. Or in like my, my case... Can't do it because of blood clot issues, and I'd probably stroke out and die. And let's just say some people would probably be kind of pissed at me if I actually like stayed permanently dead for once. <laughs> I mean, I would be fine with it, but <laughs> they would bring me back to life just to murder me in the most heinous way possible for dying on them. And I kind of don't want to give them that pleasure because they would take uh... some sick, sick pleasure in bringing me back to life <laughs> and killing me. Oh my god. Just, 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 just putting it out there, you know? Like, yeah, you, you know, like, <laughs> I, one thing I fuck, one thing I fucking hate, right, is when people, like, the haters, like, the haters, they don't know anything about fucking trans shit, because of course they fucking don't, right? Why would they, why well, would they? Yeah? This is the whole reason why you, it, it, it's, it's like so many things. The nuanced approach tends to be the correct approach, and a lot of nuanced approaches, like with abortion, you treat it on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay, the kid was, you were already at 28 weeks? Okay, that kind of feels like killing a kid. Oh, you were only at six weeks? Probably fine. Oh, the, the mom was going to die? Totally fine. Okay. The, just don't call the kid is miserable having seizures in the womb and it's, it's going to die and not live and there's nothing we can do medically. But the, you know, the mom can carry the kid for another four weeks. The kid could be miserable and in extreme pain these last four weeks. Or we can do an abortion. Of course we're gonna do the fucking abortion. Save the kid tons of pain. Did you see Tim Pool's fucking big brain take on that shit? Because fuck me, that guy's a moron. Who wants like, why someone do people to suffer? Who wants someone to suffer for weeks like that? Good lord, my mother-in-law fucking discontinued her cancer treatment so that she could die sooner. Because do I want to go through what's going to be an inevitable result for months and be completely miserable, or pass away in a couple weeks? Die on my terms and be happy and make up with my daughter-in-law and everything. It was wonderful making up with her. I can actually die happier knowing that I fixed that relationship. This cost my... me lots of money to do it and lots of opportunities and whatnot. But I can live a happier life having that awful on my chest and everything. That's why fucking my stepdad decided to just like give up on his uh COVID treatment because he just kind of was like fuck it he was like yeah, i'm i'm, I'm not gonna like recover my, and have like quality my, of life remotely close that's like my grandma that's why i still have the platelet disorder support association link it's she ended her COVID thing because she had a like my factor five a blood disorder hers was very platelet related there isn't a cure there's only treatment it's <laughs> managing just like my issues that I have medically, it's like, yeah. Of course she's gonna end it, and just, she's lived a full happy life, she can die happy. And I'm looking forward to seeing her again in the next life, hopefully, but good lord, these... <sighs> yeah, me and, my, me and my brother thank had, a, had have, good, Thank shit. god I have alcohol tonight, let me tell you. Like, ugh. Anyway, but back to the fucking haters and shit being stupid, right? Fuck it, because we kind of... Alright, what we're we doing here? Alright, all right, here we are. Well, hang on, um, hang on, so hang on. Yeah. Oh, wait, I had a point, dude. Like, fucking, oh, I, right. I want to say. But you were saying. Yeah. Okay, so fucking haters always get up my ass. Whenever they fucking have to, like, they just are just losing, they'll, they'll always be like, ah, you'll never have a fucking real vagina, and that's the and that's the end of that, and they'll just dust their hands and fuck off. And the thing is, right, they don't know what orchidectomy is. Like, that's as far as I'm willing to go because of reasons, right? Like, and like, it was like, my response to that is always the same thing. Yeah, I know. And they're like, aha, you admit it. I'm like, no, it, I'm not admitting shit. I just, like, I already know where I'm taking my transition. You fuckhead. And look at how many trans girls do just that, live very happy lives. Most of them actually date and even marry men. Mm. And everything's happy. They live wonderful, happy lives as women in how, society. How dare they? <laughs> they have wonderful careers. 
often even raise adopted kids and live almost a actually traditional female life. That's stereotypical. Yeah, it's it's a t it's to it's a totally valid path, right? But like. <laughs> I just, I always find it funny that it's like they're Hail Mary. They're like, oh, yes, I'll got you now, bitch. And it's like, all right, what do, what do you got? What do you what do you fucking got that I haven't heard a million times over, bitch? Fucking bring it. And they're like, oh, you'll never have a pussy. And I'm just like, yeah, I know, because I already talked to my doctor about it. Like, fucking, where ahead of you? Ty never cares. He's like, well, you've seen what, I don't think, I think I've shown you how big he is. It's like, he doesn't give a uh, shit. He's very much the guy. I'm very much the girl who's a hoot. For as long as it lasted. I hope he doesn't fuck it up because I'd still like to at least keep him as a friend with benefits, but come on. Like, he needs to get his shit together for real. Like, that's. What the fuck it's is so this? It's so rare to find a guy with such a wonderful skill set on things. Masculine guy likes football, likes working with his hands, actually decent at sex, actually appreciates the fact that I'm good at oh, fucking, I know what that is. actually is willing to help like support the fact that I actually want to keep improving my cooking skills and some of my other hobbies. Good grief, he bought me made this new microphone because he knew how frustrated I was with the con the um really good compressor mic I had. And he's like, "Why don't you just have a nice dy dynamic one for your streams of Frozen?" And so I'm like, "That would be really nice, but I don't have the money for it." Great guy in so many ways, but so fucking dumb sometimes. It, isn't it sad, like, how that works out, just, like... And dumb in the worst possible ways. Like, oh, if he was God. dumb in, like, with the nine different levels of dumb, <laughs> like, the nine <laughs> levels of hell, <laughs> he's not in, like, the first two categories, which are <laughs> forgivable. The first two levels, you can forgive that. <laughs> you can deal with that. You can marry men in those... First oh, I did marry. I did marry a man. Those first two levels, you can. <laughs> and that's fine. But he falls right in the third level, the first level where it's like. Oh nope. my god. God. And then you get people like like we talked about earlier, Ravosh. He just falls right in the last. Oh level, the ninth god, level he's of, like of dumb, and it's like. Oh man. You don't deal with that bullshit. Like, nope. like, all right, all right. Valsh is so fucking stupid, right? That my fucking brother heard of him, right? My brother is not an online person, period. He doesn't, wa he doesn't watch any of this shit. It's like, my brother knows well, who you that, are. And that's he one of the reasons idiot, why I yeah. love the drama we talked about earlier with, like, mm. uh, Keffel and Quartering and Rich, because nobody gave a shit, and everyone who even, even the non-online people, knew about at least one of those three, and they're like, yeah, we don't give a shit. <laughs> It's fucking great. It's, the best thing ever. it's like dumbest people oh. you know fucking get into a get into a slap fight, it's right? It's something like, that's not dumb. This person says they never wanted to be trans and they've had a lot of depression for the last decade. Guess what? Welcome the most trans people. None of us wanted to actually be trans, but like yeah, we talked I about earlier, that. it's like a birth disorder. It's a neurological birth disorder. That's why it falls often under you know the mental health issue in regards to the gender dysphoria part, not the trans part. And all that it makes complete sense it's very easy to then classify things and have it be something where both can, the right and the left can actually agree that treatment's a wonderful thing but nobody listens to people like me because somehow i mean well, we, get, we get thrown to the wayside all the fucking time because nobody gives a shit i can literally explain it in a way that makes sense to everyone and it's so clear and simple but nobody still listens oh whatever well, it's it's because being challenged is difficult, and just nodding your head is easy. Yeah, gotta stick with your tribe. Oh, uh, fuck that! I don't, I don't I have think my I've own tribe, the blackjack and hookers. Anyway, <laughs> um, besides the depression, yeah, yeah. they had suicide and panic attacks, confronting themselves with a decision on identity. Guess what? That's all of us. Yeah. Counseling was the one thing that helped them in making a decision finally as to whether or not they wanted to physically transition fantastic good you made the decision that you really wanted to dig in understand who you are and what would be best for you i love you you're fantastic love this email already now dysphoria is literally the only reason i call myself trans totally makes sense here the cross-sex brain Thanks. thing blah 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 they talk about the whole veteran oh. and trans id issues also, a... it's frustrating to change that, make a decision on it, and all that. Say, totally like the understandable. Veterans who are trans? 
trains changing her their pronouns did not actually describe the suffering and whatnot. It just allows me to feel more respect for their journey. Oh, they're trans men. Fantastic. Did you just say about veterans and trans people? Because, like, there's a lot of them. And I always see, like, this whole fucking thing about, um, oh, like, oh, you should you should send people to the military and it will fucking make them not trans. And I'm like, bro, like, a good 25% oh, of the trans they're saying that they're ex-military. It's, it's like people who call themselves a veteran but aren't really veterans because they oh, never oh, actually oh. served. But they, they still put uh, it on their IDs. And so there's, uh, there's people who are liars who claim to be trans uh, but really aren't. Okay, uh, it, it's it's not a great analogy, but mm -hmm. I can understand what they're trying to hit on. These people who kind of co-opt the whole thing to try to figure out who they are. But really, they should just do what you did. Dig deep into yourself, whether it's on your own or with the therapist, etc. And... Boy, boy, did I dig deep into myself, let me tell you. We're not talking about fisting yourself, sweetie. I can't fist myself. You should know better than that. <laughs> They're making a good point. I can completely yeah. understand. No, I, 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 uh, God, sorry. I, I, I understand about um stolen valor shit because you know I used to be married to an army guy. So yeah, I kind of get what they're saying. Let's see. I guess this that's why I'm just like a little bit that the shit. Number six here. Within two months between starting HRT, felt very similar to when this person started taking SSRIs. They took Lexapro. Okay, the brain felt more calm and more satisfied with the correction with the balancing. Good. That's literally what the journal articles that I've read that are our long-term studies say is for most trans people that seek treatment, that's what it is. Those but they don't have that tend to be the ones that detransition. So this is good. It's literally exactly what long-term studies have said. Fantastic. They've never felt more happy and mentally free. Wonderful. They did laser hair removal, which improved their confidence oh a lot. Totally true. Completely oh. accurate. I love my at home laser pulse yes. thing. I barely ever have to treat my like armpits and other things because of it. Mm hmm. Like, no, I, I, clean, I, I, I trim like armpit hair what, like once a year? That's it. I, uh, the it's only thing I have to shave, the only thing I have to shave is my, um, I have to shave my arms and my legs every once every six weeks because this, I, I, like, yeah, uh, that's, the, that's, that's it, about how long I do with fun. my legs, is about every six to eight weeks. I need you get to do you my get legs. like the pe you get the peach fuzz right like yeah, yeah. it's just like a little bit of hair and it, for me it's pretty oh much God. on the thighs it's not the lower legs it's just the thigh area see I, I still get a Brazilian I, every about <clears throat> eight to ten weeks which I like it because I like being just completely hairless I yeah well I'm like ninety two percent fucking lasered so like fucking and I haven't <laughs> done laser hair removal this is literally just hormones and the, and the pulse at home laser thing. So uh, I saved I would... lots of money by just doing that, but it's, <laughs> it's similar results. It's not quite as good as the professional laser. It takes longer too. All and right, it, like yeah, I... it takes time to build up to it. But if you're willing to do the work, you can save yourself some. <sighs> oh, you can save yourself thousands of dollars. Like that's what and that's me, what I did. That was fantastic, and I love oh, it, it so... and I appreciate it. Little can can I just give it a... all you trans girls out there, even cis girls? If you have a little, if you like to say you're, you're like my an esthetician and you're Italian. Actually, both my anestheticians are hairier than I am, according to the, or, Yeah, are both hairier can than I, me than, than can I Can I just give, give a little bit of advice they, from my experience? They are jealous even, so... I just, I just want to kind of share this, because it, it yeah. is definitely related. Basically, just make sure you stick to a schedule. It really makes the difference. Like, like I would do it, I would do it every Friday or Saturday, right? It just depends, right? But yeah. just... D just don't don't skip too much, all right? Like, because I know I know girls who have had to go get like more laser. Like they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on laser because they got half of it done and they didn't complete it, and it came back a different texture, different color, all that shit, right? And they had to start over, and it's just just make sure you stick to a schedule. Just oh, find yeah. a time that works for you. You I can love... you can miss one, you can miss a treatment or two, right? That's fine, but don't give up, all right? Like fuck me. Yeah. Like it will, it, it's it's so it makes all the difference. On my YouTube channel, I have a fashion and beauty playlist. I do believe I have it public. Some of the girls on there have done the whole different light pulse at home ones. They've had varying results based on the different brands, but they're really good to look at those videos. Sarah Ray Vargas and other ones. 
fucking amazing. Like she's done in Chicago. Like they <laughs> took it seriously. They kept to a schedule and they really did their due diligence in testing some of these brands. For hundreds of Less dollars, time. you can save yourself thousands of dollars. And lots of time. Like, cause it, cause you can do it on your own schedule. And the like, best part is, you, uh, like, what I did, my light pulse thing, I would put on a TV show, and I would just do mm -hmm. one thing, and I would just watch TV. I did live streams for like fucking two, <laughs> the first two years of transition while I was lasering myself or like IPO. Oh, yeah, or something. I remember like, that. Yeah, you had a little. And people, and people, and people be like, "What the fuck is that noise?" Right? And I'll just show them, be like, "Dude, I'm just fucking burning my skin. Don't worry about it." Like, you know, like carry on. Multitask. Guess what? Yeah. Girl. Fucking like use you, you embrace can, you the can fucking find... stereotype. Stereotypes are not a bad thing. Uh. What's the joke from the fucking uh, Canadian Indian dude, um, Russell Peters? You think you go up to a black man and say, "Hey, nice big dick." You think he's gonna be like, "No, my dick is small." No, he's gonna thank you. <laughs> he's gonna fucking love that shit. <laughs> he's gonna be like, "Thank you." Uh, that's so fucking true, though. It's like, what was, what was one of the other ones he said? It's like, it's like going to a Jewish Jewish person and be like, hey, you're going to be able to retire and be comfortable. Yeah, they're going to be fucking happy. You think they're going to complain? No, of course not. Oh, man. We get, we get, if we ain't getting banned now for you, you just fucking solidified like, that all, shit. All, all these fucking positive stereotypes? Yeah, we should start doing it. Trans girls. Oh, you're, my you're, word. You're, 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 you're cute and adorable and feminine. Yes, we are. We love it. And we love the fact that so many people, guys and girls, love us. Bisexual girls especially love us. Best of both worlds. It was a phrase in the 90s. It's fucking true. Straight guys that love the, the trans girl porn. We appreciate you. Just don't be creeps. But we love the yeah. millions of dollars and all the wonderful shit that happens with it. Yeah, we we like we like money as much as the next people. Don't let fucking, <laughs> don't let the commies fucking lie to you and say if we don't, we fucking do. All right, we like ask to buy shit like bras. Shit. Literally, ask the owner of Groovy Girls. I'm sure he loves the money that he makes oh, after I'm all these decades. I could DM him right now on fucking Twitter and ask, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna say yes because he fucking follows me. <laughs> he's probably rubbing himself with money right now, dude. Like. <laughs> I love the man. He's a sweetheart. Love him to death. Very respectful uh, and cool dude, but he's got great taste in a couple of things, in fact, actually. <laughs> really see, smart businessman. I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna talk about fucking uh about the groovy stuff because I've had I've had yeah. different shit, but like you know me, whatever. Well, he is a person. That's mm. a, like yes, there's a number of issues with the company and some of the people they employ and all that, but we're not gonna oh, talk boy, about that. that. Yeah, we have, that's a whole different that's fucking subject. That's drama we do not want. <laughs> we can avoid that like the fucking plague. Yeah, like, like yeah, just that's why All I don't right. want to talk so about it. So this person talks about things, sensitive skin, blah blah blah. <sighs> it's only because I feel like people actually see the, her for who she is now after she's done this work to socially transition and medically transition and put in the effort to kind of literally the same thing, blend in and be exactly what excuse me exactly like the, the, exactly reflect exactly what they were feeling in their brain they talk about their sexuality and being bi no big deal whatever sexuality it... is again as we've confirmed with brain scans and many multiple journal articles it's ingrained in the brain it's hardwired a lot of Christians are wrong in that. It annoys the fuck out of me, just like a lot of Christians deny evolution, even though it's quite obvious evolution definitely did happen, and God made you quite a lot of use of it. The whole 5,000-year-old Earth thing is a giant joke, too, and I still mock them for it, <laughs> because it's fucking dumb. Yeah, like, if I, if I was a Christian who wasn't, like, one of those fundamentalist morons, right, I'd be deeply insulted Ooh. by letting those people speak for me, right? Like, you know what I mean? I'm like. I hate it so often, but then those who actually talk to me get to know me like, oh, you're one of those. It's like, yeah, I'm not one of those lunatics who goes off the deep end. I like my little happy, wonderful space where I try to understand, okay, how does science explain this world that was created by God? But at the same time, it's like science helps me understand the rules of the world, what was set in the order, things that he let just happen through chance and randomness and other shit because, of course – do you really think, like, I don't think God's the type that's going to want to control every minute little thing. I think he kind of enjoys seeing what random shit happens through 
chance and free will and everything else. We, we've all played the game of life, Bree. We get it. And right? quite like, honestly, <laughs> we know from the Bible God likes free will, and these Christians that ignore that are a bunch of fucking dumbasses. Yeah. But I'm not going to rant on Christianity anymore because. Yeah, yeah. It's going to become its own circle. Is, thing. Just becomes a circle jerk all over again. Ooh, ooh. All right, number seven. This person refuses to hang out in trans LGBT co activist communities. Guess what? Oh, Welcome God. to the club. Yeah. <laughs> most of uh, not only do we, we, we don't just refuse it, right? They refuse us. It's, it's fucking two way on that one. There are great trans meme groups and trans friendly spaces for other topics. Case in point, our communities. Guess what? <laughs> Yeah. Fucking... And yeah, there's other ones. Like, there's one uh, trans video game programmer that I like their Discord because most of them, well, some of the people are rather cringe and young and wacky activist types, but some of them are just there for fun games and fun memes, and I fucking love them. Some of them are f some of the funniest people I know, and they're young and stupid, but I still love it. Man. You, you you already know my experience with the fucking young and stupid people. I mean, hey Harpo, like fuck. <laughs> I enjoy the comedy. I just sit I, there as the I, as the mama and just go and head pat them and let them do their shit because yeah, it's entertaining for me and I like being Mama Bree. It's so much fun. Yeah, no, I, that was that wasn't me digging on Harpo because I I was talking shit. Like she, Harpo knows I mean well. Let's see. So let's see. Let's see. Um, but when everything, because how negative everything is, and how the rhetoric becomes outrageous, because <clears> everything's <throat> lost. No, it's so terrible. This person's oh. good because the whole claims of a LGBT genocide is overblown and a giant fucking lie. So don't oh listen my to God. those people. God, remember, remember that during was it which whichever fucking election it was where they were doing that shit? And oh I'm yeah, just like, there, still there, there, there's been supposed to be a genocide for the past. It's so hyperbolic and just like just it's dishonest years? and it, yeah, it's so dishonest and it's I it's take, no different than I the fucking Sarah Palin's death panels. I take Remember it that back. shit. The genocide of LGBT people was, goes all the way back to Reagan with the whole his bad stance on gay people and AIDS. And we're still fucking reeling from that shit. Yes. So technically, the genocide's been going on that long, and really, it. <sighs> It's a genocide. It's just really bad policy because people are morons, especially politicians, which is why I still vote for Hunger Games. But I, neither here nor there. Like, all right, th there'd be something to be said, right? If you were fucking going to like the places where that actually is happening and fucking dealing with that shit right there, then you could, ha then you could, I'd be fucking totally on board with you and I'd be like, you know what, fuck it, I, I, I rally with you too, right? I get you, right? <laughs> But like, that's, that's not where they're doing it. That's not where they're fucking doing it. And it's just like disingenuous and dishonest. Yeah. All right. So let's see what else is in this number seven. They enjoy their fr friends of all types. Blah. That's nice and whatnot. They join this Zoomer app called Amino. <laughs> Never heard of it, but I'm a boomer, so I, totally I don't give understand. a shit. It literally rides on elitism and proclaims suffering. Well, I hate the proclaim suffering bullshit. There's actual suffering, and then there's the what's happening in your fucking head. Ah. Oh. Which tends to not be real, but whatever. There's nothing oh. fun about obsessing or coping with a group. It's always focused on id poll, anyways. Oh, identity politics. Oh, uh, yeah, I, yeah, identity politics. Completely too. agree. Agree with that. Join yeah, a queer it's app like... called Timey, and there's a load of clueless pre-transition trans folks. They're all uh, in this social dating app to try to match with other trans folks who are further along to be like, where'd you get, where can I, where do I get HRT? My counselor refers to the place my counselor referred to me is closed. What insurance do I need? You can go These to clearly aren't for, really aren't proper space for them. Well, no kidding. That's not a proper place for that. No fucking. Like... So dumb. Those communities got... that claim to support are dumb fucks who obsess about fuckboys identifying as super straight. Now you should be able to change all documents that literally declare your existence from assigning gender at birth to preferred gender at the click of the button with no mediation. Yeah, like there was one person in Destiny's chat today. He's like, well, if I was a trans person, I would change my name before even starting HRT. And it's like, Do you have any idea how fucking difficult that is. You don't understand how the process is. Yeah, like, like I'm having to go through the process now, and it's taken me fucking years. I and I have been on HRT. I did the first time, and it was denied because I tried doing both gender marker and it at the same time. But since oh, I good. don't get 
I'm not doing any surgical options. It's denied uh, at not just my state I'm living in. It's also denied it at the state I was born in for the exact same reason. Both require you to have surgery, bottom surgery specifically, to even get the gender marker change. Well, when that failed, the other half of it changed because they just decided we're going to fail your entire request in one full swoop instead of doing half of it and rejecting the other half. Because the U.S. legal system sucks. The thing is, I've already talked to the I've already talked to the Colorado side because, like, you know, whatever. I live in Colorado; everyone fucking knows. Um, but like, I've already done that uh, side and talked to the judges, and they don't give a shit. The problem is, they don't have jurisdiction in my birth state, so I have to fucking do it in two different states. And the, thankfully, the my birth state actually got sued by a trans person, and this and and the trans person won. So they actually had to change the law to reflect uh, that's, new stuff. That's exactly but what like, I was told I should do. Is I should sue my birth state. Because there's only so much they can do in the state where I live. Now, I reached hmm. out to the governor's office in my state because he's a fucking Democrat. And I got completely ignored going, hey, is there any chance I could get a little help with this? Because this has been a miserable experience the first time and I want to do it a second time. They ignore me. So, Tony Evers in the state of Wisconsin. Your office is technically transphobic for completely ignoring my written request that I sent and mailed to your fucking office. So it was actually in print. But now I'm fucking blast, motherfucker. Do it. Do it. But because I'm somehow conservative or right-leaning in even the most minute possible fucking way, being religious, I'm, I guess, maybe a, some terrible, horrible human being, I guess? That doesn't that, that doesn't give you that, that doesn't give them fucking jurisdiction to deny you the your rights. I all just right? like, want a little bit of help. To say hey, obviously trans people, you know, need like a nice streamlined, optimal way to be able to do this, especially if they've been transitioning this long and have their doctors behind them and everything. Let's just make this process a little easier, and not have it be a miserable fucking experience. Because we can all I know just... the legal system, whichever side you're on, is a miserable fucking experience. It's both plaintiff oh, or mate. defendant. Oh, yeah, no, the fucking legal I'm system. I'm just trying to help I... people. And me trying to help people, not just myself, oh. is completely useless. <laughs> so, so can, I, can I just give a shout out to our friend of the show, Mothra? Because fucking Mothra, yes. right? Mothra actually wrote her congressperson, and I uh, and I, I helped a little bit, but like fucking, like like the, like she was fucking legit yeah. mad, like fucking she was super pissed. So she wrote a scathing fucking letter to her very fucking conservative uh, congressperson. I just gave her a piece of a fucking bite. I'm so fucking proud of you for that shit. I should you reach go. out to Glenn Grothman, the conservative state representative, and be like, dude, the state governor f office fucking ignored me. Maybe you can. Play, play that fucking political game. Be like, oh, yeah, the fucking Democrats are useless as fuck, right? So, you know, you could look good, right? Be like, you know, because that, that's all they give a shit about, right? They don't give a fucking damn about help helping you. one of my constituents do something that they needed to do to make their life easier. Yeah, that'd be yeah. fantastic. <clears throat> yeah. You gotta, you gotta manipulate these sociopaths just a little bit to get a lot from them, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, this person's pretty accurate, like, you just you gotta find a better place to do this than on a fucking stupid dating app. Like Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> compassion, empathy for people in a changing world is the most impactful thing you can offer. Duh. Actually listening to people and trying to understand both sides and figuring shit out. Wonderful. That's one of the reasons why I appreciate Destiny not being the fucking debate bro dipshit he used to be. Where it's all about getting the over on the person on the other side of whatever argument. Gotchas. I fucking hate that shit. Oh, so dumb. So, Thank you for calming down, Destiny. I think marriage has probably done you some good in fucking calming your ass down. <laughs> that and you understanding right. that, like, fuck that <clears throat> whole gotcha thing is literally forcing people into this worse tribalism. It's so fucking dumb. Yes. Th thank you for doing the bare minimum, dude. Like, <laughs> Yeah, way to do, like, literally the least amount of effort ever. <laughs> Fucking loser. Thank oh, God man. you're at least more tolerable than, like, certain dipshits on both, like, the skeptic community and some of these other ones. Because God. at least you're at least a fun gamer and you at least have interest in fun games oh, and you at least skeptic community, are willing dude. to listen to people on every side. Like, even his stuff with Lauren Southern is at least better. And at least she's not as... 
she's at least chilled out too, which is fantastic. I think marriage and having a kid is good for her. She's come to kind of realize she got a little too deep into the political world. Oh my god. It wasn't good for her. That's why I stopped doing political writing. You don't want to stay in that world too long. I hate um, the fuckers. I, I hate the fuckers who make everything political. It does, like Everything's political, though. It's like, no. Not everything's political. You just make it political because you're a fucking loser. Yeah, this next person, this number eight one's literally saying, thank you for not being such a deba debate bro anymore. <laughs> they called... Did you write that one? <laughs> no, I didn't. This person literally calls Hassan a shallow retard, which I love. It's crazy. Hey, man. And they say here, it's crazy to hear people say that hormones erase all biological differences. It's true. It doesn't. No. It's not magical. It's very limited. While plastic surgery on my face to have a better cis approach, you still have the broad shoulders. You still have certain other things. You still always have insecurities. Blah, blah, blah. Things from that. Da, 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 da. They talk I, about I, monogonophilia and that whole space. Oh, Christ, dude. We Fuck. do not want to touch that. We, no, we that. don't. Like we, we already know someone who went fucking balls deep into that one, and we're not going to talk about them on stream because it's not even worth it. This person hates the whole pronouns. They hate the patri patronizing. They hate, oh, you're so brave. Oh, just, God. They end with, I literally just want to be a normal person. Okay, we how, have eight emails it. in a row saying the exact shit that we've been saying for years. Oh my god. So so basically, going back to what I said earlier, we are owed, like, all the apologies. <laughs> like, I swear to god, all of them. Twitter, you should just fucking, you should just elect us to be the fu fucking Twitter, emperors, right? Twitter, Twitter, you should verify me. You should unban Frozen and yeah. verify for Hurry us. the fuck up, dude. Like, seriously, I applied to be unbanned, it's like, months ago. I should ago, get my fuckers. old account unbanned, the account that had a lot more followers and everything, get that one verified as well. <laughs> you should actually verify uh, uh, while we're at it. Just as a thank you for uh, actually showing off the really sweet ramen bowls that I got her. Sophia Narwitz, just because it would trigger the fuck out of some people, and I enjoy <laughs> watching that shit show. <laughs> I mean, she's done some good, actual, actual, like, decent and good news reporting. Like, yeah, she and I have our disagreements and things, but I'm you're, not going to be a cynical, heartless bitch. I am. That's why I'm she won't talk to me. <laughs> I just want to enjoy the shit show of all the people upset that she gets pushed back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it would be the best day ever. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter, get, get on that shit, dude. Like, fucking... Unban me, you fuckers. Elon Musk, make this happen, please. Oh, he ain't gonna um... shit, alright? Like, just... <laughs> just... Don't ask him to do anything. He's fucking useless, dude. Also, make me a, 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 a tranny uh, cat girl maid. That would be hot. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Number nine. Hearing Mr. Beard, well, a.k.a. Vosh, talk like this uh... made me want to 41% myself. <laughs> Oh shit, bro. <laughs> Fucking calm down. I want you to desperately clarify that some people aren't trans. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Some white <laughs> suburban privileged fuck seek attention off the back of actual trans people who have Oh god. <laughs> Preach. Preach. Oh my god. These, these are the trans people these dumb fucks talk to. Oh, it's so true, dude. Fucking good. <laughs> Bring it on home, Frank. <laughs> You made these clarifications clear during the cringe neo pro pronoun shit, but God, I just wanted to hammer it in each time. And each time you made these claims, it does not matter how mild or severe your dysphoria is, you need some gender dysphoria to be trans. At least I'm 99.9 sure that is true for what we know. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not wrong. Like, dysphoria is the reason why we need the transition to make reduce that. To live uh. healthier, happier lives. That's the whole it's like, oh my god. Preach. Bless no, whoever no, wrote no, that. No, no, we are going to add this caveat. All right. Gender non-conforming, uh, non, um, like, presentation whatnot, totally still cool. It's just not its own separate gender. It's just a presentation thing. And you do it. You rock that. You look cool. If you want to be a bearded dude in a fucking prom dress... With hairy legs and high heels, you go fucking ahead and do that. I know plenty of them. 
No fucking shame for that. You rock that shit and you be happy. But this whole changing of language and forcing shit and whatnot, it's not good for anyone. Yes, we need to be more friendly to people who are weird. Like, goth girls got a lot of crap for a long time for how they... Oh, my God. The people who are into Lolita fashion. The frilly fucking dresses and all that shit. Totally understandable. Like, it's a long time for them, and even they still get bullshit. Like, yes, we need to work on this whole stay out of people's business bullshit, but co-opting other things to try to force that and all that, you ain't helping anyone. You're just making everyone more miserable and more decisive, or divisive and everything. Oh, there's a, spe there's a specific person I'm not going to mention by name who fucking <laughs> is like that, who is like that. They're like, oh... Oh well, I, I, I'm I'm it's, I'm it's, non-binary, non so therefore we're the same. You should understand my issues. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. It's like the other kin people and the, like, the non-binary and other stuff. It's like we can find this happy middle ground, just like with abortion. There's a wonderful happy middle ground, but both sides, the vocal people on both sides, are so loud and so angry and not listening and everything, that all of us who are sensible and normal in the middle, the majority, are going. We just want to have a happy thing and none of this fighting and bullshit. We can see the happy compromise, but we can't make it happy because the loud people are so loud it drowns out the majority, and it sucks. I believe it. I believe it's harmful, but like that's just me. Like most religious conservative people are fine with allowing some abortions. It doesn't make them completely happy, but it's a happy middle ground. But no person on the far left is willing to accept that reality, which fucking sucks. Yeah, cause, even cause, fucking cause Ben Shapiro, even Ben Shapiro of all people is completely fine with some cases of abortion. He may not God. say that very publicly, but I know he is. If it would mean saving the life of his wife, he would totally do it. My wife's a doctor, folks. <laughs> Sorry. I know, it's like, it's just... Uh, okay, we're gonna get bench. off that here. Yeah, let's not talk about Ben Shapiro for too long, dude. Fucking physically that painful. That short little right. midget. Okay. Oh, um, God. It'd be weird if he was well, a I'm certain you stopped <laughs> carrying halfway through this debate. It was clear how terminating online this guy is. Well, obviously, uh, that's the reason why we make fun of him. Still, I mm, wish it was hammered more because my next point, I'm convinced the lefties, toxic trans people like Keffels, believe people in the middle do not exist. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, you uh, are correct. Uh, These people only the far right and far left exist. <laughs> Perpetually online people. Oh. Ding ding ding. Like, oh my god, it's it kind of is fucking annoying, actually. Yeah, no, it's, it really is. It's almost like there's an archetype of the same, like, of, of of people, right? That are like fucking all like this, right? Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm noticing a pattern. I don't, I, I can't quite put it all together I just yet. This, but... I literally love this next phrase. The online trans community is the most harmful thing for trans people as a whole. <laughs> I think this literally just says it all. Do we really need to read the rest of it at this point? <laughs> the, the the amount of assumptions. I mean, I like being jerked off or sucked off mm. or. Yeah. Multiple orgasms at yeah, this okay. point. Keep, keep, keep talking about that. Um, <laughs> no, just like uh, uh, the amount of assumptions I've had to deal with from people in person because of like the shit that they read online from, you know, idiots, right? And I'm just like, for example, right? Like um, I was I was at a uh, I was at, I was at the corporate HQ fucking uh, end of year party, right? And um, the coordinator actually came up to me and said and apologized for something. Keep in mind, I'm like in the middle of a conversation with someone talking about something completely unfucking related. And apologized to me, and I'm like, "What for?" I was like, "What the fuck did you do?" Like, I don't recall anything that you did that was wrong. Like, fucking, I'm just sitting here doing my thing, right? I'm just around. They're like, "Oh no, I I misunderstood you." And I know I I've read online that that's a bad thing, and I'm just like, I'm like, mate, don't even don't even. It's like it's fine. Right, <laughs> you don't need to. Right, you just you're good. All right, like, like even if they did, I didn't see the value in fucking shitting on them for it. Being like, oh my god, man, you know, because it's just it's not worth it. It, it doesn't make us look good. I had to explain this to the one person in Discord. It's like there's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, I'm not like, gonna shit on every single person who I think is an idiot. It, if, even if, if I would do that, I would be shitting on like 99 percent of the people I deal with on a daily basis. And that does nobody any good. Yeah, it's not it's not productive, right? So like like I, 
things that they they were like, oh, you have such grace, right? Because I basically just completely hand waved. It. I was like, whatever, I don't give a fuck, right? Like, and and that I believe that made me look better than being a fucking terminally ill, just well, terminally ill online dipshit, right? Like, I stopped fucking... doing any mentoring for trans girls, and I get cis oh, women God. out here who are just like, how are you so comfortable and confident? It's like I own who I am, but at the same time, the whole trans thing's not the priority. I do all this other cool shit, and it's like. Look at the girl who I go to for waxing. Look at the girl I go to for the, these all these friends that I've made over the years living since Angela died in the past 18 and a half years. They you all know, know me for who I am, and being trans is not the first person any of them would ever say in the first 30 minutes in describing who I am. You, you know my experience trying to fucking mentor... Like a and the funny part is, thirty minutes is actually like, if they were to condense everything down as much as they can, they could probably spend hours talking to me, and trans wouldn't come up <laughs> at all. It would be all the goofy stories, the fun times we've had, the laughter, the, all the. They just see me for me because I don't force that, and that's the thing. Keffels and all these others fucking do is it's always trans is first, their political identities first, all this meaningless bullshit. I get people so aggravated at me because I I talk about programming for like a lot. Like that's the thing that people like know me for and yeah, like for me it's yeah. resin shit, woodworking yeah. shit, art shit they, and gaming shit. They, they get annoyed because I was like <laughs> you just please talk about the, the fucking trans thing. Stop telling me about functions and how to fucking write programs and shit, dude. I'm so fucking tired of it. Talk about yeah. literally anything else. <laughs> Today with Rushzilla's stream, <laughs> he's doing a 3D model of uh, Nami, uh. Nami from One Piece. And like, <clears throat> we're sitting there talking about design things and whatnot. We're just having a fun time and it's like, this is fantastic. None of them give a shit in this community that I'm trans. They just love the fact that I have fun design ideas, I like doing fun, cool art things, I like talking shop and whatnot, and I don't want to deal with politics. I just want to deal with the uh, fun uh, hobby that we all love to do, because art is fun. It's oh my an God, outlet oh, for us, fun. whether it's at work or not, it's a fun outlet. And they just like, oh, we love you. It's like, yes, of course you do, because I'm not a dipshit like these people <laughs> Uh, you're a dipshit, just not in the same way as these people. I'm going to correct oh, yeah. you there. I'm a complete yeah, right, there moron in some ways. There you like, go. I get freaking annoyed with people in sh right. very short order sometimes. But Yeah, I just, want to, I just want to fucking point that out. Don't, don't think I'm not going to fuck call you out for that bullshit. Like that one guy who kept asking questions but not clarifying what he wanted. And it's like, just ask the fucking question in detail and stop being so generic to the point where no one knows what you're asking. Just get to the fucking just point. fucking annoying. <laughs> Some of us have shit to do, right? Like, for real. <laughs> like, even Rush, Rush was like, he's like, just, just ask the fucking question. And then it's like, Jesus. And then it's like, that's the question? It's like, oh, what? Oh, man. Anyways, let's see. Oh, so besides this very it. obvious statement, it's like, these, I keep hearing you saying these people do not represent the trans community, which I mostly feel is true. Yes, Destiny's mm -hmm. very right that the wackadoo doodle people are not the majority. People like these emails and us and Shell and Mothra people and her Discord and Mo yeah, Mothra and others. Just yeah. Literally, we talked about it at the beginning. We're all very chill. We just want to live happy, goofy lives with doing yeah. our own shit. Yeah. Just want to be left alone, like literally ninety nine point nine 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 percent of other people in the fucking world. It's a wonderful thing. St the the funny thing is, right, like. They know, like, all the 42% the studies, right? Just, like, because people ain't fucking read them, right? But I've actually read them. The, the whole conclusion to that is if you, tr like, if you treat trans people like people, that they are happier as fuck because they're people. Like, that's the actual conclusion of those things, yes. right? If you, Don't treat them as trans. Like, that's one of the reasons why I love my friend Lindsay. And, like, I love Miranda. I love Mel and Gray. When I transition in the case of, like, Mel and Gray, they're like, well, no shit you are. And they just kept treating me like the same person I always was. Miranda didn't give a shit. Lindsay's only ever seen me as a girl and it's only ever just treating me as just a normal girl and not as trans. Fantastic. Same with you. It's just always just been just for two goofy idiot girls. Yeah. 
Like yeah, if you just treat, if, if if trans people have the support and are, treat, and are treated fucking like everyone else, turns out they're fucking they usually are quite happy with that. It's how like, I treat Cho. It's shock. how I treat Sayomi. Well, Sayomi is a special case because she's definitely a little uh, goofy, but. Oh man, let's not talk about Sayomi on stream. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be banned that's... faster than anyone else. Oh mate, yeah, no, that's like that's that, that's a bad idea, dude. Like I love you saying but you need to fucking dial it back hard, mate, for real. Alright, so this person is afraid of like the stupid shit that couples and other are do and are doing on uh... Twitter and streams and whatnot. This person lives in the deep south, small town, and I suck oh, off gosh. Bezos in a huge factory. Oh, so they work for Amazon. Very cool. So they can have the opportunity to get HRT. Well, Good for you. You found a job with health insurance that I'll pay for it. It's a lot better than... I, honestly, I, I think working's good for people. You build a good work, work ethic, you get... Mm -hmm. Although Amazon's probably not the best company in the world to work for, but... Yeah, we're not going to talk about that on stream, because, like, fucking... I can't. <laughs> not the that majority I, of people I work where she works are right-leaning and are... Given of the situation. crowd of tolerating trans people and others are just on the fence. Perfect. That is literally the majority of people. That is literally yeah. the plurality of the most people out there in the world based on most of our experiences from every trans person I've ever fucking talked to, except for the case of someone who's also in the deep south, but they're in Florida and Florida's just batshit crazy. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I learned about fucking um, uh, Florida's bullshit mocha. And um, the really uh, conservative religious parts of like northern Florida, Florida. We just need to fucking. Everyone talks about dynamiting the border with fucking California, right? I'm just like, no, my Cali my one's Florida. <laughs> California my, my... and Florida just kind of break them fucking... off like a cookie. Oh and just my let god, we can off just... to fuck it. Can we like we can still have fifty states? We'll just fucking give like the uh, like Puerto Rico the fucking statehood <laughs> finally, right? They've 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 been good for it, right? Like, yep. All right. So this person says the truth seems to be most everyday people just don't care. Just don't uh -huh. understand the facts, so ignorance, 100% yep. true. But the nice part is most people who are curious have actually been generally respectful to me. They're just extremely curious. Yeah, there, there are and people I who... I like uh, that. I like curiosity because when it's genuine curiosity, <sighs> they're, very not, they're not just respectful, but they really truly want to learn, listen, understand, and they generally just treat you as a normal person it's just that they were curious they don't change how they were already treating you these people that aren't curious but are just trying to fit in and, and avoid being cancelled they're not actually curious they're just trying to avoid trouble which that's not the same thing yeah like there, like there are people I've, I've i've bumped into right who are just like who are genuinely curious and they just don't know how to ask the questions respectfully and i'm just like just ask the question then if you don't know how to ask respectfully just ask the question so you can get it out of the way so we can have that yes, conversation but they're being right? respectful going i don't quite know how to do this they're yeah. saying it up they're being honest exactly. it's the honesty part that is the part that makes me infinitely happy and i love it and yeah i, I think that's very productive people. And those people it's that adorable. I want to hug deserve it because they're being honest. And it's, oh my it's adorable God. and, and Keffles, we appreciate it. Keffles and all these other people are not being fucking honest. I, I went years without hearing that name and I fucking heard it more on this stream than I did the entire time I was on Twitter, dude. Like, fuck me. <laughs> Lots of love, Shell. Have a good night, love. Alright, take it easy, Dylan. We're going to keep uh, ranting on this. This is going to be the longest stream we've done. We have to break this one up into two parts, aren't we? Like, yeah. I mean, on on the YouTube fucking Probably. shit, because, like, no. Yeah. All right, let's see. Shit. Cunts like Keffel, far left, push people to the right, and these issues the most. Well, no kidding. You're just going hard with the fucking language like tonight. Fuck that's, me. that's literally what they say. He's cunt like Keffels. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. This trans person is adorable. I want to I wanna hug every single one scoop of you up. so far in this list. You want to scoop Destiny, them up? Destiny, yeah. Destiny, can I hug every single one of these nine people so far? They fucking oh. deserve a big bear hug from big lovable Mama Green. Teddy hugs. Big fucking hug. I will fucking suffocate them in my tits. <laughs> they will die fucking happy and giggling. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to die that way? I mean, good grief, I got straight I, women willing to die that way with me. I, yeah. I told Chimera when I'm on my fucking lost legs to kill me like that. Fucking just, like, just just bring them yeah. giant teddies and just crush my head, bro. Like, fucking do it. The fact that I have straight girls who want to die that way because of me. Oh. Uh, Hello? 
they're not very straight much more. Anyways. Miss you, Chimera. <laughs> Fucking so much. I do. It's Chimera's b -b 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 Where was we with? Where was cunt? we? Where was cunt? I need to find the word cunt. Uh. <laughs> There we go. Twi Twi <laughs> you're already riding the line with Twitch at this one, and, and you're just like fucking going on. It's not because of J.K. Rowling. It's not because of turfs. It's not because of Kitty oh Farms or 4chan. Normal, everyday people just don't give a fuck about AKA these issues. Completely understandable. They just want to live their life. Now, when they come across it, but that's like the case in my life with like the salons. Like those who show up and I sit there and we're, they treat me well. But they'll, they'll notice I'm trans, and they'll be like, hey, and they'll ask. Or they'll just come up with a fun conversation talking about whatever. Like the one woman with her son, it was, it was a haircut, and it was special, and was getting like a K-pop haircut. And we started talking about K-pop, and she was completely clueless. It was wonderful. It was like two girls, just two moms talking, and we were having fun. And her son showed up, and he looked adorable, and I told him that. And he just grinned like the... <laughs> It was adorable, and she just loved it, and she's like, and she misgendered me, but I didn't care. Like, she knew, but she just, she wasn't used to it. It wasn't disrespectful. She just wasn't used to it. The next time I saw her, months later, it was like almost a year later, she apologized for it. She's like, I misspoke. And it's like, totally cool. Don't care. Yeah. If you would have gone off, right, she probably would have been like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to fucking talk to trans people Another again. Another fucking crazy tree. Yeah, but yeah. you weren't disrespectful. You were nice. It was just a slip of the tongue because you I was the first trans person oh. you had ever met. But because I was respectful and kind and understood where you were coming from and whatnot. Another person converted to be understanding that, no, most of us are chill, fun <laughs> people. And then there's me. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's bitches <laughs> like her. <laughs> <laughs> I am not chill or not. I'm the, the fucking. Or not fun. I'm the fucking jovial type, and you're. The... <laughs> I'm the. I will jam my thumbs and directly into your eyeballs type. Yeah. So yes, this is completely here. It's like. Uh, I don't want to hear how ba cool JK is and how based her tweets are. Yeah, no, nobody wants that either. Oh god. Nobody wants to deal with these crazy fucking lefties in real life or on Twitter. Completely agree. Don't because they're losers in real life, that's why. <laughs> don't want to hear about people being called transphobes because they didn't burn their Harry Potter wand that they got at Universal Studios. <laughs> True. Uh, see, I was never in the Harry people, Potter. I do stuff. come out to joke about how I will get them canceled or fired, fired if they misgender me. It's all lighthearted because what they see from me is memes or TikTok. For older people, it was Facebook mom shit. Well, yeah. It's upsetting because of to me, and know this is likely not what the rest of the U.S. is seeing and or is like. Yeah, totally understandable. Normal person's being pushed further and further to the sides. Blah blah blah. They feel lonely, alienated. Like there isn't other people like them. There isn't I, a strong I, I, trans community. It's tough to find other people who are. They talk about the whole tankies. How so many are tankies? Yeah. I have no. Oh, oh, sorry. I always heard what you said. I was like, oh, and all these idiots who watch Hassan and all the. I totally understandable. I don't know why people watch that dickhead. Like, I just don't know. Like, can I give a shout out to a fucking person who actually like, like, like challenged him? Oh He's yeah, like, I always welcome yeah. that. They all deserve free shout outs. Ah, oh, fuck me. Hang on, I forget. I forget the name. I think it's uh, JXC on fucking um on YouTube. They yeah, uh, good for him. yeah, they're, they're, they're like, I've been watching their videos lately. They, they they make they make mostly good content, but yeah, like fucking they challenged Stun because um not because of like trans stuff. It was uh it was basically because he watched one of their videos on his uh on his stream and fucking just basically dicked off and took a shit or whatever the fuck he was doing and just played the entire video without doing any like reaction to it really and like and you know that's content stealing as far as a lot of people are concerned <laughs> and like. Yeah, like so. Shout out, just shout out to them for fucking sticking up for themselves, it's because you know we all need to have at some point. Yeah. Not right, they need gonna, our fucking. Our, we're our gonna skip out. part of this next one because there's a lot of Ow. dark stuff in that. 
yeah, let's just, but yeah, let's, like, I guess we can't give you keep it family friendly, but you call on well, everyone the same word and shit, dude. This talks <laughs> about, like, suicide camps. Yeah, let's, let's, and let's not like that. I don't that. wanna. It's depressing, let's... it's sad how difficult this story is. They talk about that, how it doesn't go away. It's literally the whole there is no cure treatment discussion. Yeah. I've like... had so many fucking times. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, let's just, like, kind of side. Um, this next person, number 11, tra term transgender is too overly broad. It's losing its value as a descriptor. Fact. Yeah. Totally Absolutely. motherfucking I, fact. I just said about that earlier, about how fucking a specific and non-binary person it's I know. It's like if we didn't have the word gay, lesbian, or bisexual, and we called everyone who wasn't straight queer, it would lessen their... Th exactly. Exactly. We can't just always lump people under umbrella terms. Yes. People on the right don't always like more boxes because it's more things to remember and that just confuses people in general. But at the same time, we don't have to add like a million extra genders to things here. Especially when things aren't any genders, they're just presentations and other shit. Conflating, conflating terms in bad ways and all that stuff just... So this, this person's completely right. The whole mudding of waters and everything's just making a giant mess. And everyone's just... It's just confusing the world. We, we can't have a fucking conversation if we can't, like, use words, right? That's just basic fucking etiquette, right? Yep. Um, this one's talking about how a lot of trans stuff in, like, subreddits are toxic. Well, no shit. That's why no well, yeah, that's one else Reddit, bro. Like, <laughs> fucking Reddit. That's a, that's a secret. There's a secret to this. They Don't talk use about Reddit. The true scum or being called transphobic trans people on, like, Tumblr and all that. Probably oh, is what they're yeah. alluding at. I don't care. Yeah, we'll skip that one. Yeah. Right, so here's one. This is someone who transitioned at 15 and is 21 now. Mm, interesting. This is barely a thing anyone anyone knew about when they transitioned. It was only the trans person they knew. Non-binary stuff was only just beginning to exist, not like it is today. Uh -huh. By the time I got to college, that had changed dramatically. It's honestly be so surreal. I swear to God, I've met like 30 plus IRL people that go by some other pronouns. Or claim to be trans while just looking like normal cis people. Now, this person's mm -hmm. stealth. And they're not really in any specific LGBT spaces. So they're literally just... They're like vibin'. us. They're just... Yeah. yeah they're vibing. Yeah. They're living yeah, they're their life. Vibin'. Good for you. Yeah. I love Good you. Fit. That's exactly what you should be you. doing. Honestly, I understand trans spaces is good for people early in it to talk about like starting hormones. There's a lot of stuff going through your head, what you're dealing with, and whatnot. It's good to have those spaces to talk to people who've been through it and those who are also going through it with you. Uh -huh. But if you focus too much on this one thing, you're not going to be like those of us who've been through this, been in, doing it forever. Well, we've moved on because, honestly, that's how you live your best life, fucking life. Yeah, like... If if you did if you continually go to these support groups or whatever the fuck like you and and you don't get anything out of it, then maybe try going to a different group. Most trans support <clears throat> groups that I know of in my area, uh -huh. people are there for about the first year and <clears throat> then they slowly s stop going because they feel they they they're going through transition, but they're also we they've built the coping mechanisms to be able to deal with life better. Good. They're willing to I step outside that their comfort zone and continue to push and grow and develop and everything. All the shit that I've talked about for fucking forever. So mm -hmm. whatever. I, um, I never went to any of this. Groups. This person literally made the mistake of telling a specific friend they were trans. They didn't realize they were stealth. Told their roommate, <clears throat> and it literally became a giant convoluted mess. Oh god, it's, it's oh, like when you I you poor thing. <laughs> it feels oh. so bad. It, that's what happened to me. Remember, you remember this, right? And this I didn't it affected shit. tons of people where she went to school. Oh my god, it affected people you went to school with. Now this whole woman, woman identified. Oh, you poor thing! You literally made the fucking big mistake, <laughs> dude. Yeah, no. I, can I talk? Can I talk about my experience with this? Because yes. I kind of went through a similar thing. You yes. already know the story, but I've never talked about it publicly. So basically, I was at a, I was at a job, right, at a progressive, a quote unquote progressive company. And I, you know, had to do the whole social transition thing eventually, right? Because it was going to fucking happen. So I went to HR. I was like, all right, here's the deal, right? I'm going on fucking hormones. I've been doing this thing for a while now. Fucking blah, 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 blah. And they're like, okay, yeah. Okay, well, how do you want to do this then? So I was like, all right. I just 
kind of want to write a letter to like the specific people so that you know they like the people just know and that way i have the support and all that shit right they're like all right that's a good idea right so what the fucking hr person did was they took my letter and emailed it to the whole fucking company and our customers right and i was pissed the fuck off Oh, I was so pissed off. Because then, right, at the fucking company meeting, they made me stand up in front of everyone because I was the token trans person. And it was the most embarrassing fucking thing I've ever gone through. It was so fucking wrong. That's literally against what most trans people... We don't want the attention. We just want our happy little thing. It, just be done. Yeah, I just... I, I, I never been more embarrassed in my life. And this includes the time I pissed like, myself in public. I hate the term like, stealthy because it... <clears throat> it 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 gives some people the false impression, but at the same time though, it's fucking accurate. We're we want to be like the rogues in World of Warcraft. We just want to stealth, not be noticed, but live a happy, wonderful life doing what we want. I just want to be like I just want to be like Solid Snake. I want to go about stealth, break people's necks, and fucking go you know, fight Metal Gears. All right, like that's all I want to do with my life. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Number fourteen, personally battle uh, trans identity for as long as they remember, even. When they were growing up, it was tough and scary to explain. Afraid uh -huh. of people judging them. Yeah, it's pretty normal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Afraid happened. of being casted out by the only people that they thought could understand them for not agreeing with their viewpoints. Oh, Guess God. What? Welcome to a lot of trans people. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's like, person, all... just that's, like, that's like every us. trans person I know. Are you kidding me? Like, Oh, my God. Here's the talk about Tumblr, the uwu, xenogender, other akin shit that came out of the Tumblr. Uh... The whole true Tumblr, then the tr the the true scum, true scum became a thing on there, and literally oh, killed God. the entire trans community on all the fucking thing, and the whole femboy trap thing. That whole oh, God, skip this one because I don't want to <laughs> deal with that trauma and bullshit. No, no, I the only thing I have to say on that is fucking like, yeah, if 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 some people identify as it, and if you don't fucking like it, deal with it, all right, because. You know, you're not going to make it go away by whining everywhere. End of rant. Done. All right, right like, fucking... This person had FFS, started presenting. Wonderful. Okay. Cool. Engineering job. Here. Good for you. You oh. pursued what you wanted. I'm hoping it makes you happy. And yeah, because that's not... Use your Instagram to advocate pro-trans stuff. Raise <clears> awareness. <throat> that's fine. I don't really care. Yeah, it's nothing to do with us. We're so. trans... Part of me wants to give back to others like me. Admirable wanting to help. People like you, that's pretty normal. Want to help people who don't want to wait till 27. Well, I guess what? I waited till my 30s. It's not a bad mm -hmm. thing for people to wait. Don't feel like you have to create a world where people have to wait. Mm -hmm. Don't I'm have to wait. Waiting's not a bad thing. Knowing that it's I... the right thing for you is a good thing. So... You're focusing on the wrong thing, hon. You need to. You're, you're having a bad perspective here, but that's okay. I got shit on so hard by so many fucking younger trans people. Like, oh, you're not really trans. You wait, and like, I'm like, bro, I was fucking homeless. All right, like, I had to w claw my way out of that shit before I could even consider this stuff. I'm so sorry. Not life a place wasn't to live easy. and prioritizing things like a house, place, yeah, you know, place to have a shelter. Being able to afford food and all that, you know, some of us kind of prioritize that over it, our transition because we'd rather be healthy and alive before trying to do the next steps on things to help us be more yeah. happy and more healthy. Like, what, all right, get this right. When I, if you didn't when I have first... food and water, you'd kind of be dead, and then transition was kind of a waste. Like fucking when I when I when I first came out, I was sitting in an uh, Indian restaurant that I fucking love, right? And I was just hanging out, minding my own business. Well, fucking while I happened to be there, there was a uh, there was a much older trans uh, lady. She was she must have been like in her sixties or seventies. She was pretty old. Um, and like she was coming out to ver uh, either her son or something like or a grandson or something like that. And uh, it was like I was I was just sitting there watching. I'm just like, good for you, bitch. Like fucking for real. Like you're doing you're, what you're doing is really difficult, right? So I, when she was done talking and the whole thing was done, I just walked over there and I was like, hey, just to like let you know, I'm going through the same thing. I don't mean to be rude, and I'm just whatever. I'm just like you know, don't let people talk shit to you and just like kind of thing like that. And the fucking like son was just like, see, see, like they're like, see, mom, see, there are people that will fucking help you. Like it's fine. And like fucking like I felt like I I didn't have to go over there and do anything. It's not like I really did anything much. Just like you know. That's all, that's all it takes, you know? Just fucking... It's fine. 
Because I can see people shitting all over this person being like, oh yeah, you know, you're not fucking valid because you're too old. And it's like, fuck you, dude, shut up. Like, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Who the fuck are you to tell people about that shit? Like, get the fuck out of here. Here we go. This person complains about Maury and Jerry Springer. No big deal. We all complain about it. They were. I, I know people that went on fucking Jerry Springer, and it's 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 bullshit. All right, don't take it seriously. It is yeah, fake. Yeah, there are people right? who took that a little too seriously. That, yeah, that, this person like, that, adores their it, trans girlfriends. They do have in real life. I do too. I love Frozen. Doesn't? She's one of my favorite friends. Yes. I enjoy Shell. I enjoy some of the other trans girls in my life. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Most of us, we tend to find trans friends that kind of fit in well, even if we don't always agree. We tend to get very comfortable with them. Yeah. And they hopefully stick around for a while. Yeah. Like, no, none of my trans friends share my political views because of how could they? I was raised in a different country, for fuck's sake. But, like, and it's fine. We talk about shit and turns out we can agree to disagree on a lot of stuff, but there's some things we we do agree on. And it's fun, and we don't know that if we would have never found that out if we, you know, were were divisive about shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, we literally were intelligent adults about things instead of petty little children like certain people. Oh, certain fucking people, yeah. But we'll all move on from that. Let's see. Yeah, here. let's do it. Um, it's fine. It helps you grow as a person. They don't hide their trans. They're still very open about it. But in real life situation, I want every person to know that I'm trans. Literally, exactly what every trans person I know wants. 100% so. It's yep. not our whole identity. Those that... I don't befriend anyone who trans is, like, the primary part of their identity. Those I, people tend to be insufferable cunts. Yeah, and... They, well, they just don't go... They don't have anything going on. That's the thing. Like, they just... If, they, if that's your entire identity, you need to find other shit. Get some fucking hobbies. Right? Like, for real. It's fine. They're not fun people to hang out with. Just no, they're general. not. They have not. They have nothing of value to add to any conversation, and every conversation ends up being the exact same fucking thing. It's tiring. Oh, so fucking true. Like, uh, if if I if if I if I've got to the point in my friendship right where I haven't where where, where nothing's going on that's new, I will stop talking to that person. It's not me being a bad person. That you got you need constant stimulation. That's just being human. <laughs> this person says, my whole identity and set of interests aren't derived from this aspect of my identity. Yeah. Ditto. Good, <laughs> Good for you. Like, also, so fantastic. I feel like some of these online Twitter trans advocates are advocating for causes that will end up hurting our progress as a community. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Oh my god, someone will cause like, real transphobia to manifest. Well, no shit. Yeah, no fucking shit, I'm bro. Afraid I sp I'm really afraid if I spoke about these feelings... I I would have crazy people trying to get me fired and ruin our life. Welcome yep. to Frozen's in my life. Oh, God. You remember that time I got doxxed, oh. right? That was fucking great. They they tried to get me fired from the company I fucking own. Yeah, good luck with that shit. Like, I love the fact that one person <laughs> actually ended up in jail and completely uh, and yet somehow that one game developer still, like, praised this person as such a wonderful community member. It's like, dude, the asshole's in fucking prison. For mail fraud, amongst other shit. <laughs> Why are you praising his ass? Oh. Like, he's l actually transphobic and shit. Unlike, you know. Man. Yeah. Real, doing a real fucking good job there, allies. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, yeah. You claim to be so progressive. Like, you're. It isn't a fucking race, dude, for real. Like. Uh, number 17. Basically, trans communities online are super mega extreme. Well, no shit. That's why a lot of yeah. trans people don't bother with the online ones. Yes. We just hang out with our gamer friends and other shit because we want to have fun and live chill lives. People use positions of authority to convince kids to go on hormones with no accountability or regulation. Well, that's literally why the whole debate on informed consent became such a big deal. And a lot of us were called terrible people because we want to encourage people to have at least a little bit of gatekeeping, just the bare minimal of it, because we want to balance things like, between availability, but also making sure that they're getting quality treatment. Because the U.S. health system, yes, things are stupidly fucking expensive, and we all hate that bullshit. Part of it's an insurance company's fault, and as well as of our legal system. But we have like, top-tier fucking treatments for so many things, 
And we want people to get that top tier treatment, but we want to make sure it's the right treatment for them because then we're just, happy and healthy and alive. I just, I just want to say it like this. Like I'm just gonna use an analogy, right? Ain't nobody fucking calling anyone true scum for fucking being like, oh, you're gatekeeping with fucking skydiving safety, right? Everyone's gotta take the fucking skydiving safety course, right? <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking to. mad about it. I fucking it. had to, and I'm fucking afraid of heights, and I still fucking did the skydiving. It was yeah. fun. It freaked me the fuck out. I'm never doing it again because, oh my god, that was scary as fuck. But I still did it. Yeah, like fucking. The I thing got is, bigger you, balls you went... than most men because of it, probably. But still. But like, but like, there were they. You have to go through safety shit first beforehand, right? You don't just they don't just push you out of a fucking plane and be like, figure it out as you go. Right? Oh That's wait, fucking... we didn't give you your parachute. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, right? It's like fuck me. Just No, we want to give these people a fucking parachute and make sure they know how to actually use it. Yeah, don't activate <laughs> Yeah, don't don't just fucking activate the parachute in the fucking plane like an idiot, right? Like fuck me. There's a Oh my god, um... and then like that one film where they get sucked into the engine. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. And then the plane goes down, killing everyone on the plane. Like, yeah, see, <laughs> see, a, 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 ain't nobody fucking advocating fucking for that shit, right? Like, fucking, a, nobody. Everyone understands, yeah, if you're gonna jump out of a fucking plane, you might want to know something about how gravity works first, right? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, oh, right? Oh, my drunk ass fucking loves that. I love it. All right. Oh, you're gonna use that one now? I love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> as well as, um, they, 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 they this whole uh, bullshit with non-accountability, non-personal responsibility regulation being completely dismissed. It's dangerous, <laughs> reflects badly, and feeds into the whole grooming narrative. Exactly. Fuck the right and their grooming shit. But at the same time, you guys are kind of actually grooming some of you idiots on the left. So. I was just fucking... I was just... Who the fuck was I, I, I learned and that from? And it's grooming just... literally only because it's like you're not encouraging them to figure themselves out. You're trying to push them into doing something without letting them figure things out. Like, That's my, my, dumb. Like, yeah, but basically, don't like don't give your enemies fuel to fucking for their fire. How about that? Can we just all agree to that? If you give someone fucking ammunition against you, they will fucking use it. Like, like, look at don't. the gay marriage situation. Okay, back in the day, you wanted to force churches to marry gay people. That is wrong. That crosses certain, not just constitutional lines, mm. but I actually think moral <laughs> lines as well, trying to force people to do things against their beliefs. No, if you just, you know, say, hey, we want this to be a legal process, we want it to be that, uh, the majority of religious people on the conservative right would have been like, oh, you just want to have, like, you know, legal binding document that gives you the same rights as marriages and everything, you'll maybe still call it that. But it's still separate from the whole religious part that they want as still part of marriage. They would have been totally cool with it. We would have not fought on it. You guys would have had fucking gay marriage 10, 15 years earlier. But because you were insufferable cunts, <laughs> took fucking for a lot longer. No one can meet in the middle. No one wants to negotiate. They just be like, no, my shit. Because, like... The, the, the religious people are fucking just as bad for that shit. They're like, no, no, our, our beliefs have to take precedence. Like, nobody wants that either. Except Man, them. There's so many opportunities, and people complain, why is there enough bipartisanship? This is exactly another example you're of why. Because you're a divisive asshole. That's why, like, be the change you want to see. Fucking Gandhi, like, right? I, I feel, again, I feel fucking dirty saying this. There's a reason why I kind of appreciate Destiny not being the fucking the, the debate bro bullshit. He's listening. He's empathizing more. It's he's grown it's... up as an adult and he's treating things in a much better way. Oh, congratulations! You're not being Jeez. such a pain in the ass. You're not pushing people. You're gonna be a lot more fun to hang with, talk to, debate with, and everything. Even if we agree to disagree in the end, it doesn't feel like a waste of time. Oh, man, that would be, that'd be fucking novel, wouldn't it? To and not have your fucking time wasted. Thing. Yeah. So yes, I feel dirty saying that as someone who got annoyed with how your tactics were for the longest time. You know what? Credit where credit's due, right? Like, You've grown up as an adult. You're in your it, young thirties now. Finally, you've grown up past your stupid twenties. Good for you. We we all we all do dumb shit in our stupid twenties. Trust me. <laughs> 
yeah, I got into sex work. Do I regret it? No, but at the same time, I made a lot of stupid mistakes while doing it. I fucking moved to the U.S., so, like, yeah, that was my dumb 20s right there. Fucking I'm trying to figure out this fucking stupid country, right? Like, for real. <sighs> Alright, let's see Boy, but that, was a, well, that was a mistake and a half, trust me. <laughs> Trans community also bans anyone to do sense. Who is it? The super yep. Oh, well. You know, oh, well. Yeah. Hug boxing. Yeah, the fucking oh, well, hug boxing is disgusting. Yep, fucking what it's, I said earlier. It's it's literally the, the the whole issue I have with a lot of colleges now, or it's a safe space. It's like no, college uh, is a place where you need to challenge your beliefs, learn logic skills, and understand how to think critically and scientific progress and philosophical things. You need to challenge yourself. And I spent a lot of my time talking with one of my professors. And literally challenging him on religious things in regards to trans things. And guess what? I convinced him that the entire synod's take on fucking trans people was wrong. If a fucking student could do that because you just have open, free communication where you're both challenging each other and your you know, preconceptions and everything else, that's not a fucking safe space. But you know what? I, you get some pretty sweet fucking results where you become better at defending your beliefs, expressing them, understanding shit. It's, oh. I, I've i never felt safe in anywhere worse. that was declared a safe space. Just I'm gonna throw that one out there. Like, never. Like, because my, my, my last job was always like that. They're like, oh, we're a safe space, but it always felt hostile as fuck. Yeah, let's see. They're talking about so many online trans communities being the ooh, super ooh validating ooh, ooh hug boxing bullshit yeah you know how i feel about that i fucking hate that you the know how i feel about that label it's very public issue yep you know that the alienating yep 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 oh, those who convince kids to do the diy hrt oh my god i hate them mm -hmm. you have to i talked one of the one of the trans girls that i talked to I convinced her to finally go to a doctor, do hormones correctly instead of ordering it third party from another country, do the regular testing. She had not done years of fucking testing to make sure okay. levels are right and whatnot. You know what? You get a much better result. Better breasts, <clears throat> better hips, healthier result, better cardio system. Your liver and kidneys are better if you make sure levels are right. Like, it's very fucking important. Don't like, fucking dude. DIY shit. Even in the fucking 90s, trans women were like, don't fucking DIY it. This is too dangerous. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I even, like, I got liver damage, and I was being monitored, right? That's the thing. Like, they wouldn't have found it had I not fucking been going to the doctor. Like, yeah. Like, you need to keep tabs on the shit, because things like potassium level with, depending on what that blockers you kill you. and other shit. Like, this is, it's this is why gatekeeping's not bad. You have happy results instead of fucking killing yourself, possibly. Don't we no. want... This is literally why gatekeeping is we want more people to live and live longer, happier lives. Yes, a little gatekeeping may suck, but a little bit of pain or a little bit of stress and having more people live and be happy seems for the majority of trans people to be a small price to pay because it makes more people win. We like win wins. Yeah. Why don't some of these crazy people like win win ins? It makes no fucking sense. Well, because because they don't get their way. That's what it is. It's not it's not about the whole. Like, yeah, they, they don't, don't get power. They don't get their ego stroked and all that other bullshit. They don't. Yeah, they then they, 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 they ask oh, if I, anyone's do, if anyone's doing that shit to you, right? Just ask what do they get out of it? If you if if you even have to ask that shit, right? Then, then, then you know you're in a bad situation. The right? only like, ego for... stroking I actually want in life is when I do a good job in a video game like Overwatch or League of Legends. Like, go ahead and stroke my ego there, but that's fine. That's oh, just man. in a game; it's harmless. I, I, nothing get nothing gets me off harder than when I fucking program something perfectly. For just like, oh. uh -huh. right? When you when you when the when the code just hits. Just right, like, you know what I mean? Watch, like, when I watch SVB just fucking carry as, let's say, like, Junker Queen in Overwatch 2, that's fucking hot. And, like, yeah, he deserves his praise as, like, you're a fucking badass. Mm hmm And stroking his ego in that way? Mm hmm Fun. 
but it's also it's just a video game. It's not like it affects other people and whatnot. It's like it's nice harmless. It's like Looney Tunes violence. It doesn't hurt anyone. Oh my god. It's wonderful. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Um, the stupid perpetually online people seemingly getting more influence in real life. Nobody likes that. Yep. Agreed. That's Nobody shit. likes. Yes. They list the number of people again. Vashti, Mama, etc. Nobody cares. These yep, people, loses. they generally feel afraid for their life with them if they continue to get influence. Yep. Don't want to mm -hmm. be boomer pilled. I agree. We don't want to be. That's why you be more like me and Frozen and Shell and others. Yeah, like, there, if one, if people, like, losing hope and shit is, like, one of the worst things you can do. I've seen it. Like, when I had, when I had fucking cancer, oh boy. Oh boy, that that did not go well for the people that fucking lost hope. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna continue on with that shit because it just gets depressing. Yes. Probably end up so be more banned like yet. me and Frozen. Literally, one of the things we got in an email from Twitch. One of the reasons why people love our streams is our humor. Yes, we're keeping it lighthearted, but we're honest. We're humorous, and that's a beautiful thing. So thank you for those of you who've done the survey, the whole give us feedback link. We appreciate it. We like. We love the answer that you guys have been giving. In the past few months. It's wonderful. Hey, we have surveys? I don't fucking know that. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't share that. I was going to wait for the perfect time like that. Heck, shit. Okay, cool. Because I was like, I just, I just found this out. I'm on the fucking show and I'll I didn't know you, that. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll send you a screenshot of it sometime. It's fantastic. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is this just like our audience or, or whatever? Yep. yep. <clears throat> oh, thanks guys. Our audience loves us. Our humor. Oh. Well, I, 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 I definitely appreciate you guys. Um, how people talk about trans issues and number 18 is their topic. Everyone, everyone, everyone and every gender being valid. Yes, that's a whole other issue. Let's not deal with that. Yeah, I think we can just skip over that. Gender like... dysphoria and how stressful it is. Yeah. yeah number 19 is pretty accurate there again. The whole, all the people are like, oh my god, Queen, you're so valid. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, it gets very annoying. Uh. Yep, they literally want the whole thing the rest of us want. Just to blend in and live a happy life. Uh, Again, more stroking of our egos. Thank you. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Most discriminated past jobs, your significant non-one-off experiences with bigotry was mostly because co-workers got bad opinions about trans people from the dipshits on the internet. Been so there. I hated you initially oh. before you even... <laughs> Before God. they even got to know you, that was that was I the feel telecom your job. Fucking pain, okay. That was the that was the telecom job for me. There were people who wouldn't report to me, right? You keep mind, it's my job to report on these people, and I would have to go out of my way and be a, a bitch to them because they wouldn't report to me because they were terrified of offending me. And eventually, this turned around and said, "Look, man, it's my fucking job, and you're making me look like an asshole. Can you not just just tell me things that you need me to know? I don't give a shit about anything else." And they're like, "Oh, you're actually pretty cool." I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, it's fine. Once you get to know us, all of us average ones are pretty chill, cool people. Yeah, I just, I just like, I, I'm here for you to, so I can report to my bosses accurately about you. All right. If you are hiding from me because you're terrified of offending me, you're not doing your fucking job. All right. And I just let them have it. And they're like, oh, this bitch is actually fucking hard ass. I fucking like her. All right. Number 21. This person's got gender dysphoria. They don't like pictures of themselves. They hate looking I in the mirror. That. Yeah. Trust me, we all feel this. The whole thing yeah. we've been working you to mean, try to solve the issues, eat healthier, work out. Good for you. Social transitioning. Wonderful. Good for good you. Good for you. Good for you. You, you fucking you. go. They have an appointment with an endocrinologist booked out months out still <clears throat> to talk good, good. about if HRT is a good solution and testing the waters if I want to slowly transition. Good. Good for you. You're taking it good seriously. You. You're really thinking through things. You're digging deep. You're literally here talking about a journey and trying to figure out who you are, what's correct for you. Is this just something fun and fashionable for some people? Is this the right thing for you to do for yourself? You're not listening to the idiot. Good. Wonderful. Love you. This is exactly yep. what you should be doing. And, and and you know what? If you do, if you go through the discovery and you find out it's not for you, you know what? That's valid. That's I'm fine. Glad you're literally saying that these idiots out there are making you rethink your approach and taking it cautiously carefully and seriously i love you for that you get a big yep. hug too 
May, may you have the best oh of luck God, in your so, in your self discovery. Twenty one people so far. I just want to give a big bear hug. To... God damn, this is a lot of. <laughs> fucking... you, you, you remember that whole thing about like I said earlier about me being uh, us? Well, not me, just you as well, right? Like, us being right, you know? Yeah, haven't been proven wrong yet. So you know. Let's just see. saying. This person is watching Destiny's latest video, subject of the toxic online trans communities at fifty three minutes. You mentioned emails from trans people. Hey, this is the same stream I was probably watching. Hey. hey. They're saying they also hate the toxic online trans community. Blah, 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 yes. Blah, blah. Add, add me to this list of people. <laughs> okay. God, and Join my ass, clubs. motherfucker. All right. The only way you can seem to get through to radical people is by whipping out that trans badge, and even then they seem to ghost us afterwards. Yep. Fucking facts. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. They don't like that shit. You see so me much that. straight, straight hate from online queer people. Oh Actually, yeah. Yes. Twenty three brings yes. up a good point here. There's a lot of hate, especially for like trans girls that only date guys. They're just straight girls. Like I'm bisexual, so like, but I Same. tend to lean towards lesbian, and so that tends to get a very different set of reactions from people. But like. The straight trans girls that just take guys, oh my god, they get so much hate. I fucking hate it. Yeah, it, how, like, it, I understand, like, I, I'm bisexual, I, mo I mostly date men, um, and, like, I get shit on because of, like, oh my god, you need to date trans people, it's like, I don't need to date anyone. Like, like, like first like, off, I, I get to decide that, not you, okay? Like, when <laughs> I look at the list of people that I've slept with and I've dated, yes, I've mo dated more guys than women, but it mm. confirmed for me that I prefer long-term relationships with women and just sexual relationships with guys. And it's good. I explored. I figured it out. I was very honest with everyone. But even mm. that gets me a lot of hate because of who most of those guys typically were with certain attributes and things like that. And it's really annoying because it's like... <sighs> just, oh, all right, I gotta take a break from this. I'm uh, not th not this. I've been doing. I've been unpacking my kitchen shit the whole time. I got through like maybe twenty yeah, boxes. Yeah, I know this. This whole non using oh, a stream shit. thing is good. Hey George, how you doing, hun? Oh, no, Richard God. did not send you here. Richard fucking blocked my previous account on Twitter because I told him EA would have done Shroud of Avatar better. And guess what? <laughs> I'm fucking right. <laughs> I heard his little piece. <laughs> That's such a Bree thing, too. Just, yeah, I got blocked on Twitter for saying fucking some stuff about video games. I was being like, so yep. fucking honest. <laughs> oh, mate. Okay. That's, that's the, that is the most Bree thing I've heard the fucking age. Oh, mate. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, chat. I wasn't <laughs> yes, checking out. Your the... cat would have done it better. <laughs> sorry for no cam tonight, George, but I am had a rough week. Frozen's unpacking from her move. Boy, am I. So we're just being chill. We're reading a fucking set here of uh. of things from Destiny's manifesto that he read on stream today because it's fascinating and it's fun and it strokes both of our egos. And we get to read I certain love words saying verbatim. that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, yes, I know we're literally fucking committing a horrible crime of literally feeding into our egos and oh we're so guilty of that and self-confirming our own beliefs but we don't really get to do that very often <laughs> and it's so wonderful yes destiny you he's the guy who carved out the whole political streamer bullshit on twitch then he was banned because how dare he not <laughs> follow the, the narrative of certain crazy lefties on Twitch, so now he just does YouTube. Uh, he's kind of chilled out. I didn't like him at one point. Now I'm just kind of... It's him. I like the games he plays, at least, so... I don't always... I don't agree with him politically on many things, but I really don't care. That's pretty normal with a lot of people I know. No, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you this thing real quick, Bree. It's... it's, it's, it's nah, I say it's kind of related, but not really. I just, I just want to see how your reaction to it, because it's so fucking funny. manifesto here is fun to read, and we're avoiding most of the drama bullshit, because, well, it's drama, yeah. and it's bullshit. But the whole trans stuff, like, we haven't spent a whole stream just on that, ever. 
So, fuck it, we're doing it today. I think by getting it out of the way, we can actually go back to talking about everything else, right? Like, fucking, it's fine. This just happens to be good timing to finally do it, because someone else did it, and therefore, we're being a pathetic react stream, but you know what? I didn't... We're actually committing ourselves to actually, like, real discussion and everything like that, so it's a complete, actual, wonderful, you know, thing where I think Destiny might actually enjoy watching us. Good guy to good girl to asshole to sleep. Oh my god, that's literally me. Just instead of high school, I went from high school to after college, but after good girl became... Ugh. But actually, you know, asshole does kind of work. Never mind. Yeah, no, that pretty much covers it. Oh. I hope oh, you're doing man. well, jo though, George. I miss you. I don't really spend much time, though, in um, Soap's Discord really lately. A lot of personal sh bullshit. So let's see here. Uh, it feels oh, like my word. Queer people have been otherized and demonized for so long they start otherizing others. Within mm -hmm. themselves? Well, yeah, no kidding, Sherlock. So many voices and opinions echo that are full of hate and disdain. Well, yeah, that's the whole reason why trans people hate trans people and trans people hate the LGBTQ, com LGBTQ community in general. That's why most of us stay out of it. That's why most of us who've transitioned just do our own shit and stay out of it. Because we don't want to deal with you bullshit. I would flip you off, but there's no cam, so <laughs> you can still you can still do it. It's just not going to be seen. She's cross with you. Like me, you have your own like medical shit and other things you're dealing with. She does as well. I do as well. She and I both get cross at times, so you just kind of got to deal with it. She just gets cross a lot more than I do. But that's just more because well, that's her personality type. Ugh. I just generally, I interact with her when I feel like it, and generally I just, that's not very often. Because I have no reason to. Yeah, I had surgery last month, she has her own things. It is no. what it is. I got her a birthday present literally because, hey, she's recovering from major medical stuff, whatever it happens to be. Let's give her something that's, you know, nice, something oh. she'll actually enjoy. Oh. Let her feel like she actually has, like she actually put it, a friend that is, you know, you know not like feeding, you know, being, like babying her or any of the other stupid bullshit she doesn't like, but it's just being a normal person. Because she seems to just prefer that. No, well, that's my style anyway, so it's probably why she and I get along more often than not. I'm not there to stroke her ego. Hey, woo. Oh, it's not my style. Usually I like to try to make her laugh with goofy sounds while she streams. And then distract her, then kill her, and then I laugh at her for sucking because she's a video game uh, reporter and they just generally suck at everything. So. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah, fuck you, so. Uh. <laughs> All right, number 24. This person's not active in trans circles, IRL, or probably even online, I'm assuming. Neither is the, my Neither. their friend, even though at first they go to the local uh, trans group. Ugh. If you were to go there, you'd notice, besides a few exceptions, it's almost always the early people who are questioning and trying to figure themselves out. Yeah, because most of us, we've built up our fucking coping mechanism. We figured shit out. We don't need that shit. We don't need the constant reassurance, hugs, bugs. Ugh. We just want to live our happy lives. We don't need that validation. Uh -huh. it comes from ourself and shit. I was going to send a birthday thing, but you forgot. Oh, that's fine, George. She probably doesn't mind. Ooh, good manga. Honest, if you want a good manga, oh. read the light novels. Not the actual manga version, but the light novels of either Dan Machi or there's this Korean web novel called... Um, 
solo leveling. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. Actually, the latter is actually available on uh, Amazon and sometimes for dirt cheap, which is really nice. In fact, the graphical novel version of solo leveling is fucking amazing with the graphics. Holy crap. It puts American fucking graphic artists to fucking shame. America. Fucking Americans. <laughs> uh, I think the reason most cases people can't vibe with the Uli genders is because when you start transitioning explosion in your life, positive and negative. Actually, that is an agree. Yeah. But it is both a positive and negative thing. I'm going to send her all those bomb berserk volumes after you get through them. Ooh. That I think she'll enjoy. Berserk's a good series. I prefer the written stuff over the anime myself. And knowing she's a reader <laughs> like me, she'll probably prefer that too, actually. Ugh, being trans is central to your experience? <laughs> I'm not going to really agree with that, although it depends on their perspective of what they mean with that. Always on your thoughts, etc. Okay, yeah. Like, the gender dysphoria is always going to be something that's there, but it's not really the being trans part. Like, the reassurance, not feeling alone, it's nice to have that, but you cannot grow past that if you really are doing your due diligence. You're cringing your teenage self. Yep. Yeah. Very fucking true. Who, who fucking doesn't feel that way, though? Fuck me. Especially if you're trans, you're just as cringe back then. Yep. No, oh, God, definitely yeah. Definitely with the young trans ones, that is. Doo -doo. Yeah, not too much. It's all that's... Let's see. You don't... Number 25. I don't think someone has to transition medically to be transgender, but there do have to be some underlying discomfort by the way you're perceived or by the way your body looks. Well, yeah, that's called gender dysphoria. Yeah. There's there's like a person I mentioned well I didn't mention earlier but like like you can't I, necessarily always be able to medically transition for different reasons sometimes it's <laughs> medical issues sometimes it's, it's your situation so, sometimes it's financial yeah. sometimes it's it, mm -hmm. yeah we it's don't fine. judge people because they can't necessarily do what they want to because of any number of other issues that are outside their control that's fine it's totally understandable. You do what you can, right? Make the most of the situation <sighs> you're in. But we're not going to, like, hate on you for that. That's shitty behavior. Yeah, be, we already have enough haters. We don't need them in our own community. <laughs> you can't just be an AFAB who puts she, they in their bio, but has no desire of going any further and then claim to be that. Well, yes, no. the girls that be trans men that then wear, like, the most feminine outfits 24-7 and everything and claim to be he, him, but are in every facet 24-7 acting, presenting you name it thinking as a woman in every fucking aspect of who they are it's a little cringe it's really cringe I'm trying to be nice but yeah it's super cringe no, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fucking nice person, fuck that I was like, it's like it's, it's just it's like, literally uh, like that one person on twitter who is a femboy but really the way they describe themselves is they're a, a woman who transitioned to be a man, had a mastectomy to then get a breast augmentation to dress as a woman full time and live as a woman in every sense of the word. You, you fucking what, mate? Like, hang on. You lost you lost me like fucking one of the, one of the th three transitions they did. What the fuck? So they they claim to be a trans man living as a trans woman. When really they're a woman who had a mastectomy, got breast implants, and just dressed as they always normally did, anyways. That's that just that just seems needless, but it you know, seems like a cis woman with a lot of extra steps. <laughs> yeah, that just like there's a lot of cis women who get mastectomies <sighs> because they have the genetic predisposition to breast cancer. Yeah, but they and do that's it fine. for a very logical medical reason. <sighs> this yeah. is just crazy hell even people who get breast Most reductions doctors i know would not do that mastectomy for that kind of a reason because they just go that's just batshit crazy yeah like that's doing harm to someone who doesn't 
need harm, you know, done to, trauma done to them. That literally it's, breaks it's, the Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> it, it just that just seems so fucking needless. It's like, yeah. I like the term wackadoodle because it makes sense, but it's not hurtful. But it completely makes logical sense what's happening here. Oh, I think logical sense fucking shat the bed on that one. Like fuck me. Um, they're diluting the meaning of the word trans, delegitimizing. Well, yeah, no shit. Yeah, and fuck. Preaching to the choir on that one. Trust they me. They saw on the MTF Reddit. Someone said, "I wish they were a girl." They were they were a girl with a sad face, and a bunch of the comments understood what she meant, but. Most people were just berating her and telling her she shouldn't be posting shit because she was obviously already a girl. Do they not understand what gender dysphoria is? We talk, we talk about fucking the, Reddit, dude. Oh like, Reddit, fuck. Reddit doesn't understand a fucking thing about a fucking thing. It's why I don't use it. She talks about a bunch of other... All, all the normal shit there. The, wake, the woke scold people who are just obviously like scolding everyone, thinking they're smarter than everyone. No one cares. Okay. Uh, let's see. 26. Most people would agree that Shapiro and Crowder aren't helpful for trans people for similar reasons. Well, oh, no shit. Okay. On the other hand, personally think Demon Mama and Bausch nowadays are doing the same thing. Oh. Actually, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, give that fucking person a medal, all right? They fucking ben don't dare. The, you don't need Ben Shapiro to make trans people sound ridiculous. The online trans community is doing it for them. <laughs> That's not wrong. You get a fucking gold star. Yeah, you fucking you get you get to be the queen of trans people or the king, depending on how you go gold with it, right? Gold fucking star. Yeah, you fucking Jesus clear, Christ. This person says to be clear. I don't hate people like Demon Mom and others. They just aren't aware of what they're doing and how it affects us. Honestly, I think they do know what they're doing. Yeah, and they do know how it affects us. They and they don't care. Dang, I think they just want power, influence, things, money, things like that. They're selfish, unhappy people trying to fill the void in their life when really they just need to spend time to figure out who they are, what will really make them happy. Unfortunately, they have decided that things <coughs> that will make them happy are rather petty, small things that never really will. Damn, bro, you just fucking absolutely destroyed him, Jesus. This is fucking reality. That's why, that's why I just let you go. I was just like, fuck me, dude. You, like, totally fucking killed him. That's what you'd say, too. No, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I was going to, I would have just been like, they don't care and be done with it, right? Like, fucking, no, you just fucking eviscerated the shit out that's of right. him. Right, 27. Ooh, a college kid. They've been watching Destiny for about a year. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm just Bree. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I think Bree's just like losing her her shit with this. She's like, I'm getting to the fucking end. I'm just don't want to shit. Their best friend is a trans man. Plenty of other trans friends. Not surprising. Mm -hmm. They're in college. Yep, that's Come pretty common. For the most stuff. part, no one in real life respects the online trans activists. Yeah, no one. Fuck. No, literally, <laughs> fucking no one respects them. All right, as as it fucking should be. All right. I'm sure you've got email after email about this. Yeah, he's gotten hundreds of fucking emails about this. It's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Trans men are seriously fucked over. 100% true. I was fucking worried about you doing that earlier, for fuck's sake. Like, that's why I had to be like, you know, when, when you said us is, is meaning us us, right? That's why I had to be like, no, nah, bitch, you're forgetting about the fucking, uh, like, no, no shut no, the fuck no. up. I'm very particular in the language I use. When I mean us, I mean just us personally. I yeah, I know. I, I know that now. But fucking, like, I just want to make sure, because, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not the fucking best at it, right? I often fucking forget about this shit, and I feel like a dick every single time I do it. I'm just like, you know what? I really should fucking just Honestly, not be like that. Trans men, some of them are extremely hot after they've gone through enough of their transition. The problem for me has always been, I don't want to date them, because sex with them is just, it's not satisfying. They're fun to date. They're fun to hang out with. They're fun to have as friends. It's just, they don't work romantically, especially sexually. So, I've never had the I opportunity want. to date a trans man, so there's that. Some so of I, them are I, honestly a little hotter than sh cis guys when it comes to like well, physically their body, like their chest, 
their muscles, the, the fucking, their face. The f- Some of them with their beard are fucking hotter than cis guys with a beard. No, the the first the fucking first trans man I I met right was in my like Ooh. fucking late twenties right, and I met him at a bar right, and he was like I didn't even fucking know at all like fucking just, he just happened to bring it up right. Fact, yeah, and trans I, men. And I was just like, trans men have an advantage with the transition with the testosterone. Mm. Oh boy. Like women, trans women seem to have the advantage when it comes to like the optics in regards to like we're the ones put out there more as to the just. Well, there's more of us. And, that's just numbers. Honestly, game. part of me thinks it's also partly just trans men. Just they blend in so much quicker and easier. I guess. I mean, I, I couldn't speak to that, so <laughs> I'll just take your word for it and move on because I don't that know anything. That seems to be what the that. data says. I haven't finished all my research and gathering stuff on that. That seems to be that they have an easier time with the physical transition part than the females do, because obviously testosterone lowers their voice. <laughs> Us trans girls, we gotta work at it. Oh, it, oh, it kicks in hard, trans- mate. Like, but like, like the facial hair, the hair on the body, the the build, the fat distribution works well. The mastectomies mm. very quick. Physical transformation. Like, there's just testosterone is a ridiculously powerful hormone. It's just, oh, well, yeah, yeah, like it's like. Like people don't realize that shit. Like fucking like like when I was going through the whole endocrinology thing, and my uh, my endocrinologist like, look, yeah, just to, to let you know, right? You've already gone through male puberty, so testosterone permanently activates some shit, and there's nothing you can really like, do about that. In all like, honesty, oh. trans men doing sports, it's far easier to be like, yes, let them run with it, go, go, don't, don't worry about it. Totally understandable over the old trans woman thing, being in sports, going against I'm not- women. But I'm not going to have that conversation right now because that's it's a whole just, other um, conversation with yeah. lots of depth and whatnot. But like, I can understand why, for the most part, both sides agree on generally that where it's easier to both agree on trans men over trans women. I, I, my my take on that the, is, the, I wish people were more honest about shit like that because there's enough people that fucking lie about it, right? Yeah, like, and it literally comes down to what <sighs> testosterone does, which. Mm. It completely understands. It's a very powerful one, and how much it influences things, debated away. I completely understand that. Have I been able to completely solidify where I am? No. I'm not going to put myself down in a certain position, but I can completely understand why I can, and I can completely understand why trans men are so much easier to come to an agreement on the whole sports discussion thing. And I'm glad for that. Good for them. Hmm. Like, I don't know. Do you do you ever do you ever uh, talk to Fallon Fox or like anything like that? Because I actually follow that bitch on a uh, on on Facebook. Talk right? with no. Okay. Yeah. Because I like basically one of the there's there's the, a whole bunch of propaganda su- surrounding her and shit like that, and she has to consistently fucking post about it because people lie about it all the fucking time. Yeah, I feel bad they for trans all... girls on the whole sports thing, but I think it's also a little more difficult thing. In dealing with people on that discussion. Oh, yeah, how no. How much it's... influence it is and things like that. With trans men, it's a lot easier because, literally, like I said, because of the testosterone. And honestly, a lot of trans men like to work out and buff up rather quickly, too, and things, so. Well, power to him on that one, because, like, fucking working out's a pain honestly, in the ass. They look fucking hot so good for them <laughs> yeah. no. if take you off get your them... shirt take off your shirt look hot for everyone we all love you as a dude mm-hmm. then shit you can do in a fucking only fans even for all i care <laughs> and we'll just you know all fuck you'll get all the women in the world drooling over you in your chest it's like the one guy on fucking tiktok that just cut cuts wood with an axe Every woman on the face of God's green earth fucking drooling over that man. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. I even I, I fucking know about don't that. Don't fucking think it's a bad thing. Like guys can be can make bank just as much as women can with sex like that. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah. So this guy complains about so many issues around trans women. Totally understand. Completely agree. 
it's a lot of bad faith actors. Also totally agree. We know some of them, yeah. And trans being used as political pawn in this culture war. Oh, God, yeah. I I got a song banned from... Fu my, my own fucking theme song got banned from fucking YouTube for literally being about that. Because they don't, they want to use this as pawns, so that they, we can fight their fucking battles for them. Fuck me, big agree. I've been, I've been talking about that shit for like the better part of a fucking decade. And, oh yeah, and they literally call a lot it. of these people bad faith political actors. Yeah, it's exactly fucking true. Once again, yeah. okay, we got twenty-seven people. I want to give a hug to. This is good so far. Finally, someone a 22 year old trans woman nursing student at a private religious university in the south oh my god wow fucking good for you love it fucking yeah Ooh, they're there for the, 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 the scholarship one. money also fantastic damn you fucking crush it bitch they don't allow an lgbt one there if whatnot so you guys have an unofficial one over discord fantastic <laughs> that's being wow. religious, I totally understand. That was something we did, only we used Yahoo. Actually, it wasn't even Yahoo. It was AOL IM back in the day. Oh my god. Fuck me. That, makes me, that's just, that just dated us. We then oh, converted man. it into Yahoo at one point after oh, college. Wow. During actual oh. college, it was initially AOL IM, but still. Um, After the I original like, yeah. leadership of the server graduated last year it was taken over by the most terminally left brain dumb fucks use the word gender in practically every other sentence because of their parents money i'm so sorry oh my god the fucking money aspect i fucking hate that yeah and the whole conservative religious thing and the awkwardness of that totally understand let's see mm -hmm. they use they just... gender as an accessory you can change every few weeks instead of as an identity Oh God! The other, these other trans people don't experience dysphoria or do anything to further it. The only other person in HRT besides this trans woman was a trans guy who was socially pushed pushed out of the group for being just the tiniest bit conservative. That's literally me. Only I'm a trans woman instead of a trans guy. That's ex I totally identify with that. When they talk in Discord, they want to make cis people uncomfortable and be more visibly trans. Isn't that literally the reverse of what 99% of trans people want? Yes, it is. Good rhetorical there. All right. Yeah, I, I don't see that eye for an eye shit being particularly fucking useful. It's really scary you know for I mean? this person when people advocating for trans stuff at the school are literally making a trans person feel transphobic. I completely yeah. agree. They're being yeah. really shitty people. Yep. The over fixation on acceptance and validation to the point of insanity in number 29 subreddits that are supposed uh, to be for educating are just uh -huh. poking fun at people and being toxic shunning people the obsession mm -hmm. with valid runs rampant blind validation and acceptance I mean you said the keyword reddit right like fucking there you go <laughs> enough said right? anyone who Possibly things, no civil discourse. Yep, no. Completely makes sense. All right, 30. I see people like Vosh who are neither trans nor a woman, effectively meaning he is nothing more than a cis man making misogynistic comments in the name of trans activism or people maybe saying we shouldn't have women in sports, etc. I see it for what it is. Fucking gold mine for turfs to capitalize. Oh, uh, yeah. You're basically just given fucking ammunition. It's just... What was the I saying about that earlier? The from Dipshit Beer Boy is the best recruiting material in the world. Um, I cannot disagree with that in any way, shape, or form. I mean, like, literally nobody I know that I talk to on a regular basis actually respects him. Most people I know hate watch him because they like the free comedy. Oh, just like DSP. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The fact that Rich even watched from um, Review Tech USA even watches Vosh and it isn't hate watching, it's a little disconcerting to me. But I yeah, I, don't, I, I never heard a reason why he does that. He admits that he does. Like, yeah. So I'm like, I'm still on the fence on that. It's just disconcerting. I'm not going to hold like, it against him. I just find it a little suspect. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Like, like maybe, my, maybe he's the kind of guy that fucking want, wants to get, like, you know, have old views so he can kind of get like a um a more balanced opinion of his own. Maybe I don't know. I would like to find out, Rich. Just fucking clarify why you watch that shit. Yeah, like. Generally, I don't bit. like most of the political sh streamers and YouTubers mm -hmm. in general. Like, oh, I love okay. mocking them all because it's fun. Fuck, you man. I deserve could... it. Well, fuck, fuck, man. You remember that time I went and fucking Kraut and T-Stream and how bored I was? Because all they were just doing is waffling about shit. I had no fucking clue what they were talking about. Well, let's see. Misogyny from Volish is the best recruiting ma material in the world. Also true, I mentioned the story of that one British YouTuber. In fact, here, let me find the fucking link here. She's called the Authentic Observer on um, YouTube. In fact, one of her videos I watched recently was Has Feminism Made It Harder for Girls to Set Boundaries? Honestly, extremely fascinating video. Her Fair video enough. on the desecration of femininity and her talking about female characters in movies and TV was my favorite. Honestly, I really like the whole discussion of character design, but that's more personal interest in my case as someone who likes creative works. But that's a whole nother story in and of itself. Yeah, let's not go too, too deep down that rabbit hole. It cannot be understated how good it is for the turfs and other ones. It is the trans oh. course equivalent of proof of weapons of mass destruction in comparison to comments like, maybe we should just do away with Movement in sports, which is more akin to the ISIS beheading video. Yeah, Vosh and Turfs would have these WMDs of ridiculous, stupid shit they say. Mm-hmm. And it just ruins it for all trans women, duh. Mm-hmm. Already covered Turfs that one. Say stupid Spent shit. No mm. one can really argue that Demon Mama isn't part of an oppressed group. <laughs> I don't even know who that person is. It's, it's, I have no some, idea. Some trans streamer. I've never dealt with them. I haven't watched any of their content. I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to laugh at, at this. What little I've s seen have been clips, and I can't judge them on that. The clips were rather ridiculous, but I'm just going to assume just, that they're... That's just, that's just clips, dude. I mean, like, fucking anyone can have ridiculous clips, right? I mean, good grief. I've had ridiculous clips, so... Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Vosh is a cis man is perceived speaking from position of a group of people who have are the facilities of gender depression or at least throughout history have been so his words carry a lot more weight than some frustrated trans woman so TERFs can use it and point out CC men are using trans ideology to depress us actually yeah they've been talking about that even though before Vouch though yeah, that's nothing new so that I think, actually I've, isn't I think I've heard new. every single line of, of TERF fucking bullshit right and it doesn't change yeah, it's still the so... it's still the same tired crap they came up with fucking years ago. Sorry, number thirty, but like he's not the first person that they've been using his ammo. Yeah, you're no, probably, fuck no. You're probably young. You're probably haven't been around very long online, in oh, comparison man. to some of us. Yeah, it's fine. I forgive you for that. It's no big deal. You know what? I you know what? It's fine if you. Like if if you're only just new to the tough shit, then fucking you're, you you're know. You're obviously it, recognizing it what we've already been seeing for a long time. Oh boy. You get you you, you get a want. cookie for that. Yeah, fuck me. No, sorry. I'm like I've got like combat PTSD from that shit because just it it was sad because at at some point right people were asking me advice on tough shit like I was the fucking internet's expert on it and I'm just like fuck dude I just deal with these cunts like and I'm not I'm just gonna say that fucking <laughs> word because that's what they are right like. Like, I'm just deal with them. That's it. I don't let them bully me, and that's all it is. It's not like I'm some expert. I just don't let them talk their shit to me, and that's the end of it. Like, it's it's far more amusing to let them, to see them fucking squirm than it is to let them have a single fucking, sh like, a, a micron of fucking victory. Because, like, you give them an inch and they take a mile. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just don't give them any fucking thing. Don't give him the satisfaction oh at all, and we it will kill the number, shit out of him. We finally reached number 31. Oh, thank fuck Ooh, for that. Three and a half hours it only took. It's I know. okay, it took him like eight hours to go through this entire doc, so we're actually doing uh, pretty good. 
Um, 31. I've been watching through the recent nonsensical trans sports debates debacle and all the associated drama and holy fuck it is perpetually exhausting to be someone who literally just wants to vibe and be treated as a normal girl. But they have your entire existence dragged into the open and paraded around like some sort of freak of a lost cause for a bunch of purposeless, perpetually online dipshits to group around and pat themselves on the back so hard that it breaks. I think we lost Brie on that one. Fuck me. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. This is... <laughs> All right. Did you... I'm gonna call the fucking. I'm gonna call the doctor, bro. I think you. Okay, Getting the giggles. I've had enough scotch. No, I think. Yeah, I think you've had enough, bitch. We're cutting you off. Oh my god, that is so fucking accurate. Oh my god. I, I, it's, I got nothing to it's, say. It's so perfect. It's. I just like. I just want to say this right. The fucking. The fact that like regular trans people right have to get dragged into the same conversation as athletes right i think that's like that's comparing fucking apples and oranges yeah they're both trans and all okay. but like there's very clearly a fucking I have difference to say, if these 31 emails are the same as 99.9% .9 of the emails destiny has gotten oh yeah what the hell's happening with all these other idiots who just like are, are they just completely ignoring reality and just speaking yes. whatever they want like yeah they don't give a shit. You you think you think that the fucking the the power hungry trans activists oh give a single God. fuck about like, the harm they okay. cause? We've been fucking talking about how like the majority of us are like just like these thirty one people. Mm. But this is so nice to actually fucking see it. It's validating as fuck. All right, like for real, like like. Like, all right, I'm going to give a shout out to my artist, right? Um, fucking, uh, I'm not going to mention them by name because I'm not sure if they're comfortable with that. But fucking my artist um, and I had this, I actually have, we're having this conversation about how, like, when I met them, I felt so much more acceptance because they gave me an outlet to have that, just that quick burst of fucking rage, you know what I mean? Where you just need to get it out. They let me express that, and we realized that we both gave accept each other a lot of acceptance, and we have, like, the best as friends now, right? Like fucking, it was it was fine. We just needed that little fucking bit of venting, and it's like, oh, you think a little bit like I do. Let's find out what we don't th uh, think similarly. And we have that co those conversations like mature adults. And I just like I thank I I thank I thanked them the other day. I was just like, bro, I fucking got like bless you, dude. Fucking for real. You you, fi you like you've been helping me out, like figure out where where up in such a fucking twat, right? And and I appreciate you. And they're just like, oh, no problem. Like, you know, it's it's not a big deal to them, but it was to me. And it still is, so, you know. Just want to throw that one out there. George has an interesting question. Is it considered turfing to support trans people and at the same time insist that or insist there are still times when they're being male or female, regardless of identity, still matters? I need some context on where it would matter. Like... So I can't really answer that like, question. It's such a generalized okay. question to, for, for me. For trans woman, yes. Recognizing that you're still genetically a male because of issues, let's say, prostate cancer is reality. You have to deal with that. Whether you like it or not, that's normal. If it, if it, come, if it comes down to, if, I, if we're allowed to take a piss in the fucking bathroom, then I would say, like, yeah, don't do that shit. Like, no, no, don't, don't do the pissing thing. You, everyone needs to piss. But just don't be a dick about that because everyone needs everybody to piss. Everybody poops. Yeah, everybody poops. <laughs> like the whole, the whole fucking, the whole non-argument, right? Of fucking being like, oh well, there's, there's people going to the bathrooms to see each other, like, to see, to go prey on women. I'm like, no. The only ones that no have one gone to that. prey on women were never actually trans in the first place. They They're just, just using it as it an excuse, as yeah. an excuse to do disgusting things. But the right likes to use that against. It's, both sides are being dipshits. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. There are plenty of trans women who go in, um, tr who go into fucking bathrooms who get harassed by fucking by turfs. All right, I I've been there. Like I I actually had to like fucking call the police on a motherfucker because of that shit. Right, like it it ha <laughs> it's it's not as one sided as as, as any woman like to, like to fucking like say it is. Sorry, George. Yeah, I changed the ads per conversation earlier in the stream where we get better ad revenue. Instead of doing uh -huh. pre-roll ads, a certain amount of ads every like hour. Basically, yeah, like in the case of, so what we were saying is like in the case of let's say trans women, you have to deal with the reality that yes, you can get prostate cancer. Yes, uh -huh. you have to deal with the, that biological reality. 
It's the same thing with like someone like me who transitioned later in life. I have to deal with the fact I dealt with male puberty. So if I were to do, let's say, one of my favorite sports, boxing, against a cis woman, I would have a distinct advantage over her. Even after transitioning, as long as I have, there are certain realities. The longer arm length, things like strength and whatnot. I just I don't want to say muscle that it's not you. I... Muscle memory, all the muscles, all the muscle mass, and muscle density issues, all that stuff. It all plays into it. Now, how much of an advantage? That's up for debate. I personally I, wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. I just, I, I, like I, in the I case just, of the MMA fighters, yes, we had trans women compete, and some of them lost to cis women just fine. But they also were like transitioning for a while, and like they things were you know analyzed, and they felt that the difference was fairly minimal. That's what I just want to say. Like my experience is not the same as Bree at all because. I was like in in athletics. I'm not an athletic person. The only the only thing I'm actually good at is fucking power walking, of which I'm exceptional, where I beat men and women, right? And that's it. I could like because I, I've, I always get the beefy biceps. I grew up working on a farm, working in a factory. I did boxing. I did a little MMA. So I'm definitely my I would in my situation. Yes, it would not be appropriate. But this is where I feel it should be a nuanced approach, case by case basis, and handle it appropriately. This whole fucking trying to just blanket everything all the time, always, it's just fucking dumb. It, who was it that fucking, um, they actually tried to, like, do this one time. It was fucking, um, they were like, oh, yeah, you can't compete if you have high testosterone shit. And it actually affected black women the most. Because, well, genetically, they have more testosterone. Just that's just how it goes for them, like typically, right? And I, th I think that's bullshit. Like, like, because then, like, if you if you're just gonna bl blanket, like, do that shit, then it's just gonna hurt someone in the end, and you're gonna like end up with some crossfire. Yeah. And then what do you do to, then? Trying, trying to always break everything down to a specific identity or trait and everything. I tend to look at it like in the bell curve. As long as you're within a certain range. Fine. Yeah, but people treat it like an absolute. I get told, I get told by people all the time, "Oh, you could just be any woman in any sport." I'm like, well, "That's a fucking interesting take," because I couldn't even do that before I when I was on fucking testosterone. Like, <laughs> like that's fucking weird. I must have. I don't know. I don't know about estrogen making me a fucking goddamn superhuman, but sure, right? Like, you like know. if I were to compete against women in gymnastics, I'm gonna fucking lose <laughs> so fucking fast. But like you know, it's, it's, it's again, it all comes down to case by case, situational things, and everyone's trying to just jam fucking blanket things down everyone's throat. And well, the only thing that should be j j jammed down people's throat is delicious food like barbecue, pulled pork, or dick, or you know, some sort of delicious meat. Mm hmm. I want me some fucking delicious meat. <laughs> It's been a while, Bree. Leave it, me alone. We're gonna make it dirty because at least that's a lot more fun. But we're yeah, you know, it's, this is the truth though. Is it's just it, it it yeah it doesn't it doesn't help anyone to just fucking be like oh d like all women could be will be destroyed by all men. It's just like this is the reason one person tried no. to cancel me because I said well let the NCAA come up with a, like a, a committee where it's like okay we're gonna analyze see how long the person's been transitioning. What are their hormone levels at? Are they at least at, you know, been at typical female levels according to their doctor for at least an X amount of time? Doesn't the Olympics already fucking do that? Like, it's haven't they done that for yes, fucking it's age? Exactly. Let's just do in the NCAA what they already do at the Olympic level. But I was called a bad guy and they wanted to cancel me for it. I'm like, well, you can't even stupid. go with a status quo? Nope, sorry, you can't. You can't challenge shit like that. It's it's a trans. I mean, we had that one trans woman lose at the Olympics to how many other cis women? Like, okay, if this is a reasonable method that's work working, let's stick with it. Let's try to stop upsetting everyone. Let's just go with something that people are happy with. No one's bitching and whining like little moronic kids. Oh man. <sighs> my my favorite one recently was the uh the skateboarder that fucking um that competed and like people actually looked at it and were like oh yeah she's actually shorter than and like tinier than the fucking the, the cisco like where you at then 
Where's the where's the mobiology then, you dickheads? Like, because it turns out women can also be fucking tall. Like, yeah. like wow. No, George, you're Hot. literally just fine. Like, Hot. one of my favorite Hot girls take. who's a makeup artist, she's taller than me. She's like six three, six four. Hot. I'm sorry, what? Redheaded. She worked at one um, fucking Walgreens. Gorgeous girl, built like a. She, she obviously played volleyball based on her figure. I'm like, mm. but yeah, like. I too have date volleyball people. People are. No. Genetics and all those other things all play into things as well. This whole yeah, the nuanced approach is the way to go. But people are no dumbasses. no no answer is going to make anyone happy. You remember that fucking uh, that, that, that 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 trans man wrestler that fucking. That like was for, was forced to compete against fucking uh, like girls, and everyone was like, "Oh, he should be forced to compete against the boys." It's like, yeah, we know, bro. That's what you got That's what you wanted, want. <laughs> and you're still not fucking happy. You fucking idiots. Like, like no, no, no answer is gonna make all the people happy. So you might as well just try to make as many people happy as you can. And any that's not fucking good enough, then well, either a we can revise it, or b just ignore those cunts. Like, that's it. Like, that's all we have to do. Right? Like, it's not hard. You can't make everybody happy. Stop fucking trying. Oh my Some God, people are just person, terminally stupid. This person in 31 is like being... They're, they're wrong for existing. They're wrong for... They're, they're wrong because they're a freak. They should be cut out of their own rights and cut out for consideration for their own good and let these other people speak for them now because they're here to save them from themselves. Jody, oh God, I hate that fucking shit. This. This said savior. It's, a, it's that savior complex crap. I fucking hate it. Thank you for the subscription, George. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Lots you, of love. Every, every, every little bit helps. Enjoy the emotes. There are lots of fun ones, including one from a old <laughs> game from the 90s. The wonderful combat cloud from fucking the yeah. realm online. Pre <laughs> Ultima Online. Because fuck you, Richard Garriott. It's a as good of an MMO as Ultima Online was. Oh my god. All right. did, did, did you add the new one that you posted in my Discord? Because I've been sharing that one around. Which one? The fucking D.Va one. Yes, we have the fucking 5 oh, D.Va oh, from when oh Blizzard god. screwed up the D.Va thing. But it oh, oh man. <laughs> I, I put that on my fucking Facebook and people want to learn more, right? Just like, I have to see this in action. I'm like, oh, good luck with that, you know? They patched it out so fucking fast. <laughs> oh god, it was, they were I was so embarrassed. I know, it was fucking great. I was crying. I was yes, George, dead. I have Tiny Tina as most of my audios because she uh, is the fucking best. And Borderlands uh, 2 is still better than Borderlands 3. And Gearbox could suck it because I'm still right. Oh my god, that was fucking great. Sorry, <laughs> I'm still thinking about the fucking Eva five head thing. I'm so sorry. Right. <laughs> this person said was god. all like surprised and happy that Destiny said things where it's like, oh my god, someone actually fucking understands. Well, it took him long enough, that, but you know whatever. that trans women don't want extra visibility or be treated as special for trans, and that we literally just wanted to be average women and treated as such. Yes, exactly. Yes, we still accept that we're just trans women and not cis women. We're not biologically women. We're neuro neurologically women and everything. But socially, we yeah, we just want to be treated as normal average women. So don't you, don't you just fucking hate? Don't you just fucking hate that you get that everyone gets everyone who's hating on you just get tells you you ignore biology? Is like no, I fucking don't. I have to actually work with biology in order to get this shit done. What do you think? HRT is. That's. What do you think medical science does? Fuck's sake. Oh, let's see. It's. Talk about people who identify as women versus how many identify as trans women. Yeah, we have some gray area. There's some people who say, it like myself, where it's like, I'm a trans woman, not a woman, like cis woman, but it's like, I'm also just. I'm not a trans woman. I'm just a woman socially. So it's like, I, I split the two out. Like, I go with, there's four genders. There's male, female, trans woman, trans male. There's the people transitioning, or going through transition, or s are more comfortable sitting with within their transition, what they have done. Because maybe they are pre-op, not post-op. Fine, wonderful. There's a whole gamut of different reasons why they may stay within there. 
but it's like that's not the priority and people will always try to conflate between like the identity versus the social versus biological and like I don't I never gave it that much thought. Like people overthink it way too hard and I'm just like, mate, I'm just trying to get on. Alright, like like so when it's people ask people me that question, I'm just that, like, I like, don't trans care. women are women, it's like, yes. Socially we are. Neurologically we are. But like trying to conflate it as they're biologically it's like okay yes neurology neurology is technically bi biology but everyone conflates neurology as separately from biology because of the whole cross sex brain thing so we have to treat that as separately and so we have to overthink it because everyone else is overthinking it it's annoying <laughs> because it's so much work this is just this is just making me think of that yolo swag comic <laughs> you know the one i'm talking about <laughs> Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll look for it and I'll send it to you. You're, like, you're going to be like, oh. George said, hey, one day I will tell you the tale right. of the wokester getting mad at George because he claimed Tiny Tina was appropriating black urban U.S. culture. No, mm. Tiny Tina was this little girl that loved explosions and goofiness. She didn't embrace typical gender things. She's just a young girl that enjoyed video games, explosions, guns, and goofiness. Like, literally millions yeah. of other young girls that got into video games in the 90s and 2000s. Hang on, fucking, the browser needs to go quick over there, I swear. All right, there we go, hang on. Um. Yes, it is very laughable. That Australian dude is completely wrong. They literally, they, they've literally talked about the design of her. They just wanted a goofy girl that was into this, she was into playing with her stuffed animals, having Found tea it. parties, loving the explosions and, and good wholesome violence. It's like, that's fantastic. Hang on, I'm, I'm sending it to you now, hang on, hang on, give like, me a second. I can literally imagine millions of girls that are like that, that are this weird thing that like the, like like Looney Tune violence, like video uh, game violence, but also like stereotypical girl things, and they're this weird fucking mix. Guess what? There you go. Guys are the same <sighs> way. Guys can have weird fucking mixes, like they enjoy cooking and fashion, and they want to be a hairstylist, but maybe they also like, you know... Boxing and MMA, like they're this weird combo of things. Great, wonderful. Why are we fucking shaming and being annoying people about this shit? It's dumb. <laughs> there you go. Check your DMs. I sent you the thing. <laughs> Why is she? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up on Twitter tomorrow. Yeah. That is, it... is literally what. Ty would literally say, it's like, no. <laughs> Have you met her? She's a cunt. No, she's definitely yeah, a woman. Yeah, she's fucking, a trans, but... I, I love that fucking comic so much. It's great. <laughs> no, that is... I, I can't believe you didn't know that. I was that like, is you literally, like, 200% accurate. Like, we're going... No, uh, no, let's go with Blizzard Activision math. That is 600% uh. value right in that one comic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm just, I can't believe that you've never seen that before. It's fucking... I'm, I get, people send this to me like every few months just to make sure I don't forget it. Fucking great. This is, <laughs> is why that... Brie on, on alcohol is the best. Just saying. Oh my god. I fucking love it though. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, where were we? Oh yeah, average woman. That's all trans people really want. One hundred percent accurate. People in IRL felt, and people want. Again, literally all shit we've been saying, fucking goddamn forever. All right, eh. this person quip saying, "Fuck trans acceptance. I want trans indifference." Actually, that's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, that's. I never heard that before, but like you know, it's the first time for everything, I suppose. Yeah, well, it's the first time we've both heard it, and I can completely understand why you would say that. Yeah, well, no. My it's, status it's... is trans to be the least important, least interesting thing about you because in your own mind it already is. Literally how Frozen and I both live. So not only yeah. do you get a big hug, but I'll give you a big smooch on the forehead because I'm already yeah. known for that. So why not? Like it's not so, it's not something I actively think about really. Like fucking oh uh, yeah sure like sometimes I'll be like oh my god my my I gotta shave off that fucking like the 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 peach fuzz right you know but like. That's just how I feel dysphoria. Like, I, like I feel this, dysphoria towards my legs. Statement. It's like the old difference between a girl gamer or a gamer girl. I feel like I'm just a woman. Oh, I identify as a woman. And that makes me trans. But for some reason, these people make... These people being trans seems to be 
basically the goal, and that's, yeah. They can't filter out or differentiate from the other stuff going on. Yeah, completely 100% true. Like, there's girl gamers, like... Oh, but how dare you bring this up? Although oh, man. we don't game nearly as much as we used to, but, like, Fuck. all the girl gamers that I'm friends with, they're girl gamers, they're girls... And they're gamers, but they're not gamer girls. They're just girl gamers. The whole gamer girl thing leads into the whole, like, e-girl bullshit and some of that other stuff. But that was more other people just... <sighs> well, they're... George, stop that. Goofy boy. It's It literally became a whole meme, the whole girl gamer versus gamer girl thing. And just... It yeah. blew out of... My control because of idiots more than anything, and which is literally what's happening in the trans community. It's yeah. blown out of proportion because of idiots. The we can't we can't have an honest conversation because no one wants to have that honest conversation. That's literally why. Literally in '96, when the Rome Online came out, the first guild I was part <sighs> of in it, there were a nice mix of men and women of various ages. We had a lot of fun. For me, gaming has always been a thing with both men and women around. The woman I love, Angela, she was a gamer. She was in the tabletop. I was in the video games. She liked D and D, Shadowrun, and all that. I liked uh -huh. playing on the Apple II and SNES and early PC games. I'm a DOS. <laughs> like for us, this was, was just fucking normal. These people they're just they're so fucking closed minded and playing into these stupid baited bullshit. It's like what I talked about earlier with my dad. He's had more female bosses than male bosses in the yeah. tech industry. Sorry, I got booted out again because of fucking AFK. And honestly, <sighs> the, the fucking female bosses were more competent than the male bosses more. <laughs> I hate to say that now, but oh, good lord. All right. Like, here's the thing. I don't even, like, I'm not even really considered a gamer anymore because I don't play new games. I just don't. I I I just went through my fucking fourth full playthrough of Mega Man Legends again, and I, I'm I, like, I, I'm yeah I'm convinced really that Mega that Man Legends either. is actually a survival horror. Like I'm, I'm actually like, convinced of it now. <laughs> I've literally devolved into playing WoW maybe like once a week for a little bit, working on like an alt character, a little bit of League of Legends. Maybe like a little bit of V Rising or whatever other game, or like today a little bit of Weird West, and that's it. Like I barely game. Yeah, I I I did a whole, I did a, almost a complete playthrough of Wild Arms, right? I never played it before. It just came, it came with my PlayStation. Oh yeah, no, I fucking had a blast. Like fuck me, it's probably one of the best RPGs I played in the fucking age. Like it's a great fucking game, but oh my yeah, God, I might. This... I might stream it because it's so fucking good. I recommend it to anyone who enjoys JRPGs of like, you know, the older style JRPG. It's not a, it's not a perfect game because it's like it definitely shows its age, but like I had a I had so much fucking fun with it. Like I played the shit out of it. Like one, I right, I will I'll give it this right. It's one of the few RPGs I've ever played that actually use statuses properly, because like in most games like I've, JRPGs I played especially. But like they just statuses just don't matter. You can just get through every single fucking battle with no problems, right? Except for like special events and shit like that. In Wild Arms, fucking statuses will kick the fuck out of you. If you have statuses and you're in the wrong situation, you're just gonna get destroyed. Generally, I tend to assume that most female gamers weren't very public about being gamers because of the bullying of gamers in the eighties <sighs> and nineties. But that's just my opinion. There's, there's still some of that. That's fucking stupid. Like there, well, there are still people who blame video games for violence. It's like, bro, how many fucking times we have to have this fucking conversation oh my before God. you can get it? This is funny. Okay, tangent again because uh, of course that's all we do street. is tangents. That's all we do. Yeah. <laughs> Asmongold like, reached out to fucking um. Oh yeah. What's what's the senator from Texas? Uh, Ted Cruz. I actually saw Ted his stream. Yeah. Yes, and Ted Cruz. You could see the look on Ted Cruz's face of pure, unadulterated shame for buying microtransactions in a mobile game. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is the funniest shit. See, a politician who actually understands something in tech 
in the same way gamers it, understand it and isn't being a complete moron about it. Yeah, but he's a complete moron in lots and lots and lots and lots of other ways. Oh, yes. But this oh, is literally he's... the first time I've seen any politician uh... on any tech topic not completely fumble the ball at the one. <laughs> I hate that it's Ted Cruz. I really fucking and, did. Yeah, I hate it, it just... that it's him. But I, at the same uh... time, I just fucking love that it happened. I never thought it would happen in my lifetime. Oh uh, yeah, that just, yeah, fucking yeah, thank you, Bree, for fucking pointing out that I should watch fucking Asmund Gold. I, I I started doing it. Right? I was like, told it was okay, gonna. Okay, I have my issues with 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 Zach at times and whatnot, but that's... he needs to fucking wash his hair. Like that's <laughs> just... <laughs> he he's a cute guy. But yes. He just needs to fucking like wash his hair at least like twice a week. D yeah, it's like it's like that fucking joke where it's like, yep, it's that time of month to take a shower, right? Like fucking, it feels like that. Like Just fucking say. a. You know, no, a he lot more. He'd have a lot more female viewers being active <laughs> in this chat or even watching his fucking stream. Fucking wash that hair a little more. I'm, I'm seriously considering just sending him a bunch of my soap products and be like, dude, just fucking use these, all right? Like for fuck's sake, <laughs> just kind of like bully him into it. Anyways, um, let's see. This uh... person talks about. So many men talking about the trans thing, claiming ownership over trans positions when trans people are like, shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Honestly, that's all of us. So, yes. Okay. They're the 30 that's... now. They came from the old 4chan before the poll board even existed. Oh, man. Man, those, those were the actual good days before that whole website went shh. Oh, God. Yeah. When... Because <sighs> literally all they did was talk about anime and, like, stupid memes and jokes. Like... And then if, the whole site I, went to shit. I found like a little, like a lot of good resources on 4chan way, way, way back when. Like fucking, but then like like that, the ID poll shit happened and it just turned into just let's be edgy as fuck. And I'm just like, dude, you're fucking stupid. Yeah, they literally talk about how, yeah, the whole the whole site went to shit. Yeah, good, mm. exactly. They should because it's a fucking valid topic. A lot of the the the, the trap threads and all the. Yeah, okay, yeah. Some of that was a little cringy. So. <laughs> Some Boy, of the men were very cringy, but... Boy. Honestly, oh, we did man. build up a lot of interest in straight cis men being into traps and trans girls then, which obviously was kind of nice, too, so I can't really completely hate on it. But On the other hand, it did you know where it went, the, so... They looked up traps, they thought they were amazing, cute as heck, and whatnot. They even... Oh, this person even called themselves a trap for a while, and then it was suddenly became a hate term, and no argument could even try to convince people that it wasn't one. So, oh, God, I yeah. No, it's that's... literally like the people who made the okay sign, well, that's only a hate thing. Well, you can't even say okay, you know, give people the okay sign quietly in some businesses, you know, when it comes to doing things like communicating to a crane driver and whatnot that you know it's okay and to go ahead and leave it where it is and whatnot because well that's a hate crime yeah it it's make them uncomfortable it's like no like that was actually a legitimate <laughs> sin, you know hand signal that some people used you rem you remember when 4chan used to troll the news, right? Where they used the hackers on steroids thing and fucking they trolled Oprah and shit, dude. Remember when it was like innocent? Like where they where they would just Back take the, the piss out of normies. Was just... It was a different time. Fuck me. Like like I understand where that came from. I really fucking do, right? But like it was also like in hindsight, I was like, God, you guys are fucking stupid. Let's see. This like... person had a lot of issues with trans spaces. They spent a lot of time with introspection and deconstruction. Good, exactly the shit that I've talked about. It's fantastic. It's okay to question. A lot of trans spaces are terrible. A lot of hug boxes, self fucking yeah. off, toxic Ooh. places. Again, this whole stupid bad self validation. Okay, yeah, this is something. Uh, pretty cool yeah they're not really inclusive spaces actually they're just you follow the narrative or else yep boy do i know that fucking feeling let's see so <sighs> destiny stance gatekeeping is good for three reasons okay let's see what he says these are 
possible for those who are not trans to have the ability to grasp and actually understand trans issues. Eh. Okay, that's fair. Trans people define communities they can share safe spaces with or share a space with it with people who have similar experiences. Yes, we don't want the, you know, people who don't have gender dysphoria will do not understand those of us who do have it. And things like that. Develop a consistent set of medical and social guidelines on how to treat trans people for optimal outcomes. There has to be exceptions to that, though. I'm just going to say that now. Yes, they, there they need can't... to be exceptions for like people like me with when it comes to like surgical options that aren't possible yeah, it... and things. But for the most part, yes, we want to have a consistent set of guidelines with obvious exceptions to the rule, so we can give people have the healthiest, happiest, most you know, yeah. optimal outcome. But at the same time, cover the basis to reduce people who detransition, things like that. Because obviously, detransition's been on the increase. Yeah, and that's a whole other mess emotionally and physically that these people have to go through that sucks and we don't want that yeah it's 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 expensive but it takes it's a fucking expensive toll on your... and in general it's love for basic. other human beings we don't want that for them whether it's motivated by religious reasons or not it's generally just kind of not want that for people yeah it's so like if you don't it... like it you're a jerk but that's just what i'm saying yeah, me personally, I, I wouldn't want to go through the experience of having to detransition. That sounds like it would suck. Transitioning like, sucks enough as it is. Yeah. Doing both just... Oh. And people and wonder like, why trans suicide <laughs> is a thing. Yeah, you go through a lot of shit. It's literally why a lot of us encourage therapists, because it really fucking helps. Mm, you have someone like, to lean on. Even if you have the best fucking support system in the world, having that wow. extra person... It just means you have yet another person to lean on. <laughs> my tr my gender therapist doesn't understand why he gets so much shit from the trans community. He's like one of the best in the fucking country, right? And he's like he's he's such a ni such a nice guy, right? He's like like he's really smart, but like you know whatever. And like, it's like, it's like, like yeah, okay. I get it's like okay, you have ten people that you can lean on and help with, or you can have eleven people and you have someone that eleventh person also has medical training, psychiatric training, training. And it can help with a number of other things above and beyond what the other 10 can. Which option do you want? And people are actively picking 10. It's like, no, I'm taking an 11. I'm taking the one that would give me the best fucking results. But these people just are they're picking against what will help them the most. It makes no sense. Yeah, like fucking, like I, I chose my gender therapist specifically. It's like literally right? telling a drowning person, oh, you want me to hold you down? And they say, yes, please. It's like, Really? Like, no, I, ch I chose him because, like, he has a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, like, I could actually see his demeanor. And, like, I was like, I like his, I like the way his approach. I ch I looked up his education. He seemed extremely well-educated. I emailed him. He was very fucking candid. I was like, I like this guy. He seems pretty fucking straightforward, right? But then, yeah, like, I learned later on. It's like, yeah, I don't get why there's a lot of trans people on my YouTube channel just giving shit. And I'm just like, well, yeah, okay. let, me, let me explain to you I, some stuff. I understand <laughs> with therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists... <laughs> Even social workers, there's this whole mm. stigma of like how dangerous, how frustrating they are to deal with, finding the right one that works with you, the mm -hmm. whole over-medication issue, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I completely understand it. It happens in a lot of the mental health space. There's this fear. As someone who spent time in mental hop mental health hospital on more than one occasion... It's scary dealing sometimes with social workers and police and psychologists. Them, it's not always a I've comfortable in that experience. I've, I've worked in that system. I know how shit it is. So yes, if you take the time and find a good one that works with you, having mm. that extra person with the extra skill set, mm -hmm. it's like going into a raid in WoW with someone who's already done it, knows all the ones, and can be there in Discord explaining what to do, how to do it, what's happening, how to do a good job. It's like, it's literally giving you someone who can help carry you through it. <laughs> do you, Would you rather have that and have a wonderful, fun time doing it, or would you rather keep wiping like every, you know, fight for the first <laughs> five bosses and be miserable? I'm going to pick the easier route. 
I don't even think mine wasn't the easier route. It's just like because he challenged me, and I fucking oh, I yeah. learned. The good ones will challenge you, but you get yeah. an easier, happier result in the end. Oh yeah, no, that, that that initial challenge was like fucking difficult, and that's where that's when I I started taking the lead instead of letting him challenge me. I started accepting the challenge and then going above and beyond. And because I yeah. did that, he was convinced. He was a lot more convinced of like my of of my of my need to transition, right? Than if I just told him that yeah, I want to do this. I probably didn't word that perfectly the first time, but yeah, no, it's all about the hap the best result in the end, basically. Mm. Yeah, like I'm not. I've I've talked I've talked to people when I used to do that fucking um I used to do that show right you remember the show right uh -huh. transistor transistor radio fucking um when I used to do that with Shell there was a there was a uh, one guest we had on that was going through an entirely different experience with uh with therapists because they only had access to one therapist it didn't like they have a choice right they only had access to one because that's the one that they fucking get assigned right it's an entirely different system in different countries and they had a miserable fucking time because they, their therapist was just fucking shite i can understand that being a shitty situation to be in right and like i can't and i can't give him any advice like hey go find a different therapist because they don't have another choice there is no one else in their vicinity they can go to so it's like that sucks man that's that's i can i, can, I would totally rally behind someone who's like oh yeah my fucking therapist is a complete shithead like you know and like be like well then they fucking need to do better because that's not fucking cool because there's plenty of people who are incompetent that have fucking degrees. Trust me, I know. I work with them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Destiny talks about being called transphobic and his debates conversation issue. I've uh, only seen some. I don't want to dig into it. He seemed to be still trying to sort some of the data out and whatnot and try to c correlate it with these emails we went through and other shit. Honestly, that's most people, so I'm not going to judge. Whatever. I, I I think everyone's been called transphobic at least once, right? Because like even we have, like yeah, fuck, man, transphobic trans people. Are... I got I got told the other day I need to stop creeping on trans people because it creeps them out, and I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, all right, here is his supposedly fully stated clear positions. One, trans people are are real insofar as. Mm -hmm. There appears to be a set of people that exist with incongruent gender identities exist inside their mind opposite the sexual presentation of their body. Good. He makes sure that it's a neurological thing. Good job. Now Thumbs I feel up. even more dirty. I need a shower. Uh, <laughs> you just you just took <laughs> off another fucking decade of your life, Jesus. Eh, it was a decade I was never gonna use anyways. I was gonna be fair. dead by probably fifty anyways, so it doesn't matter. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, historically, psychologically, and socially, there doesn't seem to be any other way to account or explain the experience of trans people other than accept their accounting of their internal experiences. Um, actually, I would have to dig into the medical journals. There are some studies. I do have copies of, in regards to, like, brain scans, the difference between brains with trans people, comparing it to cis people of cross-sex and all that. So there is some medically interesting things with that but that's a whole other mess <laughs> uh two he believes that gender affirming care social transition and surgeries i'm assuming he also means hrt if he doesn't he's an idiot to be the best way to treat gender dysphoria well yeah obviously social along with the medical and has proven, and journals have proven that as well, that they tend to be the most effective. And insurance needs to kind of help cover it, because the U.S. medical system is just fucking expensive. Oh, yeah. Number three, he believes I mean, trans Ashley athletes should be able to play with the gender they express as through grade school and high school. Drug therapy would probably be required in high school. Uh, the whole when is the earliest... Someone should be able to transition, like, going puberty blocks. That's a whole nother separate debate. Even for yeah, gonna... I don't completely agree on that. That's yeah, not for today. That's Yeah, no, I'd rather not get into that because, like, We're already four yeah. hours into this. No. No, again, no, I don't think anyone's going to give a shit about our opinions Sports on and that. elementary and high school are less hardcore competitive. Not always true. There are a lot of high no. schools that are extremely <clears throat> hardcore competitive. Oh, yeah. Like, for real. 
like Arrowhead and some of these other ones in Wisconsin, ridiculous. Like, yeah, there, there, there are schools that fucking pride themselves on their athletic performance. So NCAA yeah, I don't know about that. Spots more competitive and limited, but this would allow most people the opportunity to play in grade school and high school if they wish. True. Not gonna deny that. It's definitely less of an issue younger than it is the older they get. So that's fine. Four, he believes the decision to place minors in puberty blockers on HG should be a decision between parents, kids, and their doctors. Yes, pre-18, the parents and doctors need to be involved. There needs to be serious talk, preferably with a therapist involved with a little minor gatekeeping. But yeah, you're right. The government doesn't really have a true legitimate interest in preventing medical care, especially for something that's obviously a neurological issue that occurs in the womb. That's more akin to a birth defect. Obviously, that it's stupid for the See, government to get involved. I, well, I have a question about that, right? Now, I'm just, I'm just gonna play devil's advocate with this one, right? Fucking, what if the parents aren't supportive? Then what? Like, then they then, then just like people suffer. I mean, like yeah. Then you get into the whole issues of like the doctor, you know, their obligation for what's what's appropriate care. What not? Then you get into like the whole anti-vaxxers, the whole anti-treatment for kids on some things, and that's been a legal issue and fight that the left and the right, I don't think, are ever going to quite solve decently. Well, because they're not fucking equipped for that. There's a political idea. There's a political position. This is not a fucking political debate. I <laughs> generally believe we should, you know, give doctors a little bit more ability to really discuss with the parents and be like, hey. These are real issues. Show, you know, dig into like, hey, here's medical journals online that you can read and things like that, and help educate. I think it it, it falls into a lot of things. It's an education issue more than anything else. Yeah, I just want to kind of bring that up because, like, yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, like you know trans people that do not have support from their pa uh, from their families, and their families and... are not necessarily even conservative. They could be liberal parents that don't even agree and stuff. Like, yeah, because just because you're a liberal doesn't mean you fucking that doesn't, that doesn't mean you fucking supreme ally. All right, let's, let's gonna throw that one out there. He says, in accordance with his ethical values and the desires to push forward, our policies enable as many trans people as possible to live the healthiest lives without conflicting the people around them. That's actually quite libertarian. It tends to be where we fall. Sure. Yeah. So uh, no, definitely no problem there. Yeah. And cool yeah, it talks about like effective treatment, medical study, basically with that. Okay. Ultimate goal, yes, both sides are a bunch of crazy people. Those who claim trans women are biologically women. No, it's a neurological thing, but it's good to be specific. Being too broad, just you're going to cause people on the right to fight with the left. It's, there's times to be broad. There's times to be narrow. It's just the way it is. Yeah, yep, the whole detransitioners being swept under the rug is a terrible thing, too. 100%. Generally, everyone needs to do better. And we can't. Boy, do we. <laughs> Duh. Boy, boy, do we need to do better. All right, trust me on that one. Heavily underline that shit. Oh, my God. Based on the conversations he's had, it seems there are two Ugh. broad schools of being trans. Those that simply want to pass and be treated, don't want to be embroiled in the conflict, and yeah, just generally don't see trans as their primary thing. And then there's the people who just relish in the whole trans bullshit, and the ones that generally annoy everyone. Yes, exactly. Can we can we just draw that fucking distinction now, like uh, like formally, because like it's fucking annoying to be considered one or the other that is when you're not. That is literally how the trans community <sighs> has been split for a decade. Yeah, and like, and like, we've been talking about it forever, but no one has ever listened to us about it. Now, uh, finally, fucking people are starting to realize it. Yeah, and now we're fucking too old and like fucking decrepit to do anything about it. <laughs> Thanks, assholes. You could have had us in our prime. You could have had us when we were at maximum power, you stupid fucks. <laughs> we could have fucking bothered when we actually cared and could have done more about it, but no, you guys yeah, just... Now, fucking... now I don't give a shit, sorry. Like, get the, you're going to have to learn all the lessons we learn. So, look at that. It literally is him 
the majority of everything he got was us being right. Yep. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did I say about that shit earlier on? What did I say? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Y'all owe fucking apologies for this bullshit. Oh yeah, Twitter. You need. To, you just need to fucking just make us the emperors of trans people. All right, like fucking. Just to, at this point, because like we, we, we've been fucking riding that wave hard, all right? Like we've been talking this shit for so fucking long, we got sick of it, and instead I all know. these lunatics decided to take over the space. Yeah, what do you think was gonna happen? More gods. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not like we were fucking like it's not like we weren't saying this for fucking ages, you know? Oh, like hey, we kind of fucking were <laughs> stupid. That's what I mean. Like we were saying it fucking for ages. I mean, so at this point, I just don't give a shit. Like I just kind of want to get off my life because at this point, I'm just I'm ne I'm nearly fucking forty years old. You think I want to be fighting with fucking twenty something about bullshit? Like fuck no. No, we're too old. I'm just sick of it. Don't bother. I'm at the point where if people bring this up up to me in person, I just will not tolerate it. I have no fucking space in my life for that shit. I just oh, want to yeah. get on. Most people that fucking bother me with that shit, I'm just like, I don't want to be arsed. Just go away. I've had You're to get aggressive wasting my on fucking time, time, and I don't want my time wasted. Like, it doesn't fucking help us at all. Like, I'm like, real, real quick, right? I was on the fucking light rail with uh, with my partner one time, right? And like, uh, she was trans too, right? Just to kind of clarify. And fucking, we would like sit having a conversation about anime or some bullshit. I don't fucking remember what it was about. We were yeah, just having a conversation and, like, I didn't even fucking realize that this dude that was screaming uh, and, like, fucking jumping up and down the fucking light rail and acting like fucking twat, right? He was screaming at me the whole fucking time because, uh, because he's like, you fucking, like, you know, basically upset about the fact that we were trans, right? And it pissed him off so fucking hard I didn't re acknowledge it because I'm autistic as fuck, right? I was so hyper focused on the thing we were doing. He was making everyone else uncomfortable. And like, he fucking. He was just like. He walked up the train backwards so he could stare me down. And it took me to like. It took me like five not, minutes. Why am I not it fucking was, surprised? Oh, wait. I know exactly why you're not surprised. It was fucking great though, because like, as as we went away, and I just, I was like, it just clicked. I was like, oh, as, as, as he was staring us down as the train pulled away, I was like, oh, he was mad at me! Oh, I'm fucking uh, right? <laughs> Cause I'm just so disconnected from all that shit. <laughs> that was fucking great. Thanks for the sub pedantic. We <laughs> oh my god, it was so. fucking months. Oof. That it is was too many months of giving me any money. Yeah, what the fuck? Should, should change your mind on that one, mate. Just, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and on that note, it is. Saturday morning it is almost twelve thirty Central Time. It's time oh my for God. bed. All right. Well, yeah. Well, we, we, barely, I think... we barely did any Weird West, but honestly, that was kind of fun actually going through Destiny's <laughs> trans part of his fucking manifesto. Jesus. I hope we this doesn't become that. a regular fixture. Like I really no, do. No, no, ne no. Next stream, we're literally just doing gaming and bullshit. None of this. Fucking... Uh, thank, thank fucking God. All right. None of this like... using our brains because. I think I sprained mine. Oh, <laughs> I'm my 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 ego infl fucking inflated this 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 stream because like you know your ego is I, literally I, like a fourteen inch dick that pulled like, out his mouth. Well, here's the thing: I don't want to be like that fucking Miranda Yardley dipshit, you know, the one I'm fucking talking about, who's like, oh, I'm I'm always right because like yeah, I'm not always right. Sometimes I fuck shit up. Well, like, I always like making jokes about being always right. But I'm not ever serious oh, yeah. about it because there are plenty of times I'm wrong. It's oh yeah, just no. fun to pretend to be, you know, a fool. Playing the fool is just a lot of fun sometimes. Yeah, but like I, I, whenever I'm like, whenever I fucking like get too big of a head or whatever, right? Just because, like, yeah, I was right. I think about that. Fu I think about that fucking creature, right? And I'm just like, oh yeah, shit. Probably should fucking reel that one back in. I don't want to be like that. <laughs> yeah. Cause like fuck, man, you remember you remember that fucking that that, that asshole, right? Like, this, yeah, I know that feeling, George. One one time I thought I was wrong, but you know I was just mistaken. <laughs> I'm I'm just saying, right? I, I I I try to keep it in check, all right? Like I'm not as much of an arrogant prick as everyone seems to think I am, okay? Like, no, no, fine. we're generally actually pretty good. It's just we 
we enjoy the silliness, the humor, all the normal. It's, it's all, it almost makes us feel like normal people, like for real. <laughs> All right, we're going to save right here in the cave with the freaky cultists, and we'll continue from here next time. Yeah, I think we've dealt, dealt enough with freaky cultists. We were just talking about fucking that shit all stream. Yes. <laughs> so, I see Sarah and I, or Rabbit is streaming. She just started. I'm going to go set it to raid her. Send all y'all who are in chat, those pedantic George, those of you who are lurking, still. Thank you. Reb Thank is you. a wonderful young lady. She's definitely young. She's in her early 20s. But she's a hoot. I definitely like her. For a, a young person, I actually don't hate her. <laughs> and she, she may, in fact, also be a hollow as well. Like, fuck me. Like, it's pretty rare for me to not be, like, truly annoyed with someone. So, and I don't, I don't know them, so I'm not speak. I can't, I can't speak to that, right? I'm not gonna do She's that. She's also shit. completely adorable. So, fair enough. So yeah, go ch go check them out and see if you like. So, but thanks you all for coming and tolerating us jerking <laughs> ourselves off, <laughs> basically. <laughs> There's gonna be people on the VOD who are just like fucking. Oh, I didn't see any jerking off. <laughs> It's a good thing we didn't have our cams on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Even though it's just our ego, which, I mean, we really don't want them to get any bigger, but, I mean. Hey, man. Doing, it, doing it off cam just, you know, thankfully means that, you know, we kept it safe for work. <laughs> Wait, people watch us at work? Don't do that. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Don't do that at all. <laughs> The fuck is wrong oh, with you? Stop that! I'm a terrible person. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm a terrible person too. I fucking live that shit. I love it. All right. Have a wonderful night, y'all. Thank you and so much for watching us, guys. We appreciate it. In two weeks. Have a good night. Yep. See you then. Oh, I misspelled her name. I'm an idiot. And this oh, you're is all captured on me. Oh, we're, we're getting cancelled for that one. <laughs> well, we're getting cancelled for something tonight. We said the word cunt. You said the word retard. Fucking, yeah, we're do, we we went against the trans narrative. Fucking dear bitch is going to be fucking pissed off about that one. You even mentioned that bitch specifically. <laughs> Which one? I mentioned a lot of bitches. <laughs> no, the dear bitch. Alright, there we go. If this one doesn't get us banned, that means we have, it means a we have a cut. One always. Yes, George. It's always good. And I don't mind this whole after ramble being cut. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have a good night, y'all.